Perfect. Exactly where it needs to be. So, what kinds of things are modified in this? The whole game's 60 FPS. FMVs are 30. Um, full analog, 360 degree movement. Entirely reworked soundtrack. All new sound effects. Ambient audio in every zone, which I've really liked a lot. New menu, new visuals, uh, higher res models, higher res chibi field models, AI higher res upscale backgrounds, fully voice acted, a lighting system, a day night system, all of that. If you want to play exactly the way I am, you can get the seventh heaven, seventh heaven launcher. That's the link to the Echo S mod itself. It has a tutorial on how to set all this up. And this, that right there, the chibi just did is a picture of my mod list. You just do it the exact same way. You'll get the same experience. It's really simple. Once you have this launcher, you just go to browse catalog and just download them. Like you just pick the ones you want in here. Very simple to set up. Took me like less than an hour. Yeah, Fenrir for sure. This game, that game, and this other game. Oh, okay. That's so good. I like that one. Three games everyone should play. Oh. That's so hard to do. Because I want to answer it too. Give you a little insight. Crixie, Chrono Trigger, Red Dead Redemption 2, Yakuza 0. Legacy of the Wizard. I like that game, but I also know the vast majority of the world would hate that game. <laughs> that game is so cool. It was so ahead of its time. It was so ahead of its time. What a cool game. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good game, though, isn't it? It's pretty good. That's a lovely prelude. There you go. There's our menu screen. It's a menu screen. Dun. We are at Shinra Tower. We got a, a little bit of the ways in and I was tired and I had to stop, so. How's it look? How's it sound? What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Dun. Luffy at one, Final Fantasy seven, Final Fantasy seven remake. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get a lot of Final Fantasy seven answers tonight, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Please take the stairs. We did last night. It was really funny. It was really fucking funny. Do do. Mm. To the vibe you go bye, I guess. <laughs> yes, like I just said, we got through a little bit of the tower last night and then I got tired and I had to stop. Ori Games Final Fantasy 7. Hmm. Is there a clip? No, the stairs take like five minutes to climb. Clips are 60 seconds maximum. <laughs> Sorry. You could just you could just go to the VOD at the end. It's in the last like hour somewhere. Somewhere in there. I'm trying to think. Three games everyone should play. Chrono Trigger. To see an example of 10 out of 10 RPG. Then either Mario World or Mario Odyssey for platformer. Probably Odyssey. And then... Let's pick an adventure game. Hmm. I'm thinking either Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time. No, let's go with something that's more approachable because this isn't aimed at everyone, right? 
Breath of the Wild. Three games everyone should play. Chrono Trigger, Mario, maybe not Mario Odyssey. So we'll go Chrono Trigger, Breath of the Wild, and then something that bridges the gap. I missed so many games in 2000 to 2010. Yeah, Darren was beat you to it, J-Rock. He already did the meme answer like that. <laughs> You're too late, man. He's, he's always quick to the draw with those. Dead Space 2, Last of Us, Arkham City. Arkham City. I still haven't played any of those Arkham games. You can believe that. Gus, you say Mario 3 Folklore near Automata. What's Folklore? I don't know that one. Funk lore. Ooh. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be that list for you. Skyrim. Oh, that's a good answer, actually. That might be one that bridges the gap. Open world. I like your answer, though. Chrono Trigger, Minecraft. Breath of the Wild. I'll go with those. For games everyone should play, right? I'm trying to pick ones that I think almost anyone from any walk of life could potentially enjoy and get a good feel. That's my motivation. I'm not saying it should be yours. So don't let that color your answer. Bow, bow. Doge, you say Legend of the Guy, Legend of Dragoon, Final Fantasy 7. Ah, so all PS1 titles. There you go. Soul Blazer, Sluder, Silver Star Story Complete, Brave Fencer, Musashi. Those are all good games. Yoshi's Island is a pretty approachable platformer. Yeah, it is. I'm Super Mario World's, if we're going off just approachable, Super Mario World is much more approachable. Because you don't have to aim eggs and listen to a baby crying all the time. And I, I love that game. Don't get me wrong. You said Chrono Trigger because it's a top tier RPG. Red Dead 2 because it's a great example of emotional storytelling. Yakuza 0 because it's an approachable game for anyone and has a good story. Look at this 60 FPS. You seeing this? This is so wild. It's so freaking wild to me. Yeah, Uber, how you doing, man? I think we were on the 62nd floor. You did that too, Zordon? Yeah, I figured some people were going to say things like that. Do -do. Have I played or heard of PS1 series loaded and reloaded? No to both. No, I don't know what those are. I've not heard of those, yeah. Ooh. Banjo Kazooie is a gentle platformer that eases younger or inexperienced players in, but has plenty of challenge. Yeah, I heard it's like relatively easy. I say that in quotes, easy, right? to beat but if you want to like find secrets and com do completionism it offers quite a lot of you know content and challenge work finally swung up this weekend just in time for rent <sighs> dude i know that feeling <laughs> no preemie no even after what you just said, nobody said that yet. Yeah. Load and reloaded. Loaded and reloaded. I think those are Metallica albums. Load and reload. Yeah. Right? The Pain of the Water Temple. It's my favorite temple in Ocarina. <laughs> uh... Three games everyone should play. You just say three Crash Bandicoot games. All right. Tell me why. Tell me why. Top-down stick shooter with crazy-looking characters. Ah, okay. 
Crixie, like three people have already said it. Like I just gloss over it at this point. It doesn't even register anymore. Pause left. Oh, the boot swap? Yeah. Daramus, next time you play it, just use the randomizer mod, but don't randomize anything because it adds the D-pad boot switching. <laughs> you just switch automatically with the D-pad. It's awesome. Wow, Uber. Nice job. That's really good, man. Shit, if I could pull that off, that's a really good day. What's up, Nermi? DQ3, Final Fantasy IV, Knights of the Old Republic. KOTOR, huh? We haven't seen that one yet. Or DQ3. I love DQ3. It's my favorite NES game. Check it, Inspector. How we doing? You need names? They're going to get egged? The usual suspects. I'm sure you could guess without me even saying who. It's always the same people. <laughs> They're very predictable. Six sure. Yeah, it's cool. There's a dragon on there. There's like a little guy in the bottom, like a wizard or something. I need you to go out and buy eggs for Bart. It's really cool. It was hot this weekend. Yeah, 97 in Chicago yesterday. It's your favorite NES game too, Nermi? Nice. Nice. Makes sense, DMC. That's true of Crash 1 from what I've seen. Easy to learn, difficult to master. Been obsessed with Mega Man X series? Yeah. I'll answer any of your queries. Yes, certainly, certainly. As a public servant, it's a joy to serve the needs of the people. I'll gladly give you a hint. For 500 gil. Don't screw with me. Pay up. Don't You all sure? Okay. Then I guess that's that. Good, Good thing I just saved. I know you you're supposed to do this password on the first try, right? Anytime. Right? I'll be right here. To get the elemental material. Were you, Crixie, playing it on an emulator? The cheers was for predictable. I... Crash Bandicoot's no joke. Yeah, I haven't beaten it. It's really good, though. I liked it a lot. Midgar's Pizza. And the mayor is called Heart, almost like Hut. Yeah, sure. Oh, I see, Crixie. So even as a kid, you just weren't that good. Got it. Got it? Then tell me. The password is Shinra. Mark the black sweet. How are you supposed to know this password? I don't. Oh right, you have to find the ones that don't fit, right? That's what it is. Company archives, public order and weapons. Okay. Public order and weapons. 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 That might not be one that fits. Deployment breakdown according to soldier class. Public order. This one. It's this one. This doesn't fit, right? Public order and weapons. This book doesn't fit. And there's a three. So the letter is K, right? That's how this works. That's what I remember. The letter is K. So we got K, we got a K, right? I didn't get the, the I heard the remasters of the Bandicoot games are really good. Same for Spyro, right? The in-stream chat window is dope. It's the Final Fantasy VII menu. Uh, it is. It's a Final Fantasy VII menu box and font. Do I do that for every game? 
I've been doing that for six or seven years now. You can't always find stuff for the game though, so I just approximate every once in a while. It's kind of hard to do. I wouldn't mind playing the Gax games, honestly. Gax 3 was pretty fun when we had to try that that one night. Do, 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 do. A hidden gem? Yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. Like, really dated humor, but that's part of the experience at this point, right? You like Glover? I thought it was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No judgment. Don't worry. I was forced to play it by people like Lord Deramus. It was awful. <laughs> It was terrible. Young master. Shut up, Gremio. <laughs> no one wants to hear your shit. Uh, st stupid, sweeked in, dated reference collection. from a game I streamed two years ago. <laughs> uh, now it says that. I used to have it have like color shifting, but it was adding too much GPU overhead. Space program, okay. Seven. S. So we have a K and an S, right? Wait. Does that fit? Just says space program. It looks like two don't fit. No, they made me play Glover. Quest 64 has been on the next list, but nobody wants me to play that. Nobody. There's no one here that wants me to play that. Diminishing macro energy and planetary activity. Oh, planetary activity means this fits. Building plan of the new city. That does not fit. Right? That's space. Flying machine. Space program budget. Rocket engines. This is it. 11. Okay, so that's an eight little word. A. Unless it counts spaces. Does this count spaces on the number? Does anyone know? I didn't consider that. Quest 64 isn't as bad and potentially funny as Glover. That's probably what it is, Loki, yeah. Glover had charm and a unique premise. Yeah, Quest 64 is basically just placed like it's an alpha of an RPG, you know? Like an unfinished game. It does not count spaces, okay. I liked what I got from Quest 64, but what I got was barely anything. So like I rented it as a kid, fully expecting, oh, I'm gonna try this out and then ask for it for a gift. And after beating it in like a day, I was like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> like, it was so painfully short. And like, there was just nowhere to go. Like the whole game's like a straight line basically. Tetrasphere. I think I've seen that one. All right, so if this doesn't count spaces, the letter is A. So we have a K and an A, right? A K and an A. It sounds like it's gonna be Mako. Urban development, okay. We let this jerk in here. Speaking of Glover, we got some wise, wise guys out there somewhere. <laughs> it's stupid Glove. Midgar plate design and related issues. Yep. Map. Okay. Urban dev. Map. Mako reactor construction work schedule. That's probably urban dev. Space program. Here we go. 15th letter. 15th letter. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. M. What were our letters that we had? A K, an M. What was this one again? I forget. Was this an... Was this an A? Yes. Okay, so we have AKM. It's gonna be Mako, right? It's gonna be Mako. Science, okay. Dude. What I always felt like Quest 64 was, was a game that had a lot of potential that just didn't get finished. 
like you couldn't go in buildings the first town you go to like city you go to is the only one you go to like you can't go in any buildings you can't really do anything there it's i can see forever it feels like an adventure that's as deep as a kiddie pool you know hi we're up close and personal now <laughs> Oh, man. Mario Galaxy. Ooh, I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't seen that one yet. Mario Galaxy. Science. Okay, okay this is science. Resident Evil 4 is the closest game to perfect we've ever seen. What does that mean when a game is perfect? Quest 64 was definitely an unfinished game. The poor horse in the beginning was just a few polygons and the last dungeon was a thing. I don't even remember the last dungeon. The Gremio Glover combo. Yeah, dare miss. We got some memesters out there using those stream loots. Oh, that sucks, Uber. Mako weaponry. This doesn't fit. This is the science. It's it's oh, right? Yep, ancients, Dr. Gas, Mako and Organisms. One of the consoles of all time. The letter is O. Mako. Okay. Dude Oh god, what the fuck? That looks weird. But we're just gonna roll with it. I'm not even going to touch it. We're just going to roll with all of these shenanigans. <laughs> uh, one of the consoles of all time. Perfect is one, not one small boring moment in a game. Pacing is perfect. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Scanning from home. I, what does that mean? What's up, Sino? Welcome back. Welcome back. Sip. Okay, premium. Fine, I'm in and he's hanging out. I am hanging out. How's this gonna work? Very awkwardly. <laughs> Very awkwardly. Ugh. Got it? Then tell me. The password is. Mako. Shin Mako Mayor is the best. Shinra is a fool. Mako is tops. Tops? The mayor is a bomb. Blast that Mako. Shinra goes boom. <laughs> Blast that Mako. This one. Mako. Mako. God, I love the sound of that. Mako. If I had more of it, I would be a real man. How's my Australian cosplay right now? Is it good? That was weird. The audio like shifted. On your first attempt, too. Just goes to show that you can't judge a book by its cover. A promise is a promise. Yeah. Why would I do something like this, you ask? Why is Cloud talking like Barrett? Yeah, that was a little weird. Oh, you you do you do pickups for for those delivery services, Uber? Revenge, of course. Shinra's been torturing me forever. That's why I was a little rough on you just now. I think they could have done better with this audio quality here on this guy. Now go up there and really make them suffer. Like this guy's was fine. Almost everybody in this game has been fine, but there's a few NPCs where it's like, mm. but I was told by the head of the project, uh, he said that after disc one, they released a demo of this and it went viral and they got a ton more people applying to help with voices and the quality went like way up. Cloud and Barrett have the same voice actor? Wow, that's impressive. I had no idea. Oh, that's cool, Uber. That's really cool, man. Um, Let's see. Well, since we just did that, 
I'm gonna... I'm gonna go safe. I'm gonna go safe. So we just got a nice materia. What's up, rendezvous? You think Cloud's voice doesn't work quite right? I thought the Cloud's voice was really good. Of the performances so far, the ones that I've been most impressed by are Tifa, Aerith, especially Aerith. Holy crap, she was perfect in Wall Market. Wow. Like, just nailed it. Like, total bratty, impish... You know, prankster the whole time. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> so are these authentic voice actors. I think some of them are. Most of them are just volunteering though, and wanting to get into the industry, like myself. That's why I applied to help them with eight and nine. We still have not encountered any um soldiers. Cause I want to steal that sword from them. Sound-alikes? Wait, what do you mean by sound-alikes? I don't understand that question. Sounding like what? When this was being made, there was no one to sound alike. This project started like five years ago. Soldiers only appear after you get Red 13. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that makes sense, Uber. So yeah, I liked Aerith and Tifa's. Uh, President Shinra's is pretty good. We heard Sephiroth once, and I was pretty impressed by that. Those are the ones I've been most impressed by. Um, Johnny's is really funny. <laughs> the like the dork from the the slums that likes Tifa. You know what I'm talking about? That guy nailed it. Uh, Big Bro was a really good vocal performance. So was Corneo. Don Corneo's was a really good performance. There's been, like, those are the ones that are standing out. Like, all of them have mostly been good, though. You weren't sure they were trying to sound like the people that have already voiced them. No. What would they compare that to? I don't understand. Were the characters ever voiced prior to the remake? Oh, I guess they were in the movie. No, they weren't trying to sound like anything. The remake came out years after this started, Selnica. Like, years. Literal years. Sounded like Advent Child. No. No, they weren't aiming for any of that. Yeah, like I just said, this project was started five years ago. At least five years ago. Tifa's reminds you of the Advent Children VA. No, they weren't doing that. Like they, my understanding is they were specifically trying to avoid that, so that people wouldn't start doing that. An air duct. It doesn't look like I can crawl in from this end. Okay. Verifying key card. Rank B. Employee confirmed. You are permitted to open up to three doors on this floor. So this is like a weird make zero sense kind of puzzle. Like this makes no sense why this would be laid out like this in reality. But who cares? It's a puzzle. We're gonna get treasure. <laughs> if you receive a coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning. Looking into ventilation shafts is dangerous. Please refrain from doing so. I, I can't wait for eight and nine's projects of this to be finished. The voice acting projects. The demo of nine just released earlier this week. And it's some of the best voice acting I've heard in a game. Just period. <laughs> 
Yeah, Frontal. Like, I'm not even, like, exaggerating that. Like, they absolutely nailed every voice. They build this floor to explain away expenses. <laughs> yep, that's it. That would make sense, wouldn't it? A tax write-off. <laughs> it's a freaking tax write-off. Oh, man. What's up, Dubmeister? Hey, Ron, how you doing? Yeah, eight and nine, they're aiming to finish by the end of this year. They're two separate uh, heads running each project. Um, okay. So I don't remember the order here. Can you reset this? Comply with some BS regulation. Like, let's say I don't like the order I did it in. I, can, I, can you reset it? I can't remember. Yeah, okay. air duct okay so from what I remember you want to get to one of the rooms that has a coupon and an air duct I can't recall specifically the best way to go about that because I think there's three coupons if you just don't exchange the coupon okay what's up harassment Speaking of the voice projects, <laughs> Islander, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Haragsman does uh, casting for the voice actors. Did you work on this one too? Or are you doing just eight and nine? Hmm. Let's see. What's going to be the best way to go about this? I see three treasures already and I want to get them all. You think you know the path if I want it, but don't backseat. Yeah, for now, I want to just tinker with this, but I absolutely might need that answer. So anyone that knows the answer, hold hold, hold that thought for me, because I may ask for it. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Well, I feel like if I go this way, I won't have access to anything. So there's that door, that door, and... Well, I don't know. Let's take this one. Because that looks like it skips one of the doors. Potentially. This one gives me access to a coupon right here. Right? An air duct. Let's go in the air duct. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. An air duct. Spun me around. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. He's RP crawling. <laughs> mm. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. You did a little work on seven. It wasn't really your project though. After seven, you became more prominent in studio still and pseudomods. What is a studio still? I don't know. Like, I, I didn't know about any of this stuff until, like, a few days ago. Other than that random five-year-ago visit from Suna Mods, who was talking about this mod in my channel when I was playing New Threat. Neither one of us remember that. All right, that's all three treasures, isn't it? I think I just nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> cool. Cool. It's the voice acting studio that works in conjunction with Pseudomons. Okay. Gotcha. Coupon, coupon exchange. exchange. You can exchange your coupons for items. The items available are coupon A, star pendants, coupon B, four slots. Heck yeah. Coupon C. All I'm most excited about the all materia there, but four stars is pretty good, or four slots is pretty good. I think it used to be called four stars. Didn't he just say four stars? Please note, after exchanging coupons, you can no longer issue the all clear. Will you exchange coupons? Yes. Coupon exchange complete. Hell yeah. The 
all clear command is unavailable after it is four slots. Okay. Yeah, I got them all. Thanks, Slushy. Thanks, Dub. Thanks, Monty. Those are all good. Well, the star pen, it's okay. All it does is really just poison immunity. That doesn't really speak to me too much. Four slots, so they won't be linked. But. Ooh, the defense is really low on that, too. Maybe. I could use that on him since he's back row. Okay, so we have an extra all materia now. I want to give that to him for restore. Now we could add an element to defense or offense. Either way, I need to be leveling it up, right? The poison immunity is huge against the boss. Oh, okay. Which there's quite a few bosses coming up. There's Rufus, the dog, that flying machine, the tank on the highway. Does one of them use a lot? One of them must use poison. The boss with red 13, the lab monster. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that one too. Yeah, okay. Why does it feel like... Oh, okay. I was like, it feels like I'm missing something. Okay. So show the fire defense. I think there are things here that use fire. Regardless, I just needed to... Get some AP for that. Know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check this floor out. 64. Ooh, there's a save point. A rest area. Hell yes. I wasted those potions. This part confuses me. The sleep how long? Because I said it's at nine. And then the in-game time went up by three. I'm a little confused. <laughs> so I just, I just do one every time. It doesn't seem to affect anything yet. So yes, yeah, so there's a day-night cycle going on. Which is kind of cool, I gotta say. Here we go. Oh, it's the other vending machines. I'm a giant. Let me cut some sleep. He's a tired. Sleep for one hour behind enemy territory, fully healed and ready for action. Somehow not discovered. Yeah, you know. If you get tired, you should rest up in the other room. You got it. Handle the building security, so I have to keep up my strength. <laughs> Slighty talk. Hello? 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 You must be visitors. There we go. Feel free to use any machine that's available. Was there a date in the original seven on PlayStation? Yeah, no. No. Again, this has a day night cycle. They added that with one of the mods, slushy. It's a good catch. To regain your strength, the Shinra Gym Special Tonic. <laughs> Only 250 gil. Okay. This is so stupid. Give it a try. Give it a try. Nothing came out. Is it broken? Bang on it. Sir, what are you doing? No violence, please. But it stole my money. Crystal, it stole my money. Is it broken? Can you keep doing it? Sir. Can you keep doing it? Wasn't there like a thing from this? Is it broken? I think you can keep doing it. Sir, what? I'm pretty sure something happens if you keep doing it. Is it broken? Sir, 
I like that the security guy is just like there, not responding. He watches Sony Pop! Sir? Is it broken? Give up. Bang on it. I thought like a third option appears. Sir? What are you do Did I remember this wrong? Is it broken? I thought a third option would appear if you keep doing this. Sir? Eventually they sharpen Is their knife. <laughs> Give up. Bang on it. <laughs> Yes, that is voiced in the nine version. Is it broken? Including the line after that that most people don't know about. Sir, what are you doing? No violence, please. Is it broken? Is it broken? Sir. Is it broken? It's broken. I remembered this wrong, didn't Sir, I? Hold what on. are you doing? No violence, please. Hold on. FF7 vending machine. Shinra. There's something to... Oh, this... This pays off later, apparently. Apparently this pays off later. Okay. Why is Cloud Violet, you know, he's full of, he's full of Mako juice. Kind of messed him up, you know. Hi, <laughs> Anna. Oh, lately I've lately I'm a Welcome. bit self-conscious about this belly of mine. Same. That's the mood right there, same. He needs a good old Omni slash. Nice. Lately, I've, lately, I'm a bit self-conscious about this belly of mine. Ready? I'm gonna get some, we're gonna get some laps in. Give it a try. There you go. Any outstanding comments do we have? Um. Just a little just longer. A little longer. A little longer. A little longer. It's really good. I mean, I love it. I'm all about it. I think it's good. Um, some of the audio quality and the NPCs in this, you could tell, are not great. But I think that was because they were using not great audio equipment. Oh, it looks like ads just kicked in, so we'll pause. We'll pause here. The voice acting's top notch. Yeah, like the main roles are all just nailing it. Um, well, I don't even know if Haraxman can hear me now. <laughs> Notice how I got no warning for ads again. Oh, Twitch's ad? I don't know what they've done with their ads. I've been getting no warning for it. Three minutes of cardio. It's an unpaid project with no fans back then. Right, yeah. No, like, I, I, I get it. Um, if they can hear me. I'm not knocking on it. I'm just objectively stating that some of the quality of the NPC lines is pretty low. But that's the exception. Almost all of the ones I've encountered have been pretty good. Can you show the main menu for a second? I can grim after the ad break and after I'm done with this treadmill thing. Because I don't think I can get off of it right now without continuing the game. So I'll just sit tight for a couple minutes and I'll be happy to show you, okay? You understand? Yeah, I do too. Like, again, I'm not trying to knock it. No, but not everyone could afford stuff like this, right? Or even wants to. So like, I get it. But what I do like is that the project itself got prominent enough <clears throat> that y'all started getting people applying to help who do have experience and or audio equipment to give it the quality it deserves. <laughs> Don't get winded, oh no, Dermis, go get it. <laughs> yeah, chicken, both, right? Looks and sounds. Well, it's a lot of mods. I'm using a lot of mods. I'll be happy to show everyone. 
Uh, if you do the mods command, you can see the list of what I'm using if you want to do the same exact playthrough style that I'm doing. Do -do. You'd love to be involved in something like that? Then apply. They're still looking for help with eight and nine. Um, all major roles are cast though. So every time I've said that, I have to be like, don't get any ideas. They've already done that. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and post it. I still need a command for it. I keep forgetting. Maybe a mod can make a command for it. So others can do their application as well. I know I applied. Hopefully I'll be able to help out. Um, who knows? I sent harassment and the other person doing the audio mastering. Just three minutes of me like doing random ass voices. So at the very least, I'm sure somebody got some entertainment out of it. <laughs> the color is something I did. Yeah. Okay. Ads are done. Thanks for everyone for waiting through those ads. There you go. There's the form Thor. Just apply. You'd love to be involved with something like that. Now you have no excuse. I've seen a lot of people say like, I want to help. And then you can just like give them the form you know, of something that they want to help with. And then they're like, eh. <laughs> Balls in your cart. Blasting off to lurk. Blasting off to lurk. Me chill. Thank you, man, as always, for your exceptional generosity. I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you. You put a simple voice sample in for eight for anything? Hell yeah, Susamu. Yeah, good luck to anyone who applies. All right, once I'm done with this treadmill, I'll be happy to show you, Grim, okay? Just a little longer. Locking at work now? Right on, dude. Hopefully... How's that been going, by the way? Is it, have you gotten everything settled yet? I know you said you were feeling sick recently. Look at that. That timer. What the fuck is it doing right now? <laughs> we just, just had ads. Uh, you can disregard that. It's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen. Do I feel lighter, I think. He feels lighter. So that does something. I think it gives him stats or something, but I don't really know. I just remember there's a point to it. I just remember there is a point to it. So I'm gonna have to talk to Jin Gear. Like, I don't know what's going on with that timer. Do -do. So, uh, Grim, do the mods command. Maybe he's faster. Does he feel as light as a cloud? <laughs> I thought you were lurking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Thor. There he goes. You gotta suck it back in, right? Thank you for 133, 331. And 133. Okay, really lurking now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so that's the list of mods I have. The one that's affecting the menu itself is probably the um, enhanced stock UI mod, if I had to guess. I'm pretty sure it was that. So the colors, yes, that was me. Very much. That was me. There's a border bar option. Uh, let's see. Menu options. Yeah, there's a lot of options in there. It's probably in there somewhere. If I had to guess. It's probably in here somewhere. Maybe this? Yeah, it was that one. I didn't want it to change. I wanted to keep it the original. I did not include in that mods command every single individual setting I'm using in each mod because there's no way to do that. <laughs> there's no way to do that. It's too much. It's all to taste anyway. You know, just set it the way you want. Out of order, try a different floor. 
Shinra Company repairs. I like the. Oh, these are the bathrooms. Okay. But I gotta poo! Cloud's gotta take a big duke! Can I go shower? You can't shower. What a crime. What a crime. Can I open these lockers? Time to take a piss. You can open these lockers later in the game, right? Oh, never mind. We're trying them all. We're trying them all, chat. You wanted to find the setting. Yeah, I don't know what any of the settings are offhand. I just tinkered with them until it looked and sounded the way I wanted it to. What's this? A megaphone? Zip! You got it, Motsi. Drum Wolf wants Ivy to be our TTS voice now. That. Megaphone. What's this? We don't okay, we can get that later, right? That's for catchy. Catchy. Why did I think that was an item? Hi. Somebody said hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you know if any difficulty mods would work with Echo S? I don't know. That's a good question, that's wrong. Oh, Haraxment says they don't. Haraxment has worked on these. So apparently they do not. So you probably can't do like new thread or anything with it. Oh, I remember this. We just have to piece this back together. Of Midgar, the city that feeds off of Mako energy. Let me check the uh, music volume here. Turn down a little bit here. At Echo S and difficulty mods affect the same files. I see. Locked. 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 Well, unlock, God. Midgar parts. Isn't it just like a weird kind of open the chest in the right order sort of thing? Do -do 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 -do. The exhibit boss from New Threat. Remind me what that is, because I played that over five years ago. It's been a long time, you know? It's been a really long time, Fenrir. Shinra is security tapeworms, that's right, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful about those tapeworms, Deramis, okay? Alright, maybe this is an open and order kind of thing. The model of Midgar. The model's incomplete. Sounds like something opened up. All right, so now we just guess the chest, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a weird knot puzzle. Make our parts. Oh, Midgar. They forgot the D. It should be Midgard because he's already at Nibelheim. God. Model of Midgar. The models. Leave it alone. Insert the Midgar parts. I like that it voices even the, the dialogue choices. I think that's cool. Like opened up. You can't do this the wrong way, can you? Locked. Security tapeworms and whatever the hell that thing is. That's... I... You know? Yeah. Oh, so close. That is that, whatever that is. It's weak, very weak to thunder. Optional boss based off the crane boss that stood guard in the Midgard model. Thunder. I don't know if I ever fought that. Doesn't sound familiar. I probably missed that. It might not even have even existed in the in the mod when I played it. 
Because the version I played was like 1.5 or even before 1.5. I don't remember. Where is Fartalfheim? That's... F is that where the f Frost Elves live or the Dark Elves? Or Frost Giants or Dark Elves? The city that feeds off of Mako energy. Is he, wait. Is Fartalfheim... Was that Dark Elves? The model's incomplete. My mythology's a little shaky there. Jordan, how are you today, by the way, man? How's you and the cat Sounds doing? Like something opened up. How's you and the cat doing? It's the Dark Elves? Okay. So I tell fine was dwarves? Oh, okay. Ow! Tapeworms, Dermis, that that slap you in the face. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, so close. Steel rates are so bad in this game. Jotunheim is Frost Giants. Right. That one I did remember. Get those limit breaks unlocked. We go. We got somersault. Heck yeah. Locked. I should find a mod that affects steel. Maybe I have one. Is there one? I want steel to not suck. <laughs> I remember it being like unreasonably affected by level scaling in some way. Where like if you get too high, you basically just can't steal things anymore from certain monsters. A model of Mid Sector Six is still vision. Wait, what did he say? A model of Midgar. The city Sector Six is still under construction. Once that's completed, Shinra's vision will be realized. Vision. Vision. Is Aerith part of their plans? Interesting. Didn't you do that at one point for nine? A mod for it for stealing? No. No, as far as I know, I don't think so. Unless Moguri mod, the city that feeds off of Mako energy, the models in did something with it, or that launcher did something Sounds with like it. Something opened up. I don't think so, Deramus, but I don't know for sure now that you ask. Because I like to me, it's just as easily a coin flip as if it existed, I would have done it or not, right? I don't know, so I guess I don't know if I did that. It has a 100% steal rate option. That's too high. But that's interesting. Is it this one now? No. This one. Okay. Dwarves Realm is... Need of Valor? Night of Valor? The model of mid the models. Sounds like something opened up. Your butt opened up, got him. Memoria has a triple triad mod. Wait, what does that mean? Wait, what's Memoria? Now I'm confused. It turns Final Fantasy IX's card game into Triple Triad. Oh, wow, okay. Did she just hit herself? What just happened there? You can miss with Thunder? I didn't know spells could miss. Huh? Thunder. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Highlander it is, isn't it? All right, no more thunder, I guess. I can dodge it. I did not know spells could miss. Like damage spells, I mean.
Oh, yeah, there you go. Loco, yeah. Dude, Sylvia, how you doing today? How's everything? Okay. Model of me. Can I? Model of me. Sector six is still vision. What? Wait, what did I get in that last chest? I was not looking. I thought it was Midgar parts. Was it not? I'm a bit confused here. Hold on, one sec. 100% steal rate nine would help a lot. Yeah, slushy. It would, wouldn't it? A model of a model of sector six vision. Okay, I guess I didn't get Midgar parts. What the hell did I get? Key card 66, that's what I got. Okay. That answers that. We're gonna go safe. I finished. Yeah, I, I saw that gap there and I'm like, oh, I'm not done. I don't think you can fill that last gap, can you? Last one remains like that? Okay. Rest there. Mm. How about that ambient audio? Pretty cool. Yeah, I always thought like, I wasn't sure, but I always thought that dark elves and dwarves were considered the same thing in that mythology, but I wasn't sure, so I wasn't gonna start saying it. <laughs> You've seen all of the Thundercats original? Did you like it when you were a kid, Zordon? I've not, honestly not seen the show. Mm. That's the gap for Scepter 6 since the plate partially fell and it needs rebuilt. Ah, okay. Phew. I'm fed up with carrying all these files. Yeah, you're a dark elf, I yeah. I meet lots of cute men, though, at least. One of the perks of being a secretary. Fair enough. Is it me or does the conference <laughs> room stink? There's definitely a smell coming from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this person just doesn't talk. Okay. I'm trying to find a hidden treasure. If you know where any of that is, always call it out. Always. There's hidden treasure, you know, or secrets like that. By all means. When you're in the restroom, do you ever hear voices coming from somewhere? You're like down. a load of whispering? A load of whispering. Oh, there's a person right there. They said it's another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about the plate incident. <laughs> what the heck, Sordon? That's an interesting concept. <coughs> Excuse me. Exactly, Kino. A load of whispering. Come on, come on. We're building the future of Mako. Uh... Sure you are. It's filthy. Yep. Gotta flush that toilet. It's filthy. Climb up and have a look. It's cool. A lot of suits. <laughs> Woo! That one just snuck up on me. I didn't have time to mute. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! -na 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 -na. Mm -mm -mm. Most of your North mythology is from Thor comics, even if it's half correct. That did teach people some mythology, right? Yo, Chromogram. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The damage report for Sector 7 has come in. We can finally hear all their voices. When considering the industrial sectors that were present and the investments that we have made, the cost to our company is expected to be in the region of 10 billion gil. Damn. 
In addition to this, rebuilding Plate 7 is expected to cost. We're not rebuilding. What? Wow. <laughs> Plate 7 is being left as it is. Instead, we're reopening the Neo Midgar project. So the ancient girl has... The promised land will be ours in good time. The promised land. He's got that evil voice. It's pretty good. Da -da -da -da. What up, Luna Reverie? How are you? Look at those shandy modes. Hell yeah. Uh, can I go with Dermis? That sounds fun. <laughs> Probably her axe, man. <laughs> Raise Marco rates fifteen percent in all areas. I can try any voice. I just need direction. That's all. Fifteen percent, you dick. Great hike, great hike, tra la la. And please include our space program in the budget. He sounds just as annoying as I thought he would. It's perfect. <laughs> Palmer is the freaking worst. Reeve and Scarlet will divide the revenue generated from the rates increase. Oh, man! Mr. President, raising the rates further can only add to the discontent felt among our citizens. I need to hear Scarlet. Don't worry. Bow now. The ignorant fools won't lose confidence. Far from it, in fact. Now trust our company all the more. This guy, I tell ya. You wanna hear Red? Yeah, I wanna hear them all, Highlander. <laughs> we haven't heard Red, Sid, Vincent, Yuffie, or Catchy. So most of them, right? After all, we're the ones who save the people of Sector 7 from terrorists. But we'll hear red tonight, right? <laughs> At least I say Keshi correctly. Yeah. I had to be taught that. Not had to be, but who, who taught me that? I think it was Endy. Endy Earth, friend of mine. She's a streamer friend. <clears throat> I think she was the one. The dirty lion. Ooh, Hojo. Ah, Hojo. We haven't heard him yet. How is the girl? How is the girl? Catchy. It's Gaelic. It's Gaelic, right? A Celtic? It's like a Celtic creature or something like that? Celtic mythology? Some kind of creature? I can't remember. Catchy, yeah. Effectively. I'm not saying it perfectly, but I'm I'm close. It's a Gaelic fairy, there you go. Celtic fairy, yeah. As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother, Ifana. I am still evaluating the difference, but for now the discrepancy is 18%. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'm me either, chicken. I don't know pronunciation of Gaelic words. I was just taught that's how that one is said. He does sound pretty sleazy, yeah. Uh, Dermis. What's up, yellow dog? How long will this evaluation take? I estimate around 120 years. It's unlikely to be finished in our lifetime. The hell, or Hojo. Or in the lifetime of the specimen, for that matter. Which is why we're thinking of breeding her. That way we can create the offspring with the strength to endure our research over a longer period of time. Breeding her. He's talking about Aerith like he's talking about a lab rat. This dude has like, he's a total sociopath, right? Or it would be psychopath. My psychopath. Like zero empathy. You win! <laughs> 
<laughs> is that the noise we need right now, Nermi? Okay. Is it sociopath? Okay. What about the promised land? Won't this delay hinder our plans? Yeah, it sets the stage right away for us knowing, like, the quantity, right? The known quantity of what Hojo is about. That is my conviction. In any case, the girl will be a strong mother. Although, she does have a few frailties. Sociopath, because there's still direction and purpose. Mm. <laughs> He's worse in the remake. I think that concludes our meeting. Scarlet never talked. Where's that smell coming from? That works. She had a little rasp to it. A little bit of rasp. About Aerith, right? Oh, yes. mm -mm. Sociopathy is learned, psychopathy is genetic. So either could be true. Hmm. I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. Is Irish just English? No. No. Irish is a language. <laughs> There's like Irish and Irish Gaelic. I'm pretty sure they're two different things, right? I could be wrong about that. You thought they had an outdated language called Celtic. Where the fuck is J-Rock? So we can knock some sense in you. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Celtic is a language family. I mean, Celtic is like Norse, right? That's not a language, right? It's like a a loose history, mythology, culture thing, right? Hojo. Irish, Gaelic, Welsh, etc. There you go. Etc. Hojo. We're gonna follow Mojo Hojo. A lot of folks don't know Irish is a separate language. The Irish people were basically colonized by English and forced to speak it. Yeah. And it sounds familiar, right? Same thing happened in the US. With all the him. all the indigenous folks. That Hojo guy. He's in charge of Shinra's science department. Cloud, you know him? Isle of Man has their own language too. Breton. Interesting. Now that one I did not know. I never heard of that. I'd seen the word Breton in the game Dark Age of Camelot. <laughs> That's where I learned that word. Oh, that was like 20 years ago. Yeah, I watch. I've. My understanding is that... Um, psychopathy actually through brain scans manifests differently like physically than a neurotypical brain would what's up master v how are you doing breton is spoken in Brittany, which is northern france huh see i never had uh like geography as a kid because i moved so much so like my knowledge of that kind of like you know, world information is pretty bad. It's the first time I've actually seen him. So, that's who. That's who. Finish the sentence, Claude! He didn't do it. Random encounter! Oh, finally! Okay. We're gonna kill one of them. We're gonna kill one of them. Oh, so 
so close. So close. Kill one and try to steal the sword from the remainder. Okay. Give it up already. Do 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 do. We need the sword. Having a great day. Oh, so close. Dude, that's good to hear. It's good to hear, man. Limit break. Had it. Do, 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 do. It that was weird. Her voice line cut off. Did you hear that? That was weird. You like reading about world languages? This guy's getting spammy now. It's a hobby of yours, chicken? Yeah, that's cool. It's a cool hobby. Almost had it. My extent there is random Wikipedia dives. You know? That's about where it ends for me. Let's bring it home. Which is fun. Sometimes I like to go on Google Maps and just like look at random islands in the ocean. It usually ends up like linking to information about them. There's some weird stuff out there. <laughs> like just things I'd never heard of. Like I, I had never known until like a couple weeks ago what Bikini Atoll was and all the like islands around it, which is apparently like an island nation itself. I had heard of Bikini Atoll like in history class, but I didn't know it was like a physical like island. And that there was like a bunch of inhabited islands around it. It's kind of wild. Gimme, gimme! Give it up already! His power's used up. I think he's trying to use MP. I think I'm gonna take it off active so battle. Like there's a semi-active. I think that's the one I wanted. Almost had it. Bah, where Almost is Georgia? I don't know. I don't know where that country is. No idea. Maybe somewhere near Russia. Almost had it. Do, 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 do. You picked up a nice mouse for a good price. What did you get? What kind of mouse did you get? Yeah, we got it. Oh, miss. Rip. If you Google it, you will find the state. Yeah, that makes sense. Wikipedia plus Google Maps. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I like doing that sometimes. Mm. All right, so we got the hard edge. Hell yeah, look at that. Mad upgrade. It's a mad upgrade. He's going to be doing a lot more physical damage. South of Russia. But Russia, Russia's huge. <laughs> Isn't like Mongolia, but also like, I don't know, like Poland, south of Russia. And they're like opposite ends of the continent. South of Russia. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> hey, Jamward, how are you today? Good to see you. Dun. Rogue Cat something. Oh, I never heard of that one. Kon Konimo. Bretons in Brittany tend to favor spears as their weapon of choice. That's probably a reference to something, but for me, right over my head. 
South of Russia isn't a great description for anywhere. Nah. Japan is also south of Russia. That's true, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Australia is also south of Russia. True, yeah. South of Western Russia by Ukraine. Is that where it is, Franzel? Okay. You just got back from a day of driving. Uh, were you traveling somewhere or do you uh, do driving for profession? Cascaboom, what do you got? The three games everyone should play. Mario 3, Mass Effect 2, Final Fantasy 7. Peak of the class and set the stage for others to follow. Yeah, those are pretty good samples there. It's between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Again, I didn't have geography as a kid. I don't know where those are. There's an isthmus south of Russia borders between the Dead Sea and the Caspian Sea. Yeah, I don't know where those are. You're signing an away soccer match in the next city over three hours each way. Whoa, yuck. That's awful. Holy smokes. Yeah, I still don't get it. It's only like a... <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh my God. Smoke bomb. What's up, everybody? How is Smoke's stream today? I was lurking there yesterday. I was lurking there yesterday. How was it today? What was that, uh, that titan of industry there? That's awful. Smoke rate. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, you know. Well, somebody put a weird joke in chat, and I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. It's over my head. Hi, everyone. I'm Phenomenon. It's good to have you. Hi, Smoke. That the sky cheeses with W item. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. I might. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Dude, thank you for 19 months. Hell yeah. You do too? It's a good time saver, right? You know? It's a good time saver. Yeah, I'm phenomenal. I like the retro, the RPG, the indie. I like the Smoke Alok streams. Those are good too. I'm all about the conversation, the community, the connection here. Pop those follows. I know Smoke loves his lurkers. So do we. They're always anonymous here. You won't see your name unless you want us to by saying something in chat. Smoke bomb, smoke bomb. Also, I push button for name game. Yo, thank you, Chaos. Also, look at that. 29 months. Thank you so much. What the fuck just happened? First time head shaving advice. How necessary is a mirror? Uh, I think eventually you can get used to not needing one, but I always use one just in case I miss a spot. They're dirt cheap. You just get a little handheld mirror, stand backwards in your bathroom mirror and stare at the handheld. And then I just shave it that way. It's not bad. You can get used to it real fast. You just got to commit. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You can do it. It's not bad at all. How's the voice acted mod? really good shockingly good so all the main roles are like they nailed it like they just nailed it uh the npcs are kind of hit or miss until later in the game so what the f <laughs> okay let's do this <laughs> first of all thanks thor for 65 months tier three smoke Galope just raided lobrilla literally two minutes after <laughs> What's up, Lobesies? Hello, Lobesies. Smokalok has gifted five subs to the Femi Bears. Wow. 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 Thank you for the five gift subs. Lobesies, how was your stream? Street Fighter 6. I crush on uh, Jury in those games because she's ridiculous <laughs> endless race oh boy oh boy oh no not the mixer not the mixer not the mixer beep boop beep back up the mixer Thor thank you for 11 bits hello everyone from Lobrilla and again smokes channel we're in a hype train 
Yeah. You pee can simp if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little simp for you, okay? <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Come on. Come on. Chaos Woods, thanks for 37 bits. Yeah, if you want to know what we're doing, other than all of you being ridiculously generous and kind to me and my community, we're playing Final Fantasy VII with a fully voice acted mod called Echo S and a bunch of other mods to make it look and sound like this. Hot pepper tuna? Now I want sushi. Shin, yo, thanks for 27 bits. Thank you so much. Wow. I just... You know, didn't you... Didn't you get the memo? Jamwar, thanks for 132. Didn't you get the memo? Uh, the TPS report said you're not supposed to be nice, but you know what? We'll, we'll let it pass this time. That's our alert list, by the way. If you want to tinker, have fun. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Sap! Sap! Does this work with 7th Heaven Mod Manager? That is exactly how I installed it. So here, with this Suddenly, mods command. across the building, I hear a seductive squawk. I frantically look through the stable. That's my Again, mod list. Squawk, squawk. This time lingering as to call me. I finally you want to do the same the way? Stall. I open it Why is it right there? Thick, Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Paul for 777 bits, man. Wow. Thank you so much. That is uh, no small amount, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you what. Sample my goods. <laughs> Crazy thanks. <laughs> for 28 bits. Yeah, this is a list of mods I'm using. You can do the mods command. Set it up in the exact same way, except for these two that are de deactivated. Just don't get them. And you could have yours look and sound exactly like what I'm doing. And I will be happy, happy to show you all of that here in just a minute or two. Mario! Silver likes those, 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 uh, those sounds. So it's full. So I have full analog movement. Why the 60 hell am I in such a rush? FPS. <laughs> Who made me sound like this? I gotta like, I'm not exercising. I'm exfoliating my paws. Okay. Okay, thank you, Neo, for 82 times 3. Hell yeah. So this is the menu system. You notice that the sound just changed because every area has ambient audio now. Who made me sound Does this like really this? keep the drugs? <laughs> Dude, thank you for another 82 times 3. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of our alerts stack on top of each other. They all run simultaneously. They all run simultaneously. So that's what Neo was showcasing there. It's a lot of fun. You can cause a lot of chaos. Someone told me I could find it. Really keep the, the drugs? Them, for sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Another 82 times two. That's a level five hype train, isn't it? Yeah, low Brilla. Smoke alone. Thank you again for those raids. It's very kind of you. It's a pile of rubble. Very kind of you. Paul. We still got to get a visual for that, Paul. I liked yours and Blue Sammy's idea for that. I got to use that still. I got to use that. We get a commercial. Well, yeah, yeah. A little, a uh, little uh, product placement or personal product. Play. <laughs> oh, man. This, this has been amazing. This mod, this package of mods, by the way, it's been just awesome. Let's see. Wait. The specimen Hojo asked me for is... Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, forward. Thanks for 11 bits. Thank you. Did I talk to that other guy? What other guy? What you talking about? This guy? What's up, guys? Blitz here today bringing you another update. What is this? This is different. This is different. So, let's talk about raids really quick. Just really quick. Because I showed this in my Discord and Twitter recently. Of all of my views within the Twitch website itself, so not counting external views, internal views, about year after year for the last five years, 
year after year, month after month, for the last five years, 45% of my views have come from raids slash hosts, right? When we had hosts. So I am always very grateful when people raid here. That's a huge amount of people that bring their communities over here to hang out. <laughs> that was so cursed. <laughs> thank you, Krixy, for the bits. Neo, thank you for 251 bits. So yeah, Smoke, Lobrilla. Anyone who ever raids here, I am grateful. I don't care if that number says one or 10,000. It's just, you thought that this place was cool enough to bring people over to, including yourself. So thank you very much. It means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, try Discord, Fenrir. Cause I'm not sure what you're referring to. It sounds like there's something yeah, I would reach out to him on Discord or maybe one of his mods and maybe they can, you know, get you the whatever it is you're trying to figure out there. <laughs> you showed you showed up here from two raids before you followed and eventually sub. Yeah, I mean, you, sometimes, you know, you raid a channel and people are like, hey, I'll hang out here for a little bit, you know, and that's awesome. I'm too old for Discord. I'm 41. What's your excuse? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I wouldn't, I don't know. Like he said, you could message him. So just find a way to message him, you know, that way you can keep it out of open chat there. Cause it sounds like there might be something that needs to be discussed privately. Zip. Oh, I, you almost debated me Smashington. I thought that was going to be a, uh, an actual hydrate. <laughs> Dude, I love discord. It's great. Discord's great. I love it. It's, it's the best way to get information for me, like from streamers, but also getting information to the community. So I do all my discussion about upcoming things we're doing on stream there. We do polls, voting for what to do next. We do movie nights, you know, it's where I post all my YouTube and social media stuff. It's a great centralized location for that stuff. Yeah, he says that whispers are a black smoke. So maybe, I don't know. You two can figure it out, I'm sure. I'm sure you got it. Boom. Yeah, Thor's a little older than me. He's a little older. He's grandpa. Very funny, Neo. <laughs> hey, there's a real hydrate in there. You got it. Let's see what this guy says. This just in. Everyone in Midgar all of a sudden has voices. <laughs> Sources have been saying that the activist group Pseudomods is behind all of this. You're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> hey, you, blue-eyed, chocobo-haired, large compensating, sword-wielding individual. What do you think about this? Um, excuse me? Meta shit, yeah. Wait, you're telling me you haven't noticed? Do you have Mako poisoning or something? Hype trade success, thank you. Level five. What's up with your eyes? What is up, my minus? I was a soldier. Oh, interesting. Say, hey, who's your friend with the red gloves? She looks like she's pretty good at handling the books. The books? And that's all the time that we have, guys. Make sure you all tune in for some more information on what's going on in Midgar. And hopefully a new update is coming soon from Sunomods. That was pretty meta. Here you go. How about some 60 FPS combat? Give you a little taste. There is combat banter in this, by the way. It's I have it set to about 50% of the time. Consider it handled. There you go. There's one. Does that look nice? Like how smooth everything's running? This is dope. <laughs> this is dope. Also, we got a level five hype train. Okay, so, 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 have a little product placement from me to you. How about that? Do you get thirsty? Mm -hmm. Happens to me too. Hi, I'm Thorngar, and there's nothing better than a nice refreshing drink to go along with watching your favorite streamer on Twitch TV, mm -hmm. Phenomenon. Introducing PT. I miss PT. 100% organic, 
made from only the finest, most natural ingredients. Warm and aromatic and fully recyclable. You gonna get some? Try PT today. You're in for a treat. Available absolutely nowhere near you at all. That's... That's your present. That's your present for a level five hype train. Thank you. We made that just for you, okay? You earned it. We made it just for you. <laughs> it's just for you, okay? Confirmed into P, no job. <laughs> Low Brilla, what do you when are you streaming next so we can watch you? Okay. I need to know if she's still here. I want to check out what her schedule is like. So we can watch the loopsies. And smoke, you like me, you're just terminally online. I just expect to wake up every day and see you live. And if you're not, I'm like, oh cool. He's taking a little day off. Cool. <laughs> Your Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. What time? What time? Oh my God, linguist, that's disgusting. <laughs> Smoke peas on his dogs and his girlfriend. Okay. No, we don't kink shame here, you know? You're an AI confirmed. Explains a few things, you know? Yo, crafty dog. That was a messed up commercial. War crimes, that's accurate, yeah. Accurate. All right, let's hear some of the uh, voice lines from the main characters, you ready? I want you all to get a good taste of this. It's a pretty important part right here. Muy importante. Is this the specimen for today's experiments? Okay, so that NPC, not the greatest audio quality. Like I said, the NPCs have been hit or miss, but the main cast have all been excellent. And they're doing this project for eight and nine. The demo of nine came out this week. And I can say this without hyperbole, it's some of the best voice acting in a game I've ever heard. And it's a mod project. They got some real talent behind it. It is. We shall proceed right away. Raise it to the floor above. Oh right, they're putting reverb in here because it's a metal room. You might be starting earlier soon, but at least 6.30 Eastern to 10ish or longer if you're in the mood. Okay, cool. So I can check you out before my streams a lot more easily then if, you, if that happens. This is awesome, Lorilla. Like, this is one of my favorite games. Is seven. And I always wanted something like this. And here it is. My precious specimen. If you want to do it yourself, you need the seventh heaven mod manager. It works on literally any version of the PC Final Fantasy VII, including the original 1998 IDOS PC port. So if you have any version of Final Fantasy VII on PC, obviously not Remake, because that's a different game, then you can do this. So Echo 7 is the name of the voice mod, and then that mods command shows an image of my mod list. So if you want all the same stuff I'm using, that image right there with the load order is exactly what you want. And you can set it up just the same way and play it the same way. How does he not see us there? Like we're just sitting in the open. <laughs> Tifa and Aerith's performances have been really good. We went out the settings too. You gonna have to figure those out, sorry. Death Haven. Is your name a reference to Breath of Fire 2? You wish you still had your OG Windows 7 discs? You have eight somewhere? That's pretty cool that you have eight. He has no peripheral vision. Well, there you go. Is it gonna be used in biological experiments? You ready for uh, nightmare fuel? Genova. You ready? You ready? Oh God, alien booba. Where's its head? Yeah, there's an eyeball on its teeth. Do 
Genova. Sephiroth. <laughs> so, they brought it here. You enjoyed Seven so much when you beat it for the first time, you immediately started over and played through it all over again. Wow, Audrey. That's awesome. When was, was that when it first came out, or did you play it later on? Yeah, Thor, you have the much rarer one. I watch is correct. I'm the only one to put that together. I've streamed the fan retranslation of Breath of Fire 2 twice. It was the first thing I ever streamed on this channel seven and a half years ago. And then I recently did it again about a year ago. If you haven't played that, you need to. That is an impressive project. The fan retranslation of Breath of Fire 2 makes the whole game make sense and it fixes all the dumb names and the, the localization errors. Everything makes sense with that. It's so good. So yeah, cool name by the way. <laughs> it's a great Super Nintendo game. Headless Booba, rule 34. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keecha, good morning. Thanks for the lurk. Genova was just tired of all the guys oogling her chest and having to remind them her eyes are up there. So she moved the eyes. Mm. Two birds with one stone. Yeah, it's a fun game, isn't it, Pocket? Pocket. I wish that they remade uh, the Breath of Fire franchise someday in like a full like anime style, like Trials of Mana. Because those games were always hugely inspired and aesthetically themed on anime. So it would be like the perfect fit. Is that on YouTube? Uh, my Breath of Fire playthrough is not on YouTube yet, no. But it is in my Twitch collection. You could use that instead if you want to check it out. It will be on my YouTube VODs channel eventually, though. That's one of many of my planned playthroughs. I've been uploading one VOD a night to my YouTube VODs channel. And I'll be doing that in perpetuity. So eventually I'll catch up because I don't stream every single night, right? So yeah, Breath of Fire 2 is eventually going to be there. But yeah, check out my uh, YouTube VODs channel, folks. I could use more uh, subs on there. Uh, I'm aiming to hit 500 before the end of the year. How'd the mods make it look? So the mods for FMVs upscale them to 30 FPS. They don't change too much of the visual of the FMVs. Those are mostly the same. We may potentially have a ad break rolling in soon. Twitch's ad manager has been all out of whack lately, but what I do is I run three minutes of ads every hour. It disables pre-rolls for everyone permanently. When the ad's running, gameplay is paused so that no non-subs miss gameplay. So I do that so that I know when the ads are running for all of us at the same time, we can all take a breath and stop at the same time when that happens. Also, I'm seeing a couple of YouTube subs coming through there thank you very much do, 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 do. thank you there they go they just kicked in i'm going to use this opportunity to go to the bathroom and get some more water i think this is a really good time why don't we all get up and stretch real quick get some snacks because i'm going to be streaming for another seven or eight hours <laughs> okay <coughs> i'm going to be streaming for another seven or eight hours i'm in for the long haul tonight i love this i hope you're enjoying it too. oh look we hit 200 YouTube subs. Hell yeah. Thank you. Nice little milestone there. How about that? That's my YouTube VODs channel. So what I do for the VODs on there is I cut out the intro, the intermission, and the outro. So it's just strictly the gameplay VODs. Omega Vixens, welcome in. Three games everyone should play. Xenogears, Breath of Fire 3, Metroid Prime. Who's that? A uh, VOD. Ervod. Ervod. <laughs> Hi, D. How you doing, Miss D? A hey, bit D. One of my, uh, one of my best friends on Twitch. A, A bit D is an amazing gal. Make sure you go check her out. Thanks, D, for 22 months. She and I like to cause chaos in other channels on Twitch. <laughs> Random streamer, you know, uses ad breaks to run on a treadmill and lift weights. Oh, that's really cool. That's clever. 8-Bit D has gifted a tier one sub to come stained ceiling. <sighs> Thanks, D, for your gift sub to come stained ceiling. <laughs> no, I did not say retro games, Godfather. No worries. They don't have to be retro. 
It's pretty warm. It's been hot in Chicago. Thanks, Paul, for 388 bits. That was D. Today. That was D that you just saw and heard. <laughs> Jam, Chrono Trigger, Resident Evil 4, Elden Ring for your three game picks. Haiti, Super Mario World, Chrono Trigger for T-Pocket. Chrono Trigger has been the number one answer tonight. Chicken Inspector, thanks for hanging out. Lord Daramus has gifted a tier one sub to poop on the floor guy. Why, why didn't he say V? He just ignored that word. <laughs> Daramus, you are now poop on floor guy. <laughs> Forward, your three games, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Final Fantasy VI, Castlevania, Symphony Night. Those are all really quality, quality picks. Require kitties on real screen? They usually are. They already got their treats though, so they've been sleeping. They've been sleeping. D, how did the rest of your stream go? You rated Tina, right? I've known Tina for seven years now, I wanna say. Long time. I have a nice voice. Yo, thanks, Crane. Oh, welcome, by the way. It's your first time, huh? How's it going? How's it going, Crane? Crane does, uh, like, audio mastering for these voice projects. Dusty Dog, welcome to you. Good to have you. You came with the Smoke Raid? Smoke's... He's a great guy, right? Does a hell of a good job making an entertaining broadcast for a billion years now. Doo-doo. Hi, Entatious. Just catching up with chat here while D is causing trouble. No surprise. You didn't have your tattoo in that clip and it freaks you out. I I got a new one that I want to use. Does anyone want to see the clip that I want to use for 8-Bit D's alert here? Would you like to see it? How about I show it to you real quick? It's pretty good, you know? It's pretty good. If I, if I do say so myself. Okay, it's going to be something like this, all right? It's going to be something like this. Let me show you. We're just going to bring up the old browser here. You know, just mute that really quick. And then we're just going to go right here. Right. Oh, God, Firefox. You're so weird. <laughs> there. Excuse you, Neo. I'm trying to share a clip here. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Fen Ryridra. Dude, thank you. <laughs> Excuse you, Paul. KMN Reed Wapi all has gifted a tier one sub to Cuman Feet. The TTS butchering your name you earned. Thank you, Paul, for the gift sub to Cuman Feet. That's what it is. That's what it is, okay? That's what it is. Let's see, how does this look? Yeah, that's good enough. That's all you need to see. fine mm -hmm. what was it what was it it's fine is it fine D <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god now what, Neo? Neo Gunner just yes. gifted a Dude, tier thank one you. sub to Proto Crudus. Thank you, Neo, for the gift sub to Proto Crudus. Look at this generosity in here. Thanks, folks. You're so kind. You're so kind. You want to play this mod so bad? I want to watch you play this mod, D. Welcome back from your shower, Reiko Man. Reiko Man. Neo Gunner has gifted a tier one sub to Slushy XVI. What's going on? <laughs> Wait, who's Lala, Reiko? Is that your cat? Is that your cat? Do not accept that challenge. I won't, okay? I won't. You just met Tina because you did the disability pan panel. Tina's awesome. She has an amazing dry sense of humor. Yeah, I've known her like seven years now. Seven years. Sparky, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? What were you doing? Were you doing more flight sims? Detroit become human. Oh, cool. I still have yet to play those. I've seen a lot of people play them, though, and they always look really good. Last two days in Chicagoland sucked. Yeah, it's been brutally hot, huh? Yeah. Today was a little better, yeah. My camera was overheating on stream yesterday. It was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Poop on floor guy. Challenge accept. No, don't do it. Don't do it. 
Neil Gunnerid has gifted a tier 1 sub to Chromagram. KMN Reed Larpy all has gifted a tier 1 sub to Tasty underscore feet underscore cheese. Damn, that's disgusting. Wow, Paul. <laughs> Neo, are you? Oh, I know what Neo is doing now. Wow. 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 I know what Neo is doing. Holy crap. Oh, is somebody telling me backseating my streaming? Amazing. <laughs> they're in the wrong channel. If they're backseating my streaming, that's not the vibe here. <laughs> Dude, Sparky, thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Things keep happening and you need to sleep. Do you need to do a self-care, Crixie? Do we need to take care of you? Do we got to do a self-care? together pull yourself together cloud you're just a touch north of rockford oh okay i'm like 10 minutes outside the city so pretty much the same climate you and i i probably got a bit more humidity but it's about the same right lala's the cat you posted on my discord she's your brother's cat oh okay 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 gotcha yeah if anyone's unfamiliar with like my vibe here let's just put it on the table and you all can make the most educated decision for yourselves as you need to okay my main focus for seven and a half years in streaming has been and always is the chat and the community that is always going to take priority over the game it just is so games get played slowly here because i'm more concerned with all of you than i am the video game but i still revel and enjoy the ever-living hell out of these games so you get both best of both worlds here and if that's too slow for you that's cool there's a lot of great streamers out there right now who are playing games and are purely focused on them or you could just go to youtube right and you don't got any of that chat interaction <laughs> there's a lot of options out there so you know that's the vibe here you either like it or you don't and that's cool nobody's gonna sweat it do 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 yeah, I got you, Fenrir. I didn't answer you before I went to the bathroom. I did answer you. I specifically replied to you in chat. Neo, thank you. Wow. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Dusty Dog 239. Thanks, Dusty Dog. Yeah, it's good to have you all here. We got anonymous follows, so if you, you, you know, you're a big lurker like me, you can follow here, your name won't pop up, so you're not going to be forced to, to be perceived or into a, a social encounter or anything like that. Should be much farther by now. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to put the controller down for you. Is that better? <laughs> Spites! Spites a hell of a motivator. Yeah, just put the controller down. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ryo is just fucking with me. They're just playing around. They don't mean it. Ryo hung out yesterday, so they're cool. Every comment about progress equal 10 minutes of no progress. Yeah. I There's a streamer friend of mine. He used to do this all the time. He would have... This was before all the DMCA stuff. Whenever someone came in and he was telling a story, and they'd be like, bro, just play the game, you know, or something like that, right? Dude, Neil! Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Rio GTO. <laughs> Thank you, man. Another gift sub. Anytime anyone told him to play the game, he would immediately go to YouTube and play Will Smith's Getting Jiggy With It, the full length of the video, and just dance to it. <laughs> just to fuck with him. <laughs> Like the most annoying song he could think of. He's like, yeah, let's play that one. <laughs> that gentleman's name is uh, The Strange. He's a very late night slash early morning streamer. Plays fighting games, but also like RPGs and indies. So check him out if you want. He's a funny guy. He's got hell, hell of great stories. Great stories. Yeah. Target acquired. Oh boy, here he goes. Did you see it? See what? See what? Cloud's hair's got cornrows. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Fenrir. Yeah, a little bit. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Highlander Beatty 5. Dude, thank you. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, Neo. Thank you. Another gift sub. It 
it's moving. Is it alive? Thank you so much. Yeah, if I missed anyone's messages, and you know, they were important enough you wanted me to see them, you can post them again. It's okay. I'm not trying to ignore anyone unless you're being sus, you know? Then I might ignore you. <laughs> the hell is this headless freak? Man, that's messed up. Let's just get out of here. It's messed up. Damn, the voice act mod is a nice touch. I love this so far. Wall market was like 10 out of 10 on the performances. Like everyone involved in that whole wall market segment. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Uh, if you know, you know. But wall market is a very funny, interesting. It was groundbreaking at the time. The topics that it was touching on. It was it, it hit it checks all the boxes for a memorable sequence in, a, in an RPG. Oh man, Neil! Look, there's red. We get to hear what red sounds like soon. Oh, they gave him Crane. I love the accent that they gave Mo Mookie. It was perfect. I didn't expect that accent, but it, it was right. It was spot on. Wow, Neil. Neil. Colored has gifted a tier one sub to slay a super show. Oh, really, D? Wall Market and the remake was really good, too? Yeah, I heard that that was like, they modernized it in the best way possible. It blew you away back when you played it in middle school when it first came out. Yeah. Crane does Neil a... Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to the official Crane. Crane does the uh, audio mastering for these voice projects. So, thank you, Neo very much for another you voiced him oh my god you did such a good job <laughs> it's really good like nicely done you cried during the honeybee inn and remake i know this might sound like heresy to a lot of you this is one of my all-time favorite games i have not played the remake i'm waiting until they're all done I'm taking the long, long-term outlook here. I'm gonna wait till they're all done and play them all back to back to back. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to N Simplex. For Is there Chico. something good to steal in here? Neo, holy smokes, dude. Good memory, Highlander. There it is right there, the hard edge sword. We got it from one of the soldier third class, I think. One of the soldier third class. You're also waiting in Tatius for all of them to be done? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Dude, Neo, thank you, man. This is wild generosity. I really appreciate that very much. You're waiting too, Baron? Yeah. Yeah, aren't these portraits cool? I'm not sure if these are fan art portraits or based on official uh, concept art. <clears throat> like no more art. I'm not really sure. But I like the look of them, so I made sure to that they were enabled in my mod list. Holy crap, Neo. Wow. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Baron underscore roof for underscore Xanatus. For PC port, the wait is longer. For re remake? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I won't be playing the PC version, though. I'll be playing the PS5 versions. Reminiscent of 4? Oh, yeah, it is. That's a good point. Yeah, 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 Fenrir, for sure. I... the One of the reasons this playthrough is going to be so slow is because I've been going out of my way to just talk to as many NPCs as I can to see how the performance and, you know, the, the voice sounds. Isn't there an enemy skill materia in here somewhere? Am I remembering that right? Well, there's poison materia. That's new. Let's give that to him. Ironically, Barrett's going to be my magic user. Doesn't make any sense, but he's back row already, so I might as well. There is an enemy skill in here? Okay, we got to find that. Is it on this floor or the next floor up? It's the next floor up, isn't it? It's the capsule cage. Oh, it's late. Okay. Okay. We can't check the cage, right? Not yet. Right? Because it's not open yet. Barrett's your wizard in the remake too. Really? 
yeah, Neo, don't worry. I, I, I'm never going to be entitled to what you're doing there, especially after a big raid. <laughs> Three games everyone should play, says your cucumber, Tetris, Minecraft, and Angry Birds. They're easy to understand and finish within five minutes or less of oversight. And if you like them, you can master each of them for years. Minecraft was one of my answers, Cucumber. I said Chrono Trigger, Minecraft, and Breath of the Wild. Because my motivation for the answer, and this doesn't have to be anyone else's, was what's going to be the most approachable for the widest audience to get more people in the gaming? So those were the three I went with. It's either last floor or this floor? Okay. Okay. You never played Minecraft Airedale? One of your children did? I ran a Minecraft server for a while, like, I don't know, it was like 10 plus years ago. It was really fun. It was a whitelisted server, so we only let people in that were mature enough to hang out with us because it was mostly like grown-ups, you know, playing on it. I don't think we had any kids on it at all. Dude, Neo, wow, thank Neo you. Neo has gifted a tier one sub to Old Navy Airedale. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, which comment didn't I did I miss? Do do Should I not read it? Do do Your son and you both played Minecraft together. It was your bonding game. You'd later play Elden Ring. Did you use that seamless co-op mod? That's such an amazing mod. Oh, that's your friend, Sparky? Hell yeah. Oop, we, we in cutscene mode. Aerith. Aerith. So, is that her name? That's her what name. What do you want? That's her name. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. Fenrir, say Last of Us, Chrono Trigger, City Skylines. Oh, City Skylines is awesome. I love that game. Last of Us for narrative storytelling, Chrono Trigger, because timeless RPG. City Skylines, because sandbox management builder. That's a good variety you got there. Bye, Crixie. Thanks for helping out tonight and for hanging out. Thanks for helping and hanging out tonight. Just checking to make sure I didn't miss any messages. Okay, no problem, Crane. You can get carbon bangles here. Oh, are those steels? We've come to take her back with us. Outsiders. You catch on real quick. <laughs> Go there are far too many frivolous things in the world to concern myself with the likes of you. You say Hojo is more fucked up than Kafka? My friend Apeit D did a Hojo kind of cosplay for her streams. <laughs> oh, it was pretty cool. There you go, Omega. That's where you can get the voice mod. Use the Seventh Heaven Mod Manager. It looks just like this. I'm going to show it to you all so you can do the same thing. Right? So you, you install this. Run your install of Final Fantasy VII PC one time so it makes all the config files. Okay. Any version will work, even the 1998 version. And then once this is all set up, you just go to Browse Catalog, and all of the mods are already here to be downloaded and installed at your leisure. It's really easy. If you want the exact setup I'm using, do the mods command, and it'll show you a picture of my mod list in load order, so you can have the same experience. I do need to make sure we get Matro Magic, yeah. We don't have enemy steel Are yet, or enemy skill me? yet, though. I'd advise against it. Justice for Ocha. <laughs> yeah, those the, Oblivion and Skyrim are like out of control with that. It's pretty cool that you have that many options, though. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Wow. Neo, Neo. has gifted a tier one sub to Holy Omega smokes. Suspect. Thank you. Another gift sub. Everyone that's getting gift subs, you have ad-free experience and some of the best emotes you'll find on Twitch. Thanks for being here. You have 308 mods on your Skyrim. What the heck? Oh, I know what you're doing with that. Is that project done yet, D? 
Have you finished that? I remember you talking about it on your stream. Or maybe we talked about it on the call. That's why I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> Almost? Okay. I don't know if you've opened up about that one yet. You're waiting until after the move to finalize it. Okay. Audrey, you're three games that everyone should play. Mario World, Pokemon, Heart, Gold, Soul Silver. What's the third one? <laughs> Wait, what's the third one? That's two. Those are great choices, by the way. <laughs> I consider Heart, Gold, Soul Silver one game, because it is. Oh, you said this. I thought you were saying my three would be this. And then, like, semicolon, right? And then the list. Okay, I understand. Final Fantasy VII is your third. Good pick. Without me, who would operate it? Mm -hmm. mm. Good, good. I always recommend logical thinking, especially at moments such as these. So the voice performances in this are based on a retranslation as well. So apparently it makes the story make a hell of a lot more sense. And I gotta tell you, so far that's, that's stood up to scrutiny. Like those flashback moments where Cloud is hearing voices makes way more sense now. That's the number one thing I've seen as far as that goes. Oh yeah, no problem, Jamward. Morrowind? I still gotta play that one someday. Motsi, Xenogear, Starcraft, Portal 2. Dude, I love Portal 2. Uh, Ryo, that's probably New Threat is the one you're talking about. I played that one about five years ago. Now, bring in the specimen. <laughs> Dang, Neo. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Quinnitatikin. Quinnitatikin, nice. I like how he said that. Oh no, not Aerith! New threat, yeah, it's pretty good. I like that Ryo. New the challenge mods don't work with the voice mod though. Because a lot of the files that they edit are the same. So if you want to do a challenge mod, you won't be able to do the voices. You've been replaying Oblivion Turk Dog? Yeah? Hell yeah. <laughs> Nip. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to her X-Men. Damn, dude. Thank you so much. Wow. A lot of great folks getting emotes and ad for you now. What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Lending a helping hand to some endangered species. Endangered? Both are on the brink of extinction. Endangered species. Hell yeah, Heraxman. <laughs> Yeah, anyone who subbed there as Twitch Turbo won't see ads. It's good stuff. If I don't intervene, these creatures will perish. You'd play New Threat if you play again? You've played the regular version too many times? New Threat oh, was no. fun. Creatures? That's terrible! Aerith is a human being! You right, Fenrir? Be. Barrett, can't you do something? All right, step back. Here we go. Stop! Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> Why have you? No, my precious specimens. Good performance, by the way. Good performance. Nice. Get him, Red. Now's our chance. Terror's throat out. Just end it. <laughs> Trust me, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Thanks, Cloud. Kristoff, yes. Legend of Dragoon. That game Neo needs some love. Gifted a tier one sub to Christoph underscore Darkstorm. You think so, Turk Dog? What's we wrong? Got, we got company. The elevator's moving. Neo, thank you very much. The 
This inferior creature is nothing compared to the specimen down there. A ferocious specimen, indeed. Yeah, he's doing a good job with the performance. <clears throat> the monster below is rather strong. I'll help you with it. Hmm. It talked? I'll talk as much as you like later, miss. <laughs> We'll take care of the monster. Keep Aerith safe. Barrett, you help her. We gotta keep Barrett in the party. He's got the uh, the heels. Tifa, I'm counting on you. What's your name? Hojo called me Red Thirteen, a name that means nothing to me. You may call me whatever you wish. Okay. I want to hear him in an area that doesn't have too much Let's reverb. Do mm. I do have a recommendation for the mastering. In some areas, the reverb was dialed up too high and sounded metallic when it shouldn't have been a metallic style reverb. Like the church, for example. Neo Gunner has gifted a tier one sub to Godfather 8th underscore ESG. Dude, thank you. Holy smokes. I forgot the gimmick here. I don't remember it at all. We're just gonna AoE and see what happens. Fry. <laughs> yup, sure does, Fenrir. These flames shall purify. Cool. Go for the little bouncy things. We gotta live with this poison now. Oh boy. Rihanna magic. He's reviving them, isn't he? Let's see what happens if we cast Bio on him. It heals him. <laughs> That should have known, huh? How much backseating is allowed here? Hints, tips, advice, secrets, side quests, all that's good. Just don't direct me. Don't tell me what to do, but inform me so that I can make the decision. Does that distinction make sense? Shit gets real, we get real. Nice. See how much damage that thing takes from a weapon attack. Not much. <clears throat> Not much at all. I'm just gonna aim for that thing in the back. Yeah, the 60 FPS is awesome in this. Hell yeah, we paralyzed it. These flames <laughs> shall consume you. Yeah, the hard edge is pretty good stuff. There we go. It's a good question, nonstop. So the mod itself disables renaming the characters. For the voice acting specifically. Mm -hmm. You could potentially run them out of MP to revive them again, but it's just easier, faster to kill the main boss. Good advice. <laughs> I didn't see that until now. <laughs> Thanks for that, honestly. Uh, it's a little stubby, isn't it, Valandres? Yeah. Talisman. I think that's a stat item. Aerith, are you okay? That's our enemy skill materia, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like she will be now. I have a right to choose as well. I'm not that keen on two-legged things. 
Your brother had a Final Fantasy VII theme cake with a candy buster sword in it. That's so cool, Hardy. <clears throat> what are you? Some kind of lab red dog? A fascinating question and difficult to answer. I am what you see before you. It's a good answer. I'm sure you have many questions, but I think it's best we leave here first. You know, I'll show you the way. I don't know if they ever actually vocalize what Red's like species is. Like, I don't think they ever say it, do they? Cloud, so you did come for me. Yes, ma'am. I apologize for what I did back there. It was merely an act to throw Hojo off guard. I will create you a sugar. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no need to be in this building now we've saved Aerith. We're getting the hell out of here. Yes, sir. If the five of us move together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up into two groups. Oh, the RPG trope. Yes, let's split up. Let's split the party because mechanical limitations. No, just fight five and five on whatever. <laughs> will be noticed the story never explicitly says what species of animal does ultimania say it d do you know okay uh change party this button okay so tifa is going to be in the party and i need to decide if i'm going to use barrett or red i'm not sure I'm not sure. I haven't used red in like a million years. We might use him. I think we'll use him. I haven't used him in a long time. A long time. You remember the voice style to help characterize the fact he's a beast? Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. His parents are mentioned at the canyon. Right, but they never actually talk about like, you know, what they are. It's pretty interesting. What more do you need to know? I know no things. <laughs> Ultimania doesn't say either. Okay, I was gonna say I could pop that out. Okay, menu. He's, he came with his own materia. That's pretty good. Wait, can I use triangle for these? Wasn't there a way to unequip all at once? Maybe not. I must be thinking of something else. Well, we'll just do it like that. Okay. Do, 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 do. The only one you barely use is catchy. Yeah, that one, he's a little, I don't know. He's not great in my opinion. He came with another all material. That's really good. Okay, he's got slots. Here we go. You're going to have restore all. And cover. He's already got sense. Hmm, how are we going to do this? We could take ice from her, give her sense, give you ice. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Good. Do, do, do. Rufus, too soon. <laughs> he has the second highest magic and magic growth after Eris in game. No kidding. I'm on that. Red was a type of feline. Magic only run? No, I'm not doing any kind of like specific challenge runs like that. The only like specific I have in mind for a build is for Tifa, which is I'm going to do the same thing I did last time and build her almost primarily for luck. See you later. We'll be waiting at the elevator on the 66th floor. So she be she becomes a crit beast. <laughs> so she'll have curse ring. She'll have the luck plus materia. Um, I don't think you can get more of those, but I don't remember. She'll have tons of counter attack materias. 
That's usually what I do with Tifa. Later, meet up on the 66th floor. 66th <laughs> floor. Enemy skill. Okay. There you go. You got an open slot. Let's check his stats. I think he's kind of hybrid stats, right? Yeah. His magic is the highest. Well, that's true of everyone, actually. I guess that's just naturally high. <clears throat> hey, Godfather, thanks for hanging with us. Enjoy that sub. Chronogram, you think everyone should play of three games, Animal Crossing, Pubble Bobble, Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar is awesome. That's one of my favorite multiplayer games. Sakaguchi said whatever red is, it isn't important beyond what we see in the story. So he didn't understand why people kept asking for specific species. I mean, it makes sense. <clears throat> Make it easy on yourself and give up now. <laughs> Thundara. Ow. Okay. These flames shall consume you. <laughs> First time we saw Somersault. What's that, Neo? The interaction you're talking about. Peace Ring plus Howling Moon. He gets all the benefits of the Limit Break, but doesn't get afflicted with Berserk. Never considered that. Interesting. You have a Red 13 tank top? Yo, sick. Yo, what's up, Coconut? How are you? It's good to see you. People are so used to Nomura Katase emphasis on theory crafting and such, they forget Sakaguchi never had the patience. Yeah, he just wrote his stories, right? He didn't he didn't feel like he needed to go into more depth. He is what we see before us. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I guess on the top. I don't remember if there's anything else here. We got our enemy skill. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Damn. Okay. That was a couple, maybe three damage. <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting to change the battle mode. If I forget again, remind me. Yeah, Nomura is perfect for Kingdom Hearts with that. All the theory crafting. You can own in any vehicle from any game. Huh. The Ragnarok from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Did I play the DLC for Power Wash Sim? I still have yet to buy that game. I keep forgetting to. I want to. I want to, because it's a, there's a Midgard DLC, right? That's what you're talking about. No, please don't kill me. <laughs> I only did what Dr. Hojo told me to do. Okay. I'll prove it. Here, take my key card. It'll get you as far as the 68th floor. Uh, would I do this if I run their side? Poor guy. <laughs> uh, this looks like a spaceship. Like, what is this? It's like a cockpit. All right, I think that's it for here, right? I don't think there's anything else hidden. If you know of anything, feel free to tell me, but I think that's it. We got the enemy skill and the two consumables, whatever they were. He never had a chance. Nope. No, he didn't. <laughs> Flying talks big enough to live in. 
I mean, the Normandy would be cool. The SR2. How about that? That'd be pretty cool. We just got to find the mass effect gates. That's all. Wait, is there something here? One sec. No. Okay. I think that's it. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. You'd love to see the direction on that. Sound pathetic. No more. Damn. You are nothing to me. Neo Camarus has gifted a tier one sub to Pumpkin Pyman. Damn, dude. Thank you. Holy crap. Thank you, another gift sub. Wow. Wow. I'm sleeping. Good on. Bye, man. How you doing? <clears throat> How are we doing? Loco weed. I think that uh, causes berserk. What? Oh, this must be lower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Potions. Blam Garden? That is a vehicle. <clears throat> yes, technically true. <laughs> Blam Garden itself. <sighs> How cool would it be to live in Blam Garden? Oh my god. It'd be amazing. <clears throat> I need to see the end of this tower. Where are you going? Everyone's meeting up at the elevator on the 66th floor. You know, looking around, going the wrong way, as you do. <laughs> as you do. <clears throat> they always run out of hot dogs. Yeah, they got to work on that hot dog supply chain. Cruise ship that's a city. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? It gets kind of noisy with the dinosaurs, the assassin guild, and the foreign invasions. You know, you take your wins with the losses. hit like a truck. <clears throat> there we go. Of all the endings in all the Final Fantasies, 8 is definitely my favorite. You can't get mods for games that are a console version of the game. Yeah. For, for the most part. Some of them you can Some of them lets you. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think there's a boss coming up here. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> this is our first time seeing him. Would you press up, please? Yep, that's the right voice for him. That's the correct choice. <laughs> Neo Gunnery has gifted a tier one sub to the crafty dog. Valandra has gifted a tier one sub to Storm Salmon. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Storm Salmon, this is awesome. <clears throat> I watch, not a fan of Zell. Neo and Volandres, thank you for your generosity. How about that? Crafty Dog and Storm Salmon getting some love. 
You're going to the Blizzara Ball. Wait, what is that, D? <clears throat> what is that? Well, that's somewhere around 80 points. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing rude about his voice choice, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's true, Jamward. I always play uh, my everything on hardware. Like everything. <clears throat> wow, wow. Including ROM hacks. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Nurse Nerd Gamer. Wow. Neo, thank you. Holy smokes. Turks must be a trap. <clears throat> thank you. Kupocon. Oh, I asked in your channel today what that was, and I probably did not hear the answer. I'm so sorry. What the heck is Kupocon? You got one while Neo was distracted? <laughs> it's a Final Fantasy convention? Oh. That sounds really fun. This must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Shit. I enjoyed it, yeah. Toronto, huh? The Moogles sound great in the nine voice acted mod. I can't wait for that to be finished. I don't know what they sound like in this. We haven't seen one. Usually don't see one until I think Gold Saucer. You get to reunite with Ben Starr. Was that the guy that did the got you too? the voice in um, 16, the main character? Mm, heck yeah, Crafty Dog. How did two Turks capture five people? Um, polite words. Which Final Fantasy IX NPC would I like to voice the most? I don't have a preference. I can do a ton of voices. I have no preference at all. That's him? Okay. Yeah, D got to meet the voice cast of 16 for that Square Enix meetup they did for streamers and content creators. <coughs> was pretty cool excuse me where's Aerith in a safe place Steiner the guy they got for Steiner there's no one is gonna beat that guy wait until you hear that guy <laughs> it's just like it's perfect you can't beat it she's invaluable to us <laughs> the last surviving ancient What's up, Tsunami Sumo? How are you tonight? Cetra? <sighs> that girl is a survivor of the Cetra? Cetra. The Cetra, or ancients, will teach us about the Promised Land. <clears throat> I'm expecting to hear great things from her. This guy's voice is familiar to me. I feel like I've heard it somewhere. Puck? Like I said, I just need a little direction and I can pull something off. All the main roles are like were cast through like a like a they have like a what is it called? Like a voice acting agency or whatever that's doing all the main roles. <laughs> Neo. No, I'm talking about the Echo S9 mod, Kino. Not like some real games, like the mod that does the voice acting. <clears throat> He's the Burmesian rat child NPC that Viva meets. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, I, I somehow do. I usually don't remember that stuff. Oh, the old man that sells you pickles? Yeah, I could totally do that. I know that guy. <clears throat> yeah, the person that they got to do Steiner for the mod is... There's there's no way anyone will ever do better. <laughs> the promised land. That's just a legend. Dude, I love pickles. <clears throat> 
So enticing, it must be pursued. Yeah, the gal that they got to do dagger in the nine Echo S9 mod. If she doesn't work in the industry already, she will be after that. <laughs> like, she's that good. <clears throat> oh, it's an old lady that sells pickles? Oh, I thought it was an old guy. <clears throat> the promised land is said to be incredibly fertile. And if the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Marco. Exactly. We won't even need to build any cash craving reactors there. The abundance of Marco will flow out all on its own. He's just gonna murder Hobo the planet. That is where Neo Midgar will be built. Our company's new glory. Rally Ho? No, they need to get people who can do that accent. I can't do that accent, Dubmeister. You're, you're talking about, I think it's called Con Petty. Con Petty? With all the dwarves? Yeah, they, they, you need an accent for those. I, I've never been able to pull that accent off. <laughs> Sell you fuzzy pickles? Man, Earthbound. It's my favorite Super Nintendo game. Keep dreaming. Surely you've realized by now all that one requires to make a dream come true is money and power. Well, that concludes your audience. Come on, out of his way. Now hold it right there. And I have a shitload of things I gotta say to you, you greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> Get him, Barrett. <laughs> Get him. <clears throat> For all other inquiries, please talk to my secretary. Did you apply on lunch? <clears throat> wow. That was a fucking line to say after all of that. Escape? Maybe. How do you're so reliable? <laughs> Barrett's VA spot on. Someone earlier said that the VA for Cloud and Barrett is the same in this game, which is impressive if true. <clears throat> you can't commit to it working four days a week. I wonder how Aerith is doing. Yeah. How's she doing? Anxious hearts. Good Cloud, song. Are you there? Aerith. You okay? <clears throat> Someone locked your ammo supply. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did that happen before? Yeah, I'm all right. I knew you'd come for me. Hey, you did ask for a bodyguard. The deal was for a date, right? This is one hell of a date, I gotta tell you. It happened multiple times last time? Wow, really? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm eyeballing it, Selnica. We should be getting a warning from the bot. There you go. So if the bot is right. Oh, I get it. Then there should be an ad break in like 45 seconds. During those, we always pause gameplay. Tifa, Tifa, you're in there too? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Whoops. But we like Diva. You no, know, Aerith. I have a question. Yes? Does the promised land actually exist? Oh. Well, I don't know. Oh, there they go. <laughs> All I do know is... There they go. There's the ads. Alright, we'll pause gameplay right there so nobody misses any. What do y'all think of this so far? This is your first time seeing it or not. What do you think? Is it pretty good? It's pretty good, right? 
Bow, bow, bow. Oh, had somebody join the Discord. Good to have you. Good to have you. If you uh, want the best place to know where announcements and information about the stream and everything that I do, plus a great place to hang out with the community, hit up the Discord. <clears throat> Get your booty in that Discord. There's the link. Great effort. You like it, Reiko? Dub Meister. Very, very, very good. <laughs> it's better than Funimation? Well, that's a low bar to clear. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they did a good job. It's nice to see it in a new way since you've played it, seen it so many times. Right, same. Like, as a kid, I beat this game, like, I don't know, at least six times. At least. And I wasn't, like, rushing through either. Like, I was trying to do everything I possibly could every time. No Pokemon? Yeah, the thing's always, always crashing. There you go. Have whatever that is. Oh, nice. It's well made. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really good. There it is. That's the link to the project. And then if you want the same mods I'm using, there's the mods image with my list and load order. Just put it in the same order. This is the first game you ever personally saw get maxed out. A timer get maxed out and at 100 hours played. I think that I did that too in this game. I don't think it was the only one though. <laughs> no. Animated FF movies? I've never seen any of those. 9959, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, unless you mean like Advent Children. I've only seen the Japanese version of that, so I don't know what the English voices sound like. But I never wanted to watch it again because it was only, I didn't really like it to be honest, Advent Children. <laughs> Tactics was the first one you capped out at 99 hours. I don't know if I did that with Tactics. I certainly did that with this game. 6969 that would be interesting Edge done job done <laughs> let's go the setra are born of the planet they speak with the planet and they unlock the planet um and then the Setra will return to the Promised Land, a land of supreme happiness, which was granted by the planet. Oh, Femur and Tactics? Yeah, you can do that. I never bothered with that because I never saw the point. <clears throat> the game was already too easy for me, but it's interesting how OP you can get by doing what you're talking about in Tactics. You capped out Final Fantasy IX's hours when you grinded for everyone to be level 99. Wow. I never did that because at that point I was in college. I just didn't have time, that time anymore. And I was playing for the first time in my life, like online games. Because I didn't get internet until like 2000. Yeah, I did too, Rufus. It was the Japanese version. What does that mean? More than words. I don't have a clue. Huh. Speak with the planet. Do, do, do. <laughs> Terrible level to do last dungeon at. Uh, in tactics? I don't know if I ever did that or not. In tactics. Just what does the planet say? It's real noisy. Like it's full of people. That's why I can't make out what it's saying. Huh. Can you hear it now? <clears throat> You moved to EverQuest and Counter-Strike in like 99 and console gaming became more rare. Yeah, I was kind of addicted to MMOs from like 2000 to 2010-ish. So like I missed 
99% of console games during that gap. The benefit is that I get to play games for the first time a lot here, <laughs> which is really cool. You just wanted to max stats. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. I got that. There's plenty of people here that like to do that. Yep. Yeah. Cause it lowers your level, but not really your stats. Right. And then you can just keep leveling again and getting more stats. You're so used to dealing with commercials. You forgot for a moment, the kind give subs. So you won't have commercials on here. Yeah. 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 People have been very generous tonight. I'm, I'm grateful for it. been able to hear it at that church in the slums and my mom once told me that hearing it clearly in Midgar isn't possible anymore my real mom that is she knows Aerith you must leave Midgar then you'll be able to speak with the planet and find your promised land mm. open and close the planet have a good lurk Sparky thanks again for that raid you played Anarchy online? I don't think I ever played that one. I was playing a lot of Diablo 2, Dark Age of Camelot, Final Fantasy 11. A lot of Final Fantasy 11. Holy crap. Never Winter Nights. And that's mostly it. I don't remember anything else that really took up a lot of my time. I played WoW for like a year and a half or two. Like right before Lich King launched and in the middle of Cataclysm. That's when I played WoW. And then I played 14 for a little bit, maybe a year. And that was it. Like, I can't play MMOs anymore because I realize I get too addicted to them and everything else, like, just gets deprioritized. <laughs> it's part of the ADHD. What's up, Disease? How are you? That's what she said. Back then, I thought I wouldn't be able to hear anything by now, but... FFT level down traps lower your stats based on current job. So if you're a bartered dancer when you level down, you lose almost nothing. Interesting. What you want, little monster? What's the monkey want? What's the little man want? Wait, your little buddy. Did you just wake up? You want to say hi? No. He just wants to get in the way. There you go. Yeah, that's a good spot, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Who's that handsome little gremlin? Is this mod available without the voiceovers? So the voiceovers is one of many mods I'm using. So if you're asking if you want to play exactly the way I am without the voices, yeah, you just download all the same mods that I'm using, except the voice one. He's stealing the show. Oh, he do that. He do that. Yep. Yeah, I can't play him anymore, Ryo. They're just, they're too dangerous for me. Yeah, I, I appreciate that crafting. What you want, little brother? Chin scratch? He said, no more, don't touch. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go, that mods command uh, Baron Rufus just posted. That's that's the, the list of mods I'm using and the load order. Just don't do Echo S if you don't no want the touching. voices. I recommend them. They've been really good so far. No touching. But... If you don't want them, you can just not download it. <laughs> I'm going to touch. I'm touching the kitty. Touch the moggy. Look at He's got a nice coat. You got good colors on your coat, little bud. <laughs> oh, no, Neil. <laughs> I can still do this TH show. Oh, thank you for 234 bits. That's Mog having fun with the mixer. He's that's what he do. He messes up my mixer all the time. You can configure Echo S to no voice and keep the other stuff. That's true. Yeah, it does come with more than just the voiceovers. They're not your cup of tea. That's fair. Boy, bud, bud. You being a nice boy today. You want to just hang out for a little bit? All right. Mog's going to run the camera while we play. Okay. Aerith is an ancient, and the ancients are all really called the Cetra. Right. 
The ancients know about a place called the Promised Land. Mm hmm Which Shin was really searching for. There you go. But the Promised Land's only mentioned in stories. We don't know if it exists or not. Fair. That right? Those jerks say the Promised Land is full of Mako energy. So if they find it, they'll suck it all up. Yep. And the land will wither away there too. The plant will get even more run down. Uh I don't this has no connection to any official media disease. If that's what you're asking. I'm not gonna let them get away. It's a mod. Avalanche is recruiting new members. It's not a, like a, a real release, like a like a something you buy. It's a mod. <clears throat> Excuse me. Me, Tifa, Cloud, uh, Aerith. How about you? How about me? Oh, he's talking to Red. God, you're so damn boring. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Red 13 is doing. Yeah, let's see. Grandpa. Are you mod? No, you're an official release, clearly. Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess to answer your question, no, I don't know who they are, diseased. I just know that these were all, this was a mod. These are all people fans of the game. Mm -hmm. Have I dabbled in 10 too? Yeah, for about five minutes or so. I can't handle the story, which is which sucks because it has like the best combat system in any FF. Maybe I'll play That's it someday. So amusing. Maybe I'll play it someday. Nothing. <laughs> It's on my next list. I know if it gets voted that way, I definitely will play through it. Don't. Oh, Tifa won't talk. Okay. Sleep time. No. It doesn't, Fenrir. I know what you're talking about. It doesn't. I think even the devs have come out and said, no, there's no connection. Other than we were just name dropping. She sleep. Look, look, look. The door's open. When did that happen? When indeed. Oh, I can't open the other doors. What's going on? Cool. To want. There's two cats on my desk right now. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Something's not right. Take a look outside. What happened? What indeed? He should have the keys on him. Yeah, get the keys. Tifa, they already got him, Rufus. I'll go get Barrett in Red 13. They already got him. That almost always happens like the very beginning of the stream. This guy are knocked out. I love that they still reference that in this. This is kind of creepy. Yeah. He was attacked? Like, Mog knows. As soon as I start warming, like, all my gear up for the stream, he's here waiting before it starts because he knows what's going to happen. So it's almost always, like, right at the beginning of the night. Barrett, Red 13. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Hey, how'd you get in? How'd you get in? 
The door's open. What the hell's going on? Indeed. This isn't the work of man. I'll check up ahead. Leave this to me. You guys keep moving before we get caught again. <laughs> My cats train me well. Is that true, Moggy? Did you train me, little guy? <laughs> Are you a good trainer? He said, I don't want to be touched. Oh, good boy. No touch? Okay. Come on. Let's follow Red 13. Let's. What team is it giving no me? Touching. <clears throat> okay. We'll do an exchange. Oh, man. She has. Hold on. Who did it? Holy crap. What in the world? Wait, Bog. You gonna jump? Go ahead. Go on. Hi, Pixels. What's up to one of the first person I ever followed on Twitch? Holy smokes. Pix, that was like seven and a half years ago. <laughs> uh, seven and a half years ago. Holy smokes. We've lived a lot of life since then. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for this sub. Thank you so much. There we go. Yeah, this is good. Guess what I was watching Bewix Pixel Pixel stream seven and a half years ago. It was this game. <laughs> Are we fighting washing machines? Oh my god, look at all the blood. That's cool. Brain pod. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, he's poisoned. Okay. And sleeping. Come on. Cut it out. Uh, he only likes pets when he wants them. Which is usually most of the time. Lend me your strength. All right, I wasn't sure if that healed status or not. Yeah, yeah. It's better to use those anyway. They're washing machines, right? This is what I'm saying. this mod seven and a half years ago no i said she was playing this game not this mod <laughs> deadly waste you get a cat like that super cuddly 95 percent of the time other five percent of the time you get claws he's just like he's gentle about it when he doesn't want to be pet he just puts his paw in my hand and just slowly pushes it away it's adorable all right this is different no it's not i thought for some reason the blood stain started all the way up here but i guess not they start over there. Okay. Yeah, I reckon this is dope. It's really good. The Genova specimen. It's moved to the floor above. Let's use the elevator. Let's use the elevator. Genova. Did it escape? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. Welcome, by the way, Wrecking Crew. We're going to save right here. Man. Everything about this is good. A crime scene! Yeah, I know. Your cats have started pawing the feet of anyone they see in dark rooms and meowing. In order to avoid getting stepped on? That's smart. I like the voice for Red. They said that they were aiming for of making, f aiming for making him sound more beast-like, and it works really well. This is a lot of mods, but the main mod that I'm using is Echo S, which is full voice acting for every character and NPC. Here, hold on. <laughs> oh, 
Well, there's the that's the load order for the mods. There you go. Chibi's got it. Thanks, Chibi. It's leading somewhere. Above? Yes, yeah, every NPC. This is my understanding. That's what I was told. <laughs> you would know, Harax man. Wouldn't you? Wise guy. <laughs> Red 13's your favorite voice so far. It's really good. Yeah, that, that, those two links picks. Make sure you check those out. If you want to play it the exact same way I am, that mods image is the load order I'm using. Oh, bite you got auto modded. That's so weird. Auto mod, you're ridiculous. Check the thingy for the yellow thingy for the stuff. I, you got to be more specific than that. Help me out. Did I find the secret rat character? Um, no, that's not in this game. That's something else. I don't know what you're talking about. One cat will headbutt your, headbutt your nose. One cat's favorite game is to pet you before I bite you. Oh, they all got distinctive personalities there, Valandres, huh? Enemy skill? Oh, I got that immediately after the boss fight. Wow, Chroma. The chants in the background? What chants? It's leading somewhere. Above? Above. Let's go. Look at these blood stains. Yeah, he definitely doesn't look like he's aged. Gangana? Hey, you asked for it. That sounded like some kind of like skin rash. <laughs> no, 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 stop hitting him. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Humming for people? Are you talking about the like buzz from the electronic devices in the game? Good trick. Nice job. No Who's got heal? Must be Cloud. <laughs> yup. Get fired up. Doo -doo -doo. I yeah, I'm curious what all the others sound like. The only thing I'm hearing is a buzzing on the left channel and it's a deliberate ambient buzzing to sound like electronic devices of some kind. <laughs> yeah, that's mostly left channel. Do 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 do. Context dependent voice lines and casting fire on yeah, it's there's context dependent voice lines on a lot of battle actions. It's pretty impressive Ooh, can I use these damn I could use this elevator. I want to use that save point. Well, we just saved like a Couple minutes ago, so no big deal there's nothing in here, is there? Oh, random encounters are in here. 60 nice floor, exactly. What the hell? Are we finding carrots? Vargid police. Those are cops, apparently. Okay. Sure they are. I don't I have time for you. They stole a tranquilizer. <laughs> There's chanting? I'm not hearing it. Unless you, oh, that, you're talking about that. Okay, that I'm hearing, yeah. I just heard it there. 
Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about now. I hear it. Save game. Are we ready? Are we ready? For the big moment? This one really threw me off guard. I don't want to go the other way. There's blood everywhere. It's gross and sticky. He's dead. This sword is. Sephiroth's. You mean Sephiroth is alive? She knows. Looks like it. Only he can wield that. Just get that checked out. Yeah. Yeah, I was hearing it too. You're going loony for a moment? I thought I was going loony for a moment. <clears throat> who cares who did it? Shit was finished. You think so? You think it's that easy? Get him. <laughs> Please don't kill me. They just arm bar him. <laughs> like you ain't going anywhere. What happened? S Sephiroth. Sephiroth came. You saw him. You saw Sephiroth. Yeah, I saw him with my own eyes. Really? Uh, when I lie at a time like this, I heard his voice too. Yeah, I'll play it eventually, Valandres. <laughs> um, he said something about not letting us have the promised land. Interesting. Wow, picks. What does that mean? Does the promised land really exist? And Sephiroth came here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy then? Nah, <laughs> I wouldn't say that, Barrett. Save the promised land. A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. Believe me. Sephiroth must have some other goal. about him. Who? Vice President Rufus. The president's son. Yeah, see? Nothing changes. Maybe it gets worse. They say he's real cold-hearted. I heard he's been assigned somewhere else for a while. Even I know of him. I wonder what sort of person he is. Um, you know... Way worse than his dad. <laughs> Can I take that sword? Give me that sword. I want that sword. Oh man, we can't take that sword. That's too bad. I was always annoyed about that as a kid. Like the sword's right there. Just take it. <laughs> Just let me have it. A lot of materia swapping so that's going to be happening here. After all, huh. who are you? Cloud, ex-soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. I sell flowers in the slums. <laughs> Research specimen. <sighs> what a crew. I sell flowers in the slums. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna give it to Eris. Yeah, she's a built-in sheath for it. Well, I'm Rufus, president of the Shinra Company. The old fool still warm. Not wasting any time, are you? True. As a courtesy, I'll let you hear the speech for my inauguration. Can we throw him off the building? Think how much trouble would be saved if we just nipped it in the bud, you know? <laughs> oh. 
Interesting spectrum there, Turk Dog. Mario World Spec Ops The Line Oregon Trail. Three games everyone should play. Hmm. I'll have two out of three there. Ooh. Clouds has the girth. Oh, man. Yeah, the voice Father is pretty controlled good. The world with the power of money. <clears throat> and that worked for him. Shinra made the people feel safe. They thought they were being protected. <laughs> Work at Shinra, get your pay. Any trouble, any terrorism, and the Shinra army is there for you. On the surface, it's a perfect setup. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. My father's way is far too expensive. Oh my goodness. Oh man. That would be an interesting swap. Insomniac? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that means, Turk Dog. I see the name of that game you're saying, and I know nothing about it. My brain just thinks, oh, another FPS. I have no idea what it is, to be quite honest. <clears throat> do, do, do. <laughs> you can control Fix. the hearts of men with a little fear. So, why waste good money on the mindless masses? Be under no illusions. I am not my father. Well, you're no different to him when it comes to speeches, that's for sure. Take Aerith and get out of the building. What? I'll explain later. Barrett, there's a crisis facing the planet. Dub Slappy. The hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll talk about it later. <clears throat> Just trust me on this. Like the past Chrono Trigger, Mario World. Some good Super Nintendo love there. <clears throat> Yeah, Rufus is, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's a monster. I'll catch up with you after I take care of him. What's that? What's up, Ash? How was Amiga today? Uh, all right, Cloud. How was your Amiga action today? You think you could fix Rufus? Oh God, D. Don't be that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Red flex. <laughs> oh. Video wizard, what you got? Mario Bros. Three, Dragon Quest Eleven, Ocarina of Time. Three games everyone should play. Got it. Got it. I mean, it wasn't like a freaking global speech slappy. He was talking to people he fully expects aren't going to be alive soon. So, <laughs> you think you just need someone to listen? Oh, God, you played Star Trek 25th anniversary. Have you played the voice acted version of that for like the CD, CD, CD ROM? It's so good. I gotta keep playing. I, I gotta continue that playthrough. I forgot about it. Do, 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 do. It works so well with Kafka. <laughs> oh, man. I'll wait for him. You guys get to the elevator. Okay. Tifa away for us. It's bound to be tougher from here on. We should check our equipment. Okay. So about Cloud and Tifa's material. Uh remove it. Okay. <laughs> he needs his space while we both work on ourselves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. 
Right, are you and Kafka seeing other protagonists? <laughs> Story puts you in a path that gives you moral choices. I see. Reminds me of Mass Effect. Reminds me of Mass Effect. Yeah, the character portraits are real nice, aren't they? Where'd your materia go? Arrange. There we go. Okay. You have, like, what? Fire all? She also does. We're gonna give her restore all. No. She needs some AoE magic that's damage. You can have restore all. You can have elemental poison resist. And uh, steel. Cover. Cover will work on him. Because he's in the back row. I said Mass Effect. They're talking about moral decisions in uh, video games. Morally gray areas often. Or the worst, you know, the best of two bad situations. Chrono Trigger, Metal Gear Solid 3, Hades. Ooh, that was a good spectrum. Okay. I think they were good there. Talisman plus 10 spirit. Star pennant. I'll keep that unequipped because I think we're going to give that to Cloud. Where are we supposed to go? Some el an elevator? Oh, right. I need to go save. I'm doing that first. If Tifa will let us. She might not let us. Now I think about it. <laughs> Go climb the ladder, you do that. Hide in the box. Your Mass Effect Pro, yeah? I haven't played them in a while, but I had, uh, on the 360, I tried to get all the achievements on the first one. And that's the only game I've really ever done that for. Um, I beat one and two on the hardest difficulty. I'll wait for him. You guys get to the elevator. But I want to save. Okay, we can't save. I don't think I beat three on the hardest difficulty, mainly because I got distracted by other games, but I was going to. It's just those games are a lot of fun for me. Do, do, do. Wait, what's cool? I missed something from Ash that is very cool. Oh, Ash, you're just saying Ash is cool. I thought you said this is cool. I, mi I misread that. Sorry, Ash said hi is very cool. That's correct. That is an accurate statement. What's up, FNA? How you doing today? Symphony of the Night, Skyrim. Fallout 4. No, no, no. One game. Those are two completely different games. You can't put them in the same because they're just using the same engine. That's cheating. <laughs> no, no, no. You pick one of those. <laughs> don't you, don't you cheat. You, you, know, you can't cheat here for the Andres. Oh, that'd be cool, Insomniac. I hope you get to do that. Food truck? Yeah. All oh, food trucks. I love those. Chrono Trigger. Boxer. That has been the most... Number one answer tonight has been Chrono Trigger. More people than anyone else have said that. And it was one of my answers. <laughs> it was one of mine, too. I haven't played the Legendary Edition, no. Do, do. Yeah, one or the other, Valandres. Pick one. <laughs> Those are two different games. What's up, Henry? How are you? Yeah, for question of the night. Um, 
three games everyone should play. The one that's been that's come up the most is Chrono Trigger. What's up, Wamp? How you doing? Mister, Mister, your three games: Metal Gear Solid One, Outer Wilds, oh, Super Metroid, Outer Wilds. That's an exceptionally impressive game. Where am I? Okay. Legendary Edition. Cause it's one game. It's three. It's three. It's just one package. <laughs> it's still three games. <laughs> Yo, wow. Mista, Mista. That is one of those homegrown, organic, non-GMO subs. If I had to pick any of the Mass Effects, it's two. That game's a masterpiece. Two. Gotta be two, right? There, yeah, two. Outer Wilds is an exceptional game. I could not put it down when I started. Yeah, I wasn't going anywhere for that, Slappy, no. I don't think that's what they were aiming for. <laughs> Chrono Trigger, Super Metroid, and Final Fantasy IV. Ah, okay. Doom. Chrono Cross is my all-time favorite soundtrack. D says Final Fantasy VI, Castlevania IV. I didn't realize you liked CB4 that much. Stardew Valley. I never beat CB4, D. I can't beat that stage with the gear that's chasing you up the staircases. I always fall off of them. I always fall off of them. Doom. Oh. Celeste, so you got one. All right, what's the other two? Celeste is pretty awesome. Yeah, Chrono Cross is my top soundtrack. D, have you streamed it? Have you streamed CB4? Is Celeste difficult? Oh, it's very difficult. Yeah. You've not streamed it? Kino, you say Chrono Trigger, Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance, and Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know anything about that second game, but... It's cool to see Shadow of the Colossus in there. The story in that one is subtle, but it hits, doesn't it? Oh, that was confusing. I forgot to change the battle mode still. <laughs> Crap. I keep forgetting. Blizzard. Can we hit this? Thunder! We cannot. Ranged only. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. I've seen memes of? Maybe. I don't know. I think the game's subpar, Chrono Cross. I wasn't sure about it myself until I streamed it a couple years ago, and it was it was awesome. It was such a great time. That game holds up really well. You're gonna run through all the CV games in October? That's a very, that's a tough challenge. I'm looking forward to it. I think you could do it. Man, those games are hard. A lot of those games are hard. This one's for you. These flames shall consume you. Did Blizzard do any damage? I didn't catch that. I don't know. Ow. Yeah, Valandres. Raiden punching the hell out of a senator's chest? Yeah, I don't know what that means. We've gotta give it our all. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 Order of Ecclesia. 
You're gonna need luck. You got experience. There you go. Yeah, she's not playing through them because she's new to the franchise, Cucumber. <laughs> Oh, we got it. Okay. I mean, if you want to restrict your criteria to whatever arbitrary, you know, things like that, it's on the code. Go right ahead. Lend me your strength. Give me that healing, that sweet healing. A B cannon. Oh, she's asleep. I don't think I have a way of healing that. Other than hitting her. Shall purify. Your obsession with Castlevania runs almost as deep as Final Fantasy, but people think you're terrible at games, so you don't nerd out about it as often. Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of that ignorant bullshit from people discounting you. It's like, I'd like to see how they play those games with neuropathy. Considering you do it for a living and they don't, I think I know who's gonna win out there. <sighs> beep beep. This is going pretty smoothly, just a lot of spells. There you go, that was not bad at all. Easy peasy. Yeah, the voice lines are great. Tetris was close to one of your top three, but you chose Ocarina. Someone else said Tetris earlier. I thought it was a good answer, honestly. OG Game Boy Tetris? That one or NES, right, Boxer? I would say one of those two. How are you to know? Well, you weren't. That's why you shouldn't have made an assumption to begin with, right? That was your stumble, man. No one was assuming you knew D. You were just assuming she didn't know what she was doing. Right? You 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 kind of fucked up there. <laughs> Anyone else find the short HP bars a little odd? No, I honestly I didn't notice until you just sent that. I didn't it didn't even register to me. Remove materia from members. Okay. Let's equip him. I remember poison being exceptional here. So we're going to make sure that he has uh, poison equipped, but also elemental on his sword. I remember this being very, very powerful for this fight. Yeah, I haven't beat the DLC of Celeste either, Selnica. They're, they're mad hard. My hands will cramp up trying to beat those. Yeah, the demo is why the demo of nine is why I found out about this mod and these mods and why I applied to help with them. Yeah, Red's voice is great. I like it. They said they said that uh, they were aiming to make him sound more bestial. So I think they nailed it. <clears throat> Poker gently with Barrett's literal arm gun. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense, Selnica. It's helping you narrow it down. I get you. Chose to power through. Thanks, D. Thanks for the GG. You exist on energy drinks, luck, and skill. Oh, man. I've heard of the nano machines one, Jin Gear, but none of the others. I've ever, I've never heard of the other ones. Tetris is as close to perfect as the game could be. 
D used to play Tetris competitively. <laughs> She's got some uh, insight. <laughs> it's one of the hardest I've asked Emma this question of the night. Yeah, it's a tough one. I had a, I had a struggle with it too. So you got this game, Donkey Kong Country and Stardew Valley. Those are pretty good picks. Those are pretty good picks. It's good to see you, Jin Gear. How are you today? Oh, it's Nice Nexus coming on in. Hey, Fenrir, if you're still around, thanks for stopping in. Just catching up on chat here. It was good. It was good to have you. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Nice Nexus, how was your stream tonight? I hope you had a good time. Thank you for thinking of my channel. Of all the ones live out there, you came here. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, that makes sense, Cucumber, with the three you picked. How could a streamer who plays video games encyclopedia possibly have played a video game? What in the world? <laughs> JSoft 2? <laughs> uh, you need to sleep at mod too good. Mod way too good. D, what the hell? Big D has gifted a tier one sub to Rufus of Shinralo. Rufus of Shinralo. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Kane Strider did that video, Wizard. He did every Castlevania. Yeah, he did every single one. In, uh, I think, chronological order. Not order of release. Nearly 13 hours of seven days. Wow. Good time? Is it a good time? JSolf, thank you as well. Both you and Nays Nexus at the same time. It's pretty awesome. You did yoga and a light workout? Oh, nice. Hung out with Kitty Bit. You saw someone raid, so you had to as well. Were you streaming? Or was it a fake raid? <laughs> Are you doing fake raids? Now I'm confused. So many raids. Well, regardless, thank you. But now I'm confused. <laughs> Three games everybody should play. Video, board, and field. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? What the... D's fake raiding me. <laughs> D, why did you have two people actively in your chat right now? Hi, whoever you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it seems to happen. Fair enough. How is it a fake raid if she did it with three? There was two people in her chat. Hanging out. Probably looking at her channel or something. You were fundraising to change your internet provider. Oh, giving away games and incentives. Cool. Well, good luck. I hope you, uh, I hope you can get that all situated. You were streaming. You got that MTG LOTR grind. I think I know what you're saying. That's the Lord of the Rings magic cards, right? The peeps went to bed, unfortunately. Dude, I don't expect anything. You know that. You don't ever have to be apologetic. That number could be one or 10,000. I appreciate that you think of me in this place. That's it. That's where it ends, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll be editing stuff and Nermi is just in there and they scare you. <laughs> that sounds like a Nermi thing. Yeah, that checks out. There's definite Nermi energy. Okay, we're good. I think I need that too. Yeah. Boom. You created a Lord of the Rings only deck and it's beautiful. A lot of fun. Oh, cool, Jin Gear. Hell yeah, thanks. Let's do this. Well, hello, pretty lady. Why do you want to fight me? Well, hello, pretty lady. Who's a cute little diva? Yeah. You want to lay down, little lady? You want me to make some space? Because you seek Sephiroth in the Promised Land. There you go. That's right. Now you can lay down now. Did you know that Sephiroth is an ancient? Liar. Figures. Anyway, 
I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the promised land. That's right. I see. I guess this means we won't be friends. I already paid the lease for the promised land. You can't have it. Oops, sorry about the mouse on the screen. Dope ass music, here we go. Ow! This will sting. Damn! What up, Midnight Maxim? How are ya? I should just cast a spell and see what it does to him. There you go. There's the poison. Now we can attack. I should heal. Because I don't know if he has a big attack. Sometimes you'll pop in and leave an emote in chat unless it's turned off while the streamer isn't live. Mine's always there. Okay. I, I paralyzed him. Fuck yeah. Do, 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 do. That's all for today. That poison did some real work on him, didn't it? home from a barbecue and game night Ooh, what kind of barbecue do you have record for raids here in one night no idea i've never kept track of that i don't know it's a good question never something i felt like i needed uh to record There's an enemy skill materia grab here? How? Where? Wait, what are you talking about? I don't want to miss that. Unless you mean like an actual enemy skill. Man, I want barbecue now. Oh, those are some good picks, eh, punk? XCOM 2, Slate Aspire, Half-Life, or Black Mesa. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything hidden here that I know of. You can go back here. I always thought that was weird. Like, they did all the walk mesh and everything back here. There's, there's nothing there, though. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's a meme? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. doo, 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 doo. First possible enemy skill you get is Major Magic outside Midgar. So it's not Flame? Not Flamethrower or whatever? Look at him, he's still there, all dead. <laughs> I did get the Turtle Flyer, yeah. That's a good catch, though. We don't want to miss that. But yeah, I did. All right, one minute ab break. We're going to do the intermission for that so I can get food really quick. Mm -mm. When that starts. Which means that the good bike chase will be after that. Mm. A little midstream cliffhanger. <laughs> Let's just run. Let's just run. We don't need this right now. Piazzo shower. What the heck is Piazzo? All right, ads have just begun. Kitty cat. Let's do an intermission, everybody. Let's stand up, let's stretch, let's get some snacks. 
I need to eat so that I can continue for the rest of the night because I want to stream for another five hours. It's a long time. There you go. Let's get back to it. Bloodlines is good stuff. I like it, Vegas. I like that game. My thoughts in the new Twisted Metal show. Honestly, I don't really have any. I never played those games other than a little bit here and there, and I didn't really like them that much. So when I heard there was a show being made for it, I was very confused. But I haven't looked into it beyond that. <clears throat> so I don't really have any information on that. I like the super spells in Secret of Mana. Those are cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Water temple thingy? In Secret of Mana, water temple. Why don't I remember that? Where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him off. Something tells me he's going to be a real problem for us. What's around crazy taxi? It's in the, the literal message you're responding to, Cucumber. Just read it again. <laughs> Surrounded by thorn bushes. Water temple. Oh, that's not a water temple. It sounds like you're trying to get to the witch's castle. <clears throat> I think I know where you are. Yeah, you can use the axe or this, I think the sword to cut the rose bushes. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt you. You didn't interrupt me. Right? You don't ever apologize for that. <laughs> My main focus of streams is chat. So you don't have to worry about that. Twisted mental plots were incoherent on a good day. You were there for the edgy music choices and ridiculous combat. Yeah. Like, I don't think they're bad. It just wasn't my vibe. So when I heard they're getting a game, I was very confused. Is this going to let me pick the team for the upcoming boss fight? Because I need to make sure they're equipped for that. Yeah, good luck, Neko. Hopefully you can figure it out from there. Cause I know we got the motorcycle race chase, whatever. And then there's a boss. I don't remember if it lets you pick your team. I'm just going to go on the assumption that it will. right before okay so tifa i think she had fire and steel and probably sense no what did she have i think she did have sense or no it was elemental Let's give her... Yeah, okay, we're gonna give her lightning element. No, we need somebody to be casting that manually. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to make a decision here, because I kind of know what's coming up, you know? <clears throat> yeah, those archers are nasty in the beginning, Neko, yeah. I know you can combine elemental with like weird materia to create like unintended effects. Like there's things that are like quote unquote non-elemental or whatever. And if you combine it with the elemental materia, it does like weird stuff. 
Yeah, this is heavily modded, Neko. The day-night cycle in this mod is based on time. My understanding is every five seconds is one minute. So it's still long. So I guess a full day is like, what, two hours? Two real hours? Does that make sense? Hey, welcome back, I found this. How are you? How's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, we're using a mod that adds full voice acting to this based on a retranslation. And then we're using a mod that also does like 60 FPS upscaling, um, rearranged uh, soundtrack, sound effects, ambient audio, like you name it. <clears throat> nice shades. Yeah, this is PC. It'll work on any of the PC versions of this game. Finished work, got home, had a shower, and refreshed. Hell yeah. That's good to hear. <clears throat> All right, we're going to have red on the team. We'll give him fire all. Cloud's going to be the healer. I think Cloud um, might do primary magic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's just like, his stats are so good. You can basically like just stack everything on him. We'll give Cloud enemy skill. Okay, and you can have sense and ice, and then we're good. Great. All right. Appreciate everyone's patience with that. I'll go first. I'll go first. <laughs> Game is going really well, by the way, Shades. What part? We're about to have the motorcycle race. Son of a... The air was completely surrounded. Surrounded? On my own, it'd be nothing. What about you guys? G-Bike, there you go. Leave while you still can. It's not you they're after. It's me. Maybe it's 24 minutes? Yeah, I guess I don't know what it is then, Video Wizard. Well, no, that doesn't track at all, because you're assuming that I've never slept a single time in a game. Five seconds is a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got caught up in this protected my lead. Now it's my turn. I won't let him. I won't let Shiba do whatever they want anymore. Mr. Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> that don't sound right at all. Mm -mm. Well then. That did not sound right at all, did it? <clears throat> if you are both through talking, may I suggest we think of a way to escape? No, oh yeah. We gotta get that voice actor a pop filter. <laughs> Too damn cold for my liking. Just like someone else I know. Is something troubling you? Yeah, they need a pump filter. Not a thing. So what we gonna do? Sounds yeah. great though. You feel like the air scene's gonna hurt more voice acted? Yeah. I think a lot of things are gonna hit harder. I, one notable example. Yeah, what about Cloud? that's already hit really hard was when Elmira was talking about waiting for her husband to come back from the war. Like that, that was all voice acted. That, that shit cut. <laughs> Whew. Asuri, Asuri Dusa. How we doing? How we doing? We were not ready for that, no. Everyone, over here. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. No, what up? Where's Cloud? I'll explain later. Hurry. We have to hurry. Uh, all right. Where to? Better be the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that 
Get to the chopper! <laughs> Doctor Who reference? I don't think so, no. That's too common of a phrase. Let's move. Yeah, they voiced a lot of the FMVs. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Cancel form the party. Perfect. All right, that's the squad right there. And let's just make sure they still have everything equipped. Yup, yup. Uh, what about that talisman? Oh, I meant to do equip, not status. Oh, we got a protect vest? That's for her. All right, cool. Let's do it. version of this song. God, I hate this angle. It fucks you up so much. <laughs> That's so not fair when it does that. Oh, geez. That thing hit me. Wow. It's your favorite minigame? Yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, I don't know, Mighty Mouse. That's a good question. What an opener. I forgot to switch the rows. Arm attack. Fuck it. We'll stay in the back row. We want to play that way. Steal. These flames shall purify. Yeah, that's good. Don't get in my way. Oh, I forgot about that slappy, yeah. Wait, did it have anything? I tried to steal. Did anyone catch it? I'll just do it again. I'll just do it again. No big deal. No? Okay. That's alright. Twin burner. Oh, I should have saved it. That's going to hurt. It wasn't too bad, actually. That's a good sound. Let's just get this over with. 
Say no more, Boxer. I haven't played a remake. I'm not touching those until they're all done. So I don't want any, uh, you know, predispositions or impressions or whatever. I call upon the Hellfire. Cool. Those voice lines that are contextual. Based on what like elements you're using? That's badass. Rolling fire. Oh, okay. Frozen in your path. That was a lot of damage. I think we're messing this thing up. <clears throat> You'll see a voiceover mod for seven that imitates a bridge series. That would be weird. Maybe funny. I have no idea, Wamp. That's interesting. <clears throat> we got it. We got it. You swing and miss a lot there, Falness. It's. I, I played it a lot in Gold Saucer as a kid, so I still kind of remember the angles. <laughs> All right, just catching up with chat. Escape sequence is awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool, right? I always enjoyed it too. Ooh, free star pennant. All right, you find that, Echo. Don't worry. That's totally cool. Anxious hearts. Well, now what do we do? Good question, Baron. Sephiroth is alive. I... I have to settle the score. Yo, thanks for the GG's. Nataki, Boxer, Falness, Major Neko, Video Wizard. Yo, thanks. I had no mercy for it. Oh, yeah. I don't think any of these mods the have adjusted difficulty. Planet. As far as I know. I just have played this so many times. That's probably what it, what it is. Maybe. It did have something. You just can't steal it. Oh, you're talking about its drop, video wizard. Gotcha. Bolt. Yeah, Bolt was doing real work, wasn't it? Right. I'm going with you. This is such a nice song. You too. There are things I need to know. About the ancients? Many, many things. You think uh, only new threat can adjust difficulty, which doesn't work with Echo S, so. <clears throat> yeah, you can't, because they both adjust the script. Was 7 the last iteration before they went Ara Anga names for spells? Yes. Yes, I believe so. I believe. In the US or North America, we didn't see Fire, Fyra, Ferraga until FF8. I did play New Threat five years ago. I don't really want to play it again, but it was really fun. I do recommend it. I guess it's goodbye, Midgar. Yeah, Neko, right? Yeah. The fact that the whole game just like opens wide after this right here was so impressive to me. Our journey starts here. Yes, ma'am. I don't know, but I've got no place to go back to now, so I guess I'll have to like traveling. Yep. think about it this will be the first time i've ever left midgar uh one of these mods they let you use the original spell names or not a foulness i'm not sure which though <clears throat> a little hmm, no maybe a lot but i've got my mm. jack of all trades mm. right mm. Mm. it's a pleasant tune Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't say anything, huh? Okay, I thought Red said something here. We told Aerith's mom to go somewhere safe. So Marlene should be safe, yeah? Well, yeah. She told me she didn't like Midgar anymore. He's having a moment, yeah. This was Major Neko. This was your first RPG you played on your own without help. Oh, awesome. What a nice connection that you have to that then. <clears throat> Looks like all this came at the right time. Um, not really a this. Like I'm not directly aiming at a particular date. Just whatever happens, Will, it'll probably be Aerith or Tifa. Either is fine. I think Aerith's scene has more impact to the story. Come on, Red, what's wrong? He's stuck. I guess they're all done talking. Okay. There we go. He just had to leave. I forgot about that. Let's go. From here on, we need a leader for our journey. Of course, that could only be me. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I think it has to be Cloud. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> There's a town called Calm, northeast of here. We'll meet up there. Just took the wind out of his sails. But the five of us can't just stroll around the plains together. It's too dangerous. We should split into two groups. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I'll try this screw. This crew? What do you think? This could work. Mm. Actually, we're about to get the PHS, right? I want to hear the voice lines for this. But they comment when you take the two ladies only. At least they did in the original. I knew you'd do that. <laughs> See you at call. <sighs> Later. Shut up, Barrett. <sighs> Fucking how dare they call me out like that, all right? <laughs> uh, Saving on the world map. On the world map, access the menu anytime and select save to save your game. Wow, that's really dark. <clears throat> Where's PHS? I thought we get that. I guess not. <laughs> well, I guess I was wrong about that. Where is it? There. No PHS? No? Oh, jeez. Okay. 60 FPS world map. How about that? Yeah, the narrator's great in this. You took day nine off because it isn't very visible and you feel like night comes around more. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn it off too. I think it's cool and novel, but it's making it too hard for me to see way too often. We are on the map, Sumo. You think it's as you're walking there? The PHS? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to turn that off. I need to turn that off. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. The day-night cycle option is cool. I just... I just don't want it. Day-night... It's, it's, it's causing more problems than it is helping, so... We'll just turn it off. Oh, it's after you get the calm. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's not really a big deal. Do, 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 do. All right. Just got to readjust the window position to be lined up perfectly. It's 2360 and I think 54. One sec. And I'm like contorting to see Discord. 56. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now we're back where it should be. 
All right, cool. Yeah, that's a little better anyway. I think it's just how dark it is around Midgar, but yeah, that's better. Future, they said to plan for day and night to affect gameplay to an extent. You're assuming enemies. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it was double dark, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying too. You've never seen a Pokemon battle on Twitch like that before? It's the bot. It's the one you used yesterday. Cool. I need to hear this like whole track. It's like seven minutes though. <laughs> it calms right there. But this is our first time hearing the main theme of FF7 in this version. So I want to hear it. There's two useful things to get before calm. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, you can tell us. That's fine. Nice. I like it. We'll put this on recommended. Because I want the ATV to pause while I'm in a menu so that I can look at chat during combat without hitting pause or start. How many minutes is an hour in game? Well, it's five seconds to a, a real minute. So you're the math teacher. Help me out. The The time, the way the time goes is it's five seconds to, an, to a minute in game. So whatever that is. Matron magic and the atomic scissors. What the heck is atomic scissors? Four hundred seconds is an hour, so five minutes, five real minutes. Is that right? No, four hundred seconds. That's like six, almost seven minutes, ish. It's equipment for Barrett strong as hard edge. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a melee weapon though, isn't it? Wow, this is really nice. I like the skybox. Even that's been upscaled. So yeah, five seconds is one in-game minute. Then how many seconds is one in-game hour, right? Five seconds a minute, 60 minutes an hour. So one in-game hour would be five minutes or 300 seconds. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, we want to get Matrix Magic for sure. Atomic Scissors is how Barrett beats nuclear paper, but loses to radioactive rock. Got it. That's good to know. It's pretty good, Fanny Pac-Man, right? Mm -mm. It's still going, by the way. It's like a seven minute track. <laughs> so I turned it up. So what? <clears throat> These fucking wheels. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. I feel like I've been contorting just to use the mic tonight. Good strings. That's a good point. Yeah.
Yeah. It's a really good version. You forgot exchange is a thing. It's a lifesaver. It's just obfuscated. It's in the original. Yeah, absolutely. Good job. It's a good version. Really good version. Dang. All right, let's get major magic. I think these things have them, right? They also have the atomic scissors, really? Okay. I'll try to get them, but I'm not terribly concerned about it. Because I usually don't give Barrett melee weapons, and I don't even think I'm going to be using him. Give it up already. We'll try like 10 steel attempts, and then just move on. Because at the least, we could sell them if we need to. Almost had it. Smoke shot. I don't know what that does. <laughs> yeah, bear can get melee weapons, yeah. Not many. I think most of his weapons are ranged. Oh, we got him. There you go. Cool. I don't have time for you. Ow. Do 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 do. Major magic is just great. Like it's useful uh, for more than half of the game. Non-elemental damage. It's really good. <laughs> Highlander. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, Highlander just got auto modded for the phrase jerk snake. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. <sighs> no, nah, we ain't that far yet, Uber. I'm not sure if I'll do that. It's kind of grindy to do it. Whoever has the highest luck should be stealing. We'll be building Tifa for luck, so. That, that, tra that tracks. I will need to get... Um the luck plus materia wherever that is i will also need the cursed ring um and i will also need something to negate the downsides of the cursed ring and then as many counter attack materia as we can get that's how i build her it works really well selmica has seen it <laughs> Sound like I've seen it before. I think it was actually the first thing Sound like I ever saw here was me playing Final Fantasy VII. Mm. You hate that snake? It's rude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting, Slushy. What does the hero drink do then? Ribbon? It takes the same slot as the Cursed Ring. You can only have one accessory, so. You grind it here to stock on ethers. You know what we get to see soon? One of the coolest backstories slash flashbacks I've ever seen in an RPG. Yeah, Selica, yeah. <laughs> No, it doesn't, Graveyard. It does not transform. 
Hades added effect on armor. That was going to be my attempt to fullness. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, you were on the same wavelength. I love it, Vegas. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good, Master V. <laughs> First game you saw me play was Brave New World. Ah, okay. Yeah, I forgot the name of that one, Neko. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Let's go check out Calm. We've nice. reached Calm. They're probably at this inn. Let's go, Cloud. It does not matter how many times I whitelist the phrase blew me or blew me away. Frickin' Twitch still automots it every time. It's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Hero drink increased attack, defense, magic, and magic defense by 30%. Can be used up to four times. Interesting. I don't think I've ever used that. Yeah, it did for me too, Dubmeister. Mm-hmm. I like that we can explore before going in there. I wouldn't happen to know any juicy gossip, would you? Gossip? I don't have any mods right now, so please don't overwhelm me with auto mod. <laughs> <laughs> please don't do that. Oh, I guess there is one here. I didn't even didn't even realize. Thanks, Motsy. Appreciate it. All right, we're good. Oh, it looks like ads just kicked in, so let's go ahead and wait here. We'll go ahead and wait here. Is that in-game? Ambient audio? It sounded like somebody dropped something, didn't it? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, thanks, Motsy. Appreciate that. It is a game. It's like the birds and the sounds of just like hustle and bustle in a town like this. There it is. Blew me away. You usually add the martial artist to your part in any RPG. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is Shadow Lancer. That is the speedrun strat. Two for death flow. That's not really what I'm doing, but it's, I guess there's some similarities. M m mainly, sorry, mainly the curse ring. Sometimes I stutter. Doors and windows opening and closing. Oh yeah. Okay. They added ambience to this. There's ambience in every area in the game. You've been hearing it. <laughs> This is a nice version of this track, too. Mm -hmm. I like these lemon drops. Y'all like these? These have been really good for my dry mouth. They work really well for that, for whatever reason. They're great, and now you want some? You love them too, Slappy? Yeah. I feel like they're kind of a trick if you do. Slappy, you might want to keep these around. Because you do a lot of vocal work, don't you? I feel like that'd be really helpful for you. Spice drops. What are those, Poe? I don't know what those are. You love lemon heads? Very similar. I think it's the same thing. Not quite, but very similar. Sour. They are quite sour, slushy. They're both. Well, they're both, but they're more sour. There's sweetness to it, but mostly sour. 
Thank you, everybody, for waiting for those ads. Let's get back into it. <clears throat> You wouldn't know any juicy gossip. Mm -hmm. Could be Vaeus. I don't know. You have honey cough drops nearby. They're helping your throat right now and are almost candy sweet. So for me, these are helping with the uh, saliva. Because my mouth... Life's pretty darn convenient. Mouth's always dry. Um, we owe it all to Shinra. No way. Mm. But I hate to think of what life be like without it. The golden handcuffs of capitalism. Encapsulated in one NPC dialogue. Uh, we can all relate, can't we? <clears throat> mm. Gummies flavored with spices like aniseed, clove, cinnamon, spearmint, peppermint, sassafras. I want to try that. Neo, yo! Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Paul underscore the underscore Raven. Wow, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Reminder, everybody. Hints, tips, secrets, advice, side quests, all that. Help me, right? You are more than welcome to help, inform, and encourage to do so. Just do not direct me, right? Inform me so I can make the decision, but don't tell me what to do. Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient. But on the other hand, animals and plants Neo have Gunner declined has rapidly. gifted a tier one sub to lurking under Scorton Berry. Wow, man. Poe the Raven lurking Tom Berry, enjoy your new sub and your ad-free experience. I think the old ways <laughs> may have been better. What do you think? No, yeah, maybe. Yeah! Yeah! She likes the old ways. Isn't there like a chest like this somewhere you can open? Or like an armoire? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Neo, you've been quite generous tonight, and I appreciate that a lot, man. <clears throat> Vez. Did you say you came from Midgar? Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. I used to live there. Neo Gunner has of gifted a tier days. one sub to Eiffelness. Wow. That poor dog. Why was that dog locked in there? Neglectful owner. Did you say I used to. We're going to adopt this dog. You don't lock a dog in a closet, asshole. Jeez! Wham with the hundred bits. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Mage in underscore Neko. Two more subs from Neo. Wait, is it time for crimes? <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Neo. Thank you, Wampasaurus. Close to a hive train. Poor dog. Did you say no? You I don't want to talk to that guy. He locks his dog in a closet. That's evil. A suspicious man in a black cloak showed up. He was carrying a mean-looking sword. Hmm. I wonder who that was. None of us could ever possibly know or guess that, you know. Too obscure. <laughs> da, 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 da. Miles was as real as amateur. So messy and that I could do spook. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Neo. I'm gonna join Soldier when I grow up. I'll train hard every day from now on. Okay. There you go. Guard source. We're just robbing these people. We're just straight robbing people. JRPG trope. Yeah, way back. Video wizard. Peacemaker. I always thought that was weird. 
that you get that here. Why is that weird, you might ask? Because it's a weapon for Vincent. It's going to be a long time before we can use him. A poem we have to be on. <laughs> yeah, Slappy, yeah. That pretty much tracks, yeah. Turtle, turtle, turtle? No? Oh, I thought that was There's a flyer. There's talk that the land near the Maker Reactors has gone dry. Oh, this is good audio quality. That's why I think it's a good idea to have your energy supplied from the outside, like we do in this town. This person's got a good setup. I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus badly injured. This person's setup is fine too. They're just too far from the mic. I bet that's news to you, huh? I'm your well informed. <laughs> Just between us, I hear they were both attacked by that Avala. Uh, whatever it's called. Avala. Midgard, a float, so called floating city. So once I'd like to see it with my own eyes. No, I don't think they do, Slushy. They probably use bedpans. <laughs> This is hometown? Clouds? No. This hometown is Nibelheim. Or are you talking about Vincent? Because if that is what you're asking, I don't know at that point. It's a good question. True that Shinra made those monsters? Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, we can hardly stand up to them if we're relying on their reactors. I need to ask Crane about that. Or Sunamons. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Matt. If you want to try them yourself. Somebody pop the commands for Matt so they can take a look. I have two commands where you can get everything. One of them is a picture of the mods I'm using with the load order. You could just use the same ones. Do the Echo S one too. We gotta do that one too. The world's at peace. All's well. Is it really? Dude. That guy's out of touch. That's like an okay boomer moment right there. <laughs> oh, there you go, Matt. My dad was a miner, but when monsters started appearing at the Mithril Mine, he lost his job. Now all he does is sit around at the bargaining truck. Oh my god. Bombed a reactor in Midgar. Dude. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to X Met. Yeah, I like that one too, Slappy. What's up, Pen Dragon? Neo, thank you for the gift sub to Met. A lot of scary stuff is happening these days. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, that's just too bad, okay? Apparently, an anti Shinra group called Avalanche was active in Midgar. But looks like Soldier wiped them out in the end. See me? I used to work south of here, the Mithril Mine. So the ambient noise here is really good, but it's inaccurate. It sounds like there's more people in here than there are. It would have been really good for that restaurant in Wall Market where we got the special or the sashimi or whatever. A whole load of monsters started appearing there. The mods that I'm using, the, I'm using a lot of them and it's been awesome, Pendragon. Thanks to that, business went to pot. Now I spend all my days here getting hammered. Stay out of the kitchen. That's iWatch. Not literally, but she works in a... A short, she's a short order cook in a kitchen. She's always having to kick people out. <laughs> so that's her. <laughs> Stay out of the kitchen. Poor iWatch. 
<laughs> I wanted to look at that window. It didn't let me though. Let me try it again. I was almost certain you could. Right? Is that not here? I thought you could do that. I guess not. Was that up here instead? Where was that? I didn't imagine that. Here? Hmm. I could have sworn there was a window in this town you could look out and it was that like tower or whatever. Maybe not. Give me treasure. All the treasure. They don't want to give me the treasure. Items, I've got them all. What can I get you? What do I need? Let's get some of these. Those will come in handy. It's another tent. Mm -hmm. Are there any Turtle Paradise flyers here? I feel like there is, but I can't recall. Welcome to the Materia store. She's got good audio. I'm sorry. Our stock is a little low right now. She's also Canadian. Our supplier had some trouble with Materia Thief on their way here from Junon. Rip. If you head that way, be sure to avoid the forest, okay? <laughs> That's the hint. Oh, Earth Magic. We don't have that yet. Or Heal. I will buy. Welcome to the weapon store. Weapon store? Uh, let's see. We're going to be using Tifa, so let's buy the Mithril Claw. And they don't sell weapons for our good buddy Red. I don't know if I'll have to use the others, so I might as well just get those two. If you come in here, you're either cooking staff, a steak, or you will be one of those. <laughs> it might be slappy. This this is all based off of the retranslation. There we go. I think that's it for the town, huh? It is a mean snake, yeah. I think that's it. There aren't any other secrets left, right? If you know, let me know. If not, no worries. Ba -da -da -da. Thanks to the Shinra Company's Mako energy, our lives are much easier nowadays. be travelers want me to tell you them oops i didn't mean to skip that line yeah go ahead all right then let me explain how to use the world map i don't need that info what would you like to know map the keys uh crap. you can view the world map the map comes pressing okay start again. okay anything else i know it's voice it's acted old. you can save anywhere on the world map by accessing the menu it's a good it's idea still a tutorial <laughs> well then bon voyage bon voyage all right let's go in <clears throat> The next flyer is a gold saucer. That's the third one. Oh, that's a long ways away. Okay, thanks, Slushy. Hello, sir. Are you Cloud? Your companions are waiting for you upstairs. It's 20 gil a night. Will you be staying? No. 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 They're already paid. I think I fat fingered the button or something. <laughs> I'm not late. I was f um, frolicking. It's important. You missed a gift to do a sub. I can guess. Hazard a guess. But we don't have access to your notifications. <clears throat> so really, you could just check your notifications. It'll tell you. One in Sector 5 and Shinra First Floor Lobby. Oh, I got the lobby one, didn't I? When I was in there. 
way to go not taking too long. Uh, sorry. Looks like I kept you all waiting. Step. Okay. That's everyone. So, your story? Sephiroth, the crisis facing the planet. <laughs> Let's hear it. I wanted to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. Soldier. After working with him on several missions, we got to know each other. You were friends? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I mean, he was older than me and didn't really talk about himself. Interesting. <laughs> we were more like comrades, I guess. We trusted each other. Until. Soldier's main duty after the war was dealing with those who opposed Shinra. Mm -hmm. It was five years ago. I was 16. Sure is raining hard. Cool. I can't wait to see what this is like. Until what? I know, right? This freaking... <laughs> so many things do that. Hey, how are you doing? I'll be all right. I guess I've been lucky. Imagine being in a special forces elite unit at 16. OMG. The wipers are putting down a sick beat. <laughs> nice. I've never had motion sickness. Are you ready? Dude. You whoever said that was right. Look at his back. Hey. I I think it shows on his character model what sword he's using. Cuz technically I was using the hard edge. Settle down. What's up, Gog? Sephiroth's voice is pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. They gave me new materia. <laughs> Stop squatting. I can't wait to try it. He's squatting. <laughs> Just like a child. He is a child. He's a child. Du, 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 du. I found this, hell yeah. Ad free. Greatest emotes. Enjoy. Mr. Neo Gunner has been very kind tonight. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, right, Baron? Cloud's got dance moves. Did he have the Buster Soid yet at this point? Yes. I'll say yes without spoiling anything story wise. We'll just, let's just say yes. <laughs> Not everyone has played this game. I'm sure almost everyone here has. But if you know the story. Let's make sure we don't spoil it for anyone. The wipers are in sync with his squats. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They are. The baritone makes sense for him, for me, Vayus. Right, Uber, right, yeah, a good... Good use of discretion there. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fellas. That's what I was saying. It's been showing the equipment he's had on his character model, which is an awesome touch to me. I, w I love when RPGs do that. You've never played a Final Fantasy game. There you go. We got at least one person who would benefit from no spoilers. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Okay. Highlander. Yeah. Right. The answer is yes to the question, right? <laughs> and that's all we need to say about it. <sighs> mm. Oh no, Malkil. I, I, do you think you'll play it again someday? It's cheap on Steam if you ever want to, and you can play it just like this. Right of illness. Yo, Kyle, thank you. 
Appreciate that. That self-paid sub, 21 months. Thank you very much. I hope you're well. That's a cute wave emote. Have I played 16 yet? Yeah, I have. Um, not much. Honestly, I haven't played it in like three weeks and not because I'm not enjoying it, but because I'm so freaking busy. Every day off for like the last three to four weeks, I've just been working on stuff and resting. I've just been too busy. And I want to play more of it. I really like it so far. Other than the combat, it's too fast paced for me. I don't like DMC style combat, but everything else I like. So I'm looking forward to playing more of it soon. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday. I like the wiper noises too. Oh, you have it on Steam Malkill. Yeah, you, you could play it with mods if you'd like. OG is fine too though. Yeah, doesn't it X? It looks great, doesn't it? It sounds great too. Like, listen to this. Are you going to brief us on the mission? Oh wait. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to lives forever. Thank you, Neo, for the gift sub. <laughs> Motsy, nice. Thank you, Neo. Very kind. This time, our orders are far from typical. There you go. Looks good. Sounds good. How about that? I like that wiper sound and, and transportation when there's some kind of white noise like that i will fall asleep the whole trip cars buses trains planes boats does not matter Masa has gifted us up to the finny bears wow mooney Masa, thank you we got hype train how about that how about that hell yeah good why do you say that? Why do you say that? I joined soldier so I could be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was over. If I want to be a hero, yep. I need to be a part of something big. Sound of rain in the roof. Yeah, it would lull me to sleep too. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Zenmus? I don't know what that is, Ophelnus. What's up, Juno? How are you? What about you, hero? How do you feel about this mission? Rico May has gifted us up to the Finny Bears. Thank you, Rico. I thought you wanted a briefing. Thank you for the gift sub to the community. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Neo Gunnery uh. has gifted a tier one sub to Juno 315. Monty, what the hell are you saying right now? <laughs> oh man. Oh, you're okay. There's some kind of reference. Look at all the sips and the peaks. Level two hype train. Our orders are to investigate a deteriorated Maka reactor, which is behaving abnormally. There's also been an outbreak of brutal monsters in the area. Yeah, t shirt cannons. You should have seen the t shirt cannon I had in my last career. It was a Gatling gun t shirt cannon. And I mean that quite literally. <laughs> It had like 15 barrels and then they just like rotate it and it would just spray them all over the freaking the crowd. <laughs> What's up, Chief Bite Me? That was me? No, I didn't use it. Once we're finished with them, we can identify the problem at the reactor and neutralize it. Brutal monsters? Where? Nibelheim. Nibelheim. Uh, Nibelheim. Oh boy. That's where I'm from. Is that so? Hmm. Hometown. Yeah, Vaius, yep. Sir, sir, some crazy looking creature just jumped out at us. That would be one of our monsters. First time we get to see him in action. You ready? 
No, Slappy. You just... Come on. Come on. Holy crap. There you go. Rip Cloud. On your feet. Nice. He actually has voice lines for battle? Wow. Impressive. Stop killing Cloud! <laughs> Alright, that works. <laughs> So that was really cool. Sephiroth's strength was unreal. He was far stronger in reality than any of the stories you hear. It's deeper than you expected. I would have been disappointed if it wasn't that deep, to be honest. <laughs> to me, he would have just been like a stereotype otherwise. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Chief Bite. Dude, Neo, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub to Chief Bite Me. Sep. Sep. Even when compared to other soldiers like you? Do 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 do. Yeah. I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. You never seen him use full revive? Happened to me a lot as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of how I got torched like six times on the way to visit my hometown. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Butt Laser? <laughs> and then we reached Nibelheim. Yeah, Neo. I think it's the way you capitalize it. How does it feel? It's been a while since you were back in your hometown. Got right? something to say, Tifa? She gets a bad rap for that. And I don't agree with it. When you were a kid, you thought soldier was being yelled at you because it was always capital. <laughs> uh, relatable. Relatable. So, how does it feel? Part of good. I wouldn't know. I don't have a hometown. Um, then where are your parents? My mother's name was Genova. Right? She died Marimasa? giving birth to me. My father. How does it feel? And the chat's just like, Zip! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the hype train. <laughs> Uh, level two. What do we got? What do we got? We got six subs. Thank you for the six subs, everybody. Appreciate it. <laughs> what am I saying? What are you saying? Now, move out. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. I was expecting a little, like, white brain glitches happening Psst. you'll get in trouble if you keep wandering around mm -hmm. uh, lookout is so boring it's a little snoot yeah i can relate just want to do the usual shall we practice practice oh the pose do the pose I guess in Soldier, you're always worrying about your image, aren't you? You don't know how you found me? Yeah, I don't know either. We're always happy to have people hanging out here. As long as you're having a good time. Mm, thanks for saying that. It was really nice of you. Yeah, it looks like you first followed a year and a half ago. This is the first time you've actually talked. Yeah, it's good to have you. Oh no, Sip's been taken. Yeah, it's a hype train only uh, redemption. It's nice that we can automate that. I want to add more stuff for hype trains, like higher level hype trains. We can add other things. You remember when you found me because I was playing Chrono Cross in 2021? Oh, that was such a fun playthrough. Like it, it just hit all the highlights for the channel. I was playing a game I hadn't played in a long time that I wanted to. There was a lot of people that came in who I hadn't seen in a long time because they loved that game, but they were tired of people ragging on it all the time. 
So I was enjoying it, so they were enjoying it. And then halfway through my playthrough, they announced the remaster of Chrono Cross. So then suddenly it got even more visibility. So like everything was just going right. It's also my all time favorite game soundtrack. So there's just a lot of good that came from that playthrough. How did it go? Like this? <laughs> You've gotten a lot better. <laughs> Look, the other guy that writes like, oh, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not in soldier. Oh, you can almost do a hundred peaks. That's a lot. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know either, Mooney Mouse. I wouldn't have any way of knowing that. Psst. Oh, right, right, right. We already talked to him. It smells of Mako. Mm. Look at those upscale backgrounds. It looks great. Looks great. There you go. Chief's got it. <laughs> it's a team effort. Yeah. Diabetic found me by browsing the Conker's Bad Fur Day category one day while you were bored at work. Wow. What are the odds, man? I'm shocked I was even in that category. Yeah, I don't know, Kyle. I like the recommendation list, though. They work pretty well for me. As far as a viewer, it often recommends me channels that I end up enjoying. An Eagle Falcon raid and a Seven Sins raid got you to stick around. Gotcha, Neo. For Eagle, I don't know. I wouldn't know what he, Eagle's raided me, as you know, quite a few times. You want to do a similar playthrough of Nine all modded up? So the voice mod of Nine is supposed to come out at the end of this year. Um, and then for visuals, you're going to want to use Moguri mod. I've already played that on stream like not even a year ago but when that voice mod comes out i'm probably gonna play it again <laughs> moguri mod makes it look like an official remaster it's that good it's it's the best it's the best like fan like upscale like hd upscale i've ever seen for any game it smells of mako yeah this his voice is spot on for me like that's perfect i always thought he was just sort of brooding and had that kind of like emotionless tone yo hang on that's it ain't it you sh you were shooting the shit with me on spawn stream for a good bit that makes sense yeah his schedule used to be a lot more in line with when i was able to raid and or watch his stream so i was in there a lot more often back back in that day oh yeah the dark tv yeah it was a uh... so what was going on is i was using an older crt pc monitor and the hdmi to vga converter that i had was also really cheap and it was crushing black colors so the color range on it was done incorrectly so colors that were really dark all just looked pitch black instead of just dark colors so I could never see what the hell I was doing in almost any N64 game because that console itself puts out a really dim signal. Have I seen the Beatrix mod for it? Yeah, we used it. It's perfect. It was so good that it felt like she was always meant to be in the game to begin with. Like they actually write her into the story with like dialogue and everything. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. Makes sense, Graveyard. Yeah, what's up, Fallen Helix? How you doing today? What's Ephroth said? His mother's name. Ooh, good catch, Barrett. Genova, I remember. That damn headless freak in the Shinra building. It's a good catch, Barrett. That's right. Hold on, Barrett. Let's hear Cloud's story first. You can ask questions later. It's conveying Sephiroth's dead inside vibes. Yeah. Come on, Tifa. Mm, Salem's got an answer for question tonight. Three games everyone should play. Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, and To the Moon. Ooh, first To the Moon answer tonight. Chrono Trigger, easily the most common answer tonight. A lot of people are like, yeah, you got to play that. <laughs> that was one of my answers. Thanks for following us. Thanks for hanging out. Do, 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 do. 
Game's going really well. Have I ever been raided by Sakura Subasa? Yes, a couple times. Sakura's good people. I like to hang out on her channel when I can too. I've raided her a few times too. Yeah, pumpkin pie man, it absolutely does. Well, I mean, for me, the fix was getting a better monitor and then just getting a HDMI to VGA converter that didn't suck. And when I do that, it's fine. I don't have any issues with N64 or any dark games anymore, really. Yuna Leska on Graveyard? I don't think Yuna's ever raided me. I don't think so. I think I, I streamed too late for her. I don't know. I'll check. Well, she's been here before. Oh, she has raided me. Yeah, it was one time, right? Yeah, she raided me last year once. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, it might have been then. It might have been, you know. Okay, Cloud, carry on. The childhood friends reunite. Yeah, you know, it's cool. She's like one of the biggest fans of Final Fantasy in the world. It's pretty impressive. Tifa really surprised me. She's like uh, 8 bit D. They both have just been all about it for decades, literal decades. Right, yeah, we're a bit of a slight, slight bias here, right? It's a little bit of an echo chamber when it comes to retro RPG stuff like that. That's why I'm always trying to find uh, everyone's opinions on things because it's always interesting to see those that don't align with that, just so we can learn more too. You have an X64 digital? Is that the one that outputs HDMI? I just, I mean, when I play N64, I just up the gamma on my upscaler. It's no big deal. It's a Suna mod. I have a lot of Suna mods. Just do the mods command. What was that? Neo? <laughs> Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Fallen Helix. Tifa and Eris have been some of my favorite performances in this mod so far. So there you go. Diabetic just did the mods command. That has the list of all of my mods and the load order if you want the same setup. I'm using quite a bit of them. The village was deserted. I guess the people had shut themselves in their homes because of the monsters. No. Maybe they were afraid of us. It's just as likely. Was I playing T-Edition, Munimasa? Final Fantasy VI T-Edition? Was that when that was? Har har har, Salem. <laughs> to the Moon is an old indie game that's... I've never played it. But I've heard that it is exceptionally well written and emotionally draining. I won't say more, but it's supposed to be one of those games that's just like impressive writing. You found me through T-Edition? Tea tea leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early tonight. I'm a little bummed we didn't get to finish that. It got way too grindy at the end, and it just wasn't fun anymore. But everything else about it was great. Very good writing, Reiko. Yeah. Okay. So X Lives, the voice acted mod of this is based on a different retranslation mod. I don't know what that one was called. Someone mentioned it earlier. So all the performances are based on a, a relocalization. So it's all been done really well. Like the story has made more sense. The lines they're saying in response to things have made more sense. And there's been some tweaks here and there that are kind of like in jokes as well for the mod itself. <laughs> yeah, Neil, that's going to look a little weird. Ugh. Is it really called that commander? The be a cuz because that's one of the that was one of the, the 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 misspellings in the original version right speaking of quality writing disco elysium yeah that's one of the best written games i've ever played like of all the games it's like one of the best of course nice gotcha commander welcome by the way Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to the Commander 71. Since we only need one lookout, the rest of you can take a break. 
Thank you, Neo, for the gift sub to the commander. Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. Wow. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Not me. I'm all fired up. What's wrong? You just never know when a monster might show up. So, the one of the most famous weird translations was that guy in uh, the slums who's sick. And he's just like, Ugh! and then Eris is like, this guy are sick. Well, in this one, he starts moaning and he said something like, oh, I are sick. Like he's moaning that. And so like the, the, the line that Eris says in this is she's kind of like mimicking him and she's saying, this guy are sick. <laughs> it's really funny the way she delivered the line. Because it was totally done, you know, tongue in cheek. <laughs> it was pretty good. They've they've had a lot of nice little touches like that. Yeah, Apoc Disco Elysium is is a ten out of ten game. It's one of the most wonderfully chaotic games you've played. Yes, I think my highest stat was Inland Empire because it was the one that spoke to me the most. It's like ADHD, the stat. <laughs> what up, Toshido? How are you today? I heard the great Sephiroth was coming, so I brought my camera. Oh my god, Neo. I want a shot of him with a monster. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Toshido. Get back in your house. Case. How about you take one of me? Yo, Neo, thank you so much. I make an effort to avoid taking pictures of nobodies. Damn! I heard the great. I want. Let's see what else is saying. Get back in your house. It's dangerous. Fine. Prompus ass. Prompus? Is that a typo? It's supposed to be pompous. <laughs> Why does it say prompus? <laughs> Let's just assume it's because this, he's a bumpkin and he doesn't know. Huh? Isn't that. You, are you Cloud? Really? That you? We'll just we'll just chalk it up to his lack of education. Prompus. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Maybe that's a reference. Maybe that's a legitimate mistake. I'm not sure. <sighs> do, 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 do. The screaming tie. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, Orc. Yeah. You were running with rhetoric and electrochemistry? Interesting. Uh, Munimasa, it's because in the original, Cloud doesn't say those lines in a dialog box when you select them. So they would have had to have added extra dialog boxes to do that. And I don't know how easy or even possible that is without breaking everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the drug stat. Yeah, yeah. I went with Inland Empire. Yeah. Did the tie become beautiful? I don't remember. I know something weird happened with the tie. Very weird. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Aren't you? There. Did I go in here? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off. This don't matter. Get the hell on with it. There you go. If you know, you know. Don't say if you do. But yeah, there's. It's interesting how it's like. Oh, did it, did he actually do this? <sighs> Oops. You just forgot. I already talked to that guy. There's an urban dictionary entry for Prompus. Is it safe for Twitch? <laughs> Cause that a lot on that website is very not safe and of downright offensive. You're with Shinra? Mm-hmm. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, it's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Mm. Shinra? Shinra? <laughs> Soldier? Soldier. Hello? 
are you going to beat the monsters? Mm hmm. Speak, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, that was kind of adorable. I'll give it a pass on quality because that was cute. <laughs> Can I open this? No? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Boom, boom. Yeah, none of those make sense, Neo, do they? That's really bizarre. It was a nice touch, yeah. Talk to Mama Cloud. This is my house. It has nothing to do with the incident five years ago. What are you talking about? Do it anyway. Hang on. I want to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It had been a long time, right? Right. Yeah, no kidding, man. Tell us more. You saw your family, yeah? Ah, you say family, but my father died when I was young. There's an ambient sound effect, kind of like a tapping on the left channel that I keep hearing. And it sounds like my roommate cutting vegetables in the kitchen. So I keep looking over because that's how it sounds. <laughs> Like it sounds distant and echoey, like it's over there somewhere. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, she's like a, probably asleep or something. That's why my mom lived here alone. Yeah, I saw my mom. It's not brain being a jerk. It's good audio design is what it is. She, she was so full of energy, hadn't changed at all. And then a few days later, she was dead. Dang. But when I last saw her, she looked better than ever. It's Mama Cloud. Uh, I always like that they basically have the same hair. Like his is spiked in the front and hers has got that like top knot. <laughs> Otherwise it's identical. Uh. Mm. Yeah, Vias. There, you just heard it right there. Yes? Welcome home, Cloud. Cloud Mom. Hi, Mom. Come, come. Let your mom take a good look at you. Hmm. You look so charming. This is a soldier uniform? Yeah. Mom, listen, I... Oh, they conveniently skipped My, that conversation. He was going to tell her something there. That part of the story, as you just visually saw, was not told. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. <laughs> I'm worried about you. I don't want to say what he was telling her there because it's a big spoiler, so. <laughs> the city's full of temptation. I don't think it's ever explicitly said in game what he tells her there, but it's pretty easy to extrapolate what it is. Your poor mom would feel a lot better if you settled down with a nice girlfriend. Yeah, she's got a good voice. I'm fine. You know, if you had an older girlfriend, she'd give you some stability. That's very mom energy right there. I think a girl like that would be perfect. I'm not interested. Are you eating properly? I'm fine. The company takes care of me. <laughs> Oh, I know you can't cook. <laughs> I've been worried sick about you. Same. Hey, Cloud. But you see, Cloud. What do you think, Cloud? Remember, I'll always be there for you. 
Let's stop this. It's too much for him. It's a hard memory. <laughs> Here we go. We know what house this is. Cloud? Yes. Did you go into my house? Yeah. Yeah? I thought you might be home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went into Tifa's house. <laughs> this song is like so iconic to the game. Mm. Honestly, Aerith is a really good match for him because she brings him out of his shell like no one else can. Tifa's house. Cloud? Yes, Tifa. Did you go into my room too? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure did. Where is it? A letter. A letter. Did you read it? The letter addressed to me? Then I started looting the place. <laughs> yeah, Tifa's voice. So far, that's my favorite. I'd never do that. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Can you remember what it said? I remember clearly. I read it. It was a letter from the son of the guy who ran the general store. If it's not nailed down, it's mine. Bow, 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 bow. Tifa, how are you? I arrived in Midgar eight days ago. Me and the boys from Nibelheim got together yesterday. Uh, oh, except for Cloud, that is. I didn't have any way of getting in contact with him. Okay. Then again, he was never really close to any of us, was he? And if I'd invited him, he wouldn't have been any fun. Damn. We all thought it was for the best. Poor Cloud. Yeah, well, anyway, enough about him. Midgar is really something. To tell you the truth, I felt totally behind the times. Like a complete dork. <laughs> I'm short on money right now, so I'm living in the slums. The rooms are clean, at least. Someday, I'll get myself a stylish place somewhere. Well, that's the plan, but I need a job first. That's right. I still can't find a job. That's a mood for a lot of people. I lied to my parents. I sent them a letter saying I was working for the Shinra company. Poor guy. I wonder if it's too late to go back. To be honest, I think I should have taken over the family business. Hey, Cloud, do you remember all of it? You like this part as the second person's perspective the game does? A flashback told in real time. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Somehow I remember the whole thing. Maybe because there was stuff about me in it? Even though I've only just arrived in Midgar, all I ever think about is Nibelheim. Hey, Tifa. Is that shabby old water tower still working? You think this is why you identify with Cloud much more than most characters up to this point? He wasn't the beloved character in his hometown. Yeah, he was like, he wasn't like the, the star, you know, like everyone loved him. He was, he was an outcast. What's up, Dame? How are you? It's good to have you here. I feel this too hard. The voice performance in this. Let me try that again. I'm a little stuttery. The voice performances in this have really added a lot of emotion to some of these scenes. It's pretty impressive. Is the old man at the inn okay? Are my parents still running the shop every day? Have there been any more attacks by those monsters? And most of all, how are you doing, Tifa? It already feels like I haven't seen you in years. Oh yeah, because that's like Morrowind and Oblivion started adding real consequences to that, didn't they, Neo? We were all talking about you last night. He was a poor little misfit, practically full-on bullied. Yeah, Slappy. Everyone likes you. Yeah, I got you, Dame. I've always admired you. Seen plenty of people but in the community here. I can never betray my friends. You know, 
You're with that right. battle. I might have acted all cool, but the truth is, I, I was just scared of being rejected. Hmm. Wow. If I keep this up, it'll become a love letter. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier oh. one sub to Dame Karen. Dude, Neo, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much. So, I think I'll stop there. Take hey, care. There you go, Dame. I'll ride again soon. Yes. Right back. Okay. Okay. It adds a lot to the story. Mm hmm. Embarrassing? You thought that letter was embarrassing? I didn't think it was. I thought it was really honest. <clears throat> de -de -de -de. Did you play my piano? Yeah. Yeah. Now, how did it go? Oh, that's right. Oh. Hold on. Did you play my... Just a little. Even I can read a bit of music. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Do there it is. Re do re mi ti la do re mi so fa do re do yeah. La. That's it. Do re mi. Yeah, I played so it fa about five and a half years ago. Helix. Re do. I don't know why, but I remember Forget this. It. <laughs> I could have said this before he did. Still, I don't know why that's burned into my brain because I don't know music. <laughs> Ads are about to start real soon here. So we'll pause the gameplay until those are done so nobody misses any of the gameplay. Mm. Having Cloud recall the whole letter kind of is embarrassing. Oh, yes, you're correct. Yes. I thought you were referring to the letter itself, not the fact that Cloud remembered every word. That is kind of embarrassing. Cloud seems like it'd be fun to have around and a bit of an asshole. Depends on what day. Yeah. He's brooding sometimes. Have you played it, Helix? Uh, the new threat? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lurkers are only ones getting ads tonight because you can't see them. Right. Right. <laughs> this music's great. Oh, man. Dig it. There we go. I wanted to stand up for a little bit, stretch the legs. Felt a little stiff when I was getting up from my chair. So thanks for waiting for the ads, everybody. I appreciate that. Dun, dun, dun. You played it 10 years ago, Helix. New threat? It's like completely different now is my understanding. Like it's version two now. So it might be worth looking into again. Have I played 16? Karen says, um, yeah, a little bit. I'm, I don't know, maybe six hours or so into it. Something like that. I haven't had a lot of time to play it. I've just been so busy. One sec. I need more room. There we go. That's better. That's better. All right. Let me move my uh, chat window here so I can more easily read your messages. Yes, that is better. Bacon spotted it before you. What did you spot? Did I miss something? Oh, oh, okay. From the video, the, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Digimoon? Yeah, I've been using them like, what, three years now? Yeah, it's a cool dragon shirt, isn't it? Here. Let's see if we can see it better this way. There you go. We got that little, like, wizard there, too. Isn't that neat? That's a dope shirt. I like it. There we go. You're going to do it at some point. You're going through the pixel remasters. I was considering playing FF2 pixel remaster before this, but when I saw this mod, it was like 
How can I not? Did you play my piano? Now, how did it go? I can't re Okay, here we go. Uh... Nope, that's not it. Is it? Hold on. It's do, re, mi, ti, la, do, re, mi, so, fa, do, re, do. There you go. I think you used that in the Shinra Mansion at some point. But look, it has like all of these notes you can play. Top do. Then chords, you can play chords. It's kind of interesting. I don't know why it lets you do that, but. <laughs> I've heard that melody somewhere before. I played it quite well. Good job, Cloud. Good job. You had a bad time when two yourself got annoyed by the leveling system. Yeah, I was telling chat here that when we do get around to playing uh, Pixel Remaster 2, that I'm going to want their help with the leveling for a little more optimal play. Juno, you remember one enemy, a new threat being a troll to fight? It was in the room that you put the Midgar model pieces in. I vaguely recall that too. Oh, dang, Neo, thank you. Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to G's on easy. Use it when you come back here, okay. Step. Step. <laughs> okay, J Mac. How you doing, J Mac? All right, there's one more thing in here. Someone mentioned embarrassing before. Knob, the Pixel Remaster 2 is more approachable. That's what I've heard, yeah. I've heard that. Come on, where is it? Obtained frilly panties. Cloud, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> he just pocketed them. <laughs> <laughs> Neo Gunnerid has gifted a tier one sub to Nob 4242. Thanks, Neo, uh, for the gift sub <laughs> to Nob. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Don't get mad. Cloud, we're talking about something really <laughs> important here. <laughs> Yeah, the the OG they changed what it was. <laughs> it was supposed to be perverted like that, where he takes her like freaking panties and pockets them. <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm. You couldn't watch. I don't know what that is, GI Jones. 5DS? What is that? <laughs> Dab it, Cloud! Yeah, he's a... Uh, yeah. How are you today, buddy, by the way? <laughs> Strongest armor acquired. Tifa's panties. Oh, look. His uh, portrait's different here, too. Buster, sword, iron bang. Ooh, power wrist. Give me... I want that. And he has preemptive materia and literally nothing else. Oh, that's it. Dun, dun, dun. Cloud, don't be creepy, right, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hope they keep it in the remake, too, Helix. It's too funny. Dun. A bridge, Tifa? There's a bridge for this? Interesting. I think that's everything you can interact with here in her room. She got little teddy bears there. That's cute. I didn't know that. A lot of details you couldn't have picked up on. On the lower res stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else you can interact with. Oh, I see, buddy. All right, let's see what else we can find. Yeah, I don't know, Juno. That's pretty wild. 
was all this ai upscaled it was and then a lot of it was manually touched up a bit after the fact but you will still see a little bit of ai jank from their upscales here and there there's not a lot of it but it's there huh ah are you from shinra yes sir that's right <laughs> you act big for someone who's green the preemptive material is how cloud is able to sneak up oh bu, 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 bu. hold on hold on what was i saying earlier don't read that <laughs> first of all that's really good trivia second of all let's be careful with spoilers because again there are people reading in chat right now who have not played or seen the playthrough of this game what no you're fine thank you for saying sorry though but yeah i know i know it's it's the game's been out 25 years but not everyone was either interested back then or had the time or the money or whatever so there are people here right now who have not seen these story events you completed this five times yeah i, I did at least that many times myself yeah there there's could quite literally be people in here who weren't even born when this came out <laughs> legitimately this mansion is no i'll come to this later i like that fanny yeah after the fact like during a scene drop in information like that that's the perfect time for it because it's already happened at that point right so yeah run with that run with that 25 years old this game i think so yeah let's see neo gunnerid has gifted a 97 to premi heart it's 26 years old <laughs> dude neo thank you thank you so much yeah j mac was not born yet when this game came out that's honestly cool that this game has still holds that level of like fan base that that many years later <clears throat> you've lost track yeah I, I don't know either i would say at least 10 times for me maybe eight i don't know somewhere in there at least eight i'll say at least eight <clears throat> that seems more reasonable thank you so much neo There's something you want to say when we get to the end of the sequence, if your memory's correct. Yeah, absolutely. I, like in the moment, as long as it's not spoiling and after the fact of something we just experienced, lo would love to see trivia and things like that. All right, we got to hit up the end at this point. So what can I do for you, Cloud? He's upstairs. Oh, that's awesome, Helix. So... I'm staying here tonight, right? Since you're with the Shinra company, you are more than welcome to. Right, what about J-Mac. your own home? Right, yeah, a lot of people I'm do. I'm sure you'd be happier there. So... How's the... Oops, Let's I didn't mean to skip that. It's been about one year since the boom in monsters. Other than that, not much has changed. Nothing ever does in the tiny village yeah. like this. Yeah, X Lives. As you know. Fully voice acted, including NPCs. Even like signage and narration. And tutorials are voiced too. It's pretty impressive. When they were building the reactor. That's when the village was at its best. And to go beyond that, they've actually added voice lines that weren't in the original. Like banter happening in FMVs or in combat as well. Like voice lines, contextual ones. So like earlier we had Red 13 cast a fire spell and he said something like, I invoke the hellfires. So there's like contextual battle lines that were added for this too. When they were building it. But it's been downhill since they completed it. A few years after, the trees on the mountain withered away. Interesting. Was the reactor a good idea or a bad idea? What do you think? With hindsight, it's obvious. But what can we do about it now? If we could just be rid of the monsters, at least then, 
Things will be a little more bearable around here. Cool. I think this is Tifa's trainer right here. The guy that taught her martial arts. Who are you? I'm Zongen. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. Zongen. Bow, 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 bow. Take care, Major Nako. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tuesday's August 1st. Wow. Wow. This year has flown by for me. I feel like I've done so much in this year and there's still so much that I haven't done. I'm sure you, that sounds like nonsense, but maybe some of you can relate to that. Like, it feels like I got a lot done this year, but there's so many things that I wanted to get done that I still haven't yet. But maybe I'll be able to finally knock one of those off the bucket list, a big one anyway. One of those I've been trying to get going for years is to get into some kind of voice acting. So maybe that's going to finally happen soon. Yeah, this is really cool, Imagine, with the voices. I'm really enjoying it. I have 128 students all over the world. In this village, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? Oh, he said Tifa. He did, he did. He said Tifa. You're not ready for August? <sighs> Do you know how many games are coming out in August? <laughs> I think there's like three major releases. What, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, Sea of Stars? Like, those are all on the radar for me. I think those are all in August, right? Oh, Tifa's very perceptive. She'll be a powerful fighter. He's right. I want you to show me some Shinra techniques. If I see anything useful, I might just incorporate it into the Zangan style. Show me your best moves. Show me your moves. Do, 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 do. They're funny and embraced. I would hope so. Do, do. The last three to four years have all been the same year to you. That's relatable. I want if I okay. Should. Nobody back here. Okay, let's move on with it. Stars and 2R, that's what you're all over. Yeah, that Mario RPG remake, I think, are in November. So we got a little ways for those. But I will be playing both of those on stream. What are you looking at? This scenery. It feels familiar somehow. Interesting. Interesting. Is one of his other students big bro, really? I never knew that. That would be really cool. Starfield's finally coming out? Yeah, next month. Is my understanding. RPG fans are eating good this season. Indeed, Vegas. Indeed. Armored Core 6 also in August? Wow! <laughs> oh, no! Start saving up, everyone. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's too much. Uh. Cloud gonna show off that CQC? Yeah. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep. Spider-Man 2? New lighting? No, I'm just standing up and using the other camera. Sometimes I need to stand up or I get too stiff, you know? So I have this camera on up here. Here, let me show y'all. Dun, dun. So I'm usually sitting like here. That's the main camera. That. That's the extra camera that I use for random stuff. So. Hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Oops, wrong one. There you go. Do, 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 do. 
You ordered the already ordered the premium armor core six package a month ago. Nice. Dang, Neil. Oh, Starfield September? I thought it was like August. Has gifted a tier one sub to Cub Fluff. Oh, good catch, Andrew. I could, I could have sworn Starfield was August. Apparently it's September, according to Witcher Andrew there. So, scratch that, what I said. Sorry. Yeah, might as well. I've hired a guy to take us to the Maka reactor. I'm told that she's young. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to skip that. Sorry. Neo is on a mission. Yeah. It's a big month. Yeah. It's a big month. I wonder if he'll let me take a picture. He might. Uh, if I knew this was going to happen, I would have banned hiking. Brian Lockhart. How about that? That was not in the original, seeing his name. You pre ordered the collector's edition of Spider Man 2? Let us know what you think when you play it, yeah? Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Okay. Listen to me, Sephiroth. If something happens to her... Calm down. I'll be all right, Dad. I have two strong men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa with her cute hat. Tifa? You're the guide? It was on his concept art. Is that in Ultimania? I wonder if it's in there. That's right. It just so happens I'm the number one guide in the village. But it's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Then you can protect her. There you go. Very well. Let's go. Um, no. Mr. Sephiroth, a picture as a memento? Tifa, ask Cloud for me too. <laughs> shrug. The Cloud shrug. He's always got the shrug. Chat. Cheese. Queso. Great. Thanks. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. Cool. Yeah, a Mako reactor was built inside Mount Nebel. The cold mountain air was just as I remembered it. Imagine walking on that bridge. There's no fucking way. I would not do it. It's time to kick bubble gum and chew ass, and I'm all out of ass. Do 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 do. Whoa, look at that portrait for Sephiroth. Level 50 is OP! <laughs> he's stacked. Revive. These are all mastered. So he's got life, full life, Kira Kira, Kiraga, regen, Quake, Quara, Quega. Interesting, instead of Quega. Fire, 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 Faraga. So he's got tier three ice, fire, lightning, full life, life, master restore. Got the tough ring, which is really good too. It was misspelled in the original. Instead of a G, there was a P there. <laughs> so it was like toof, toof, toof ring. <laughs> You're glad he's on our side? Oh, wait till you see. Stats. Man. Okay, from here on it gets a lot tougher. Keep up. Wow, the, the background bridge. looks really nice here. Got you. Cloud. Hang on. Ah. Wee! Dude, the FMVs at 30 FPS look great. They look really good. I think it's just game over. Dub. Try it again. 
<laughs> I want to make sure the sounds are working. Seems we're all right. Can we make it back? I don't know, Video Wizard. I certainly have never done that. The caves around here are intertwined, a bit like an ant farm, so... So the FMVs aren't so much upscaled. Like, they're, they're slightly improved from what I've seen, but the, the major change is that they've been interpolated to 30 FPS instead of 15. So every other frame has been, like, AI generated. It compares the previous frame and the one after it, and then tries to create what the image would be in between. So that's what we're seeing. What's up, Elsinia? Thanks for the raid. Do we have TTS here? We do, but it's 100 bits or higher. <laughs> yes, we do. <sighs> Thank you for one bit, Carnage Tyrant. Appreciate that. Right now. You're thinking of rig stream? No, I said it's just game over. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fanny, it is. It is. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Neo Gunner, it has gifted a tier one sub to Carnage Tyrant. And Sonia, how was your stream? Thanks so much for the raid. What were you doing tonight? Here, hold on. I think I'm. No mods. There we go. I got it. Let's see. EverQuest. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Blurp it one bit. Pfft, forget it. I would not do that here. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> uh, Denando. Hello. How are you? How's it going? EverQuest. Wow. Isn't that wild? Oh, and Mr. Sephiroth, one of your men is missing. It may sound cruel, but we have no time to search for him. That does sound cruel. He's right. We can't go back, so we must go on. Stick close together. They have a new progression server. Oh, okay. Right on. Neo Gunner has gifted a tier one sub to Danando too. Dude, Neo, thank you. Neo is not liking non-sub people in chat tonight <laughs> or not he's not disliking them he just doesn't like that they don't have a sub so he's fixing it <laughs> yeah thanks so much elsinia yeah we're playing a uh, heavily modded version of final fantasy 7 on pc tonight as you just heard fully voice acted and done so in a very impressive way it was also 60 fps ai upscaled uh full analog movement it's got the works. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, Carnage. Yikes. <laughs> you don't like that they have to watch the ads eventually. Right, me either. If it, I had my way, no one would ever see ads here for any reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird, Z-Force. I know it does work with Steam Deck, but I don't have any experience doing that you got twitch turbo there you go yeah me too thanks for the follow by the way you'll be back in a few okay we'll be here at Senia. thanks again thank you so much for thinking of us to raid i don't think we can get any treasure here this time around can we I think that's not until the, your like present day trip here. What's this? This cave has a strange color, doesn't it? Mm -mm. It must be the Mako energy. Spoiler? Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing personal, but there are people who haven't seen this game in chat, shockingly enough. So. <laughs> this mountain is especially abundant in it. Careful. That's why a reactor was built here. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you, Donato. I'm always concerned that people are going to take that personally. It's rare, but there's always someone. It's like, it's not that against you. We just want to make sure no one gets spoiled. However, you can. 
Hints, tips, secrets, side quest advice, all good. I'm all cool with that. As long as people aren't backseating, they're just informing me, then I love when people share that kind of thing, you know, trivia. Like, oh, hey, there's a secret chest over in here if you want it, you know, like that's, you can inform me, but not direct me. The one guy who never played seven. We have at least two that have chimed in earlier. I think it was two or three people who said that they haven't played it. What's up, box kid? Is it your first time seeing this? Nice, man. You picked a great time to check it out then. At least two, says middle data point. What's up, middle? Yeah, we have someone in chat who was born after this game came out. Yeah, which was 26 years ago. Are you allowed to backseat if you literally take the backseat out of a minivan and use it as a chair? You can only backseat yourself at that point. Yes. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Jeez. Neo Gunnery has gifted a tier one sub to middle data point. <laughs> Dude, thank you for the gift sub. Holy smokes. This area looks really nice. Yeah, if anyone's interested in this, the fully voice acted mod is called Echo S. What's this? If you do the Echo S command, you can go to their website. There's a tutorial on how to set everything up. Um, you're going to want a mod manager called Seventh Heaven. And it just has a built in browser with all the mods. You can do the mods command to see the list of the ones I'm using in the load order. And if you just do the same thing, you can play it just like this. Somebody pop those commands for me. Mm -mm. You see them every so often. You saw somebody who got a raid right at that moment. Never seen so many popcorn emotes. <laughs> uh, it's all good, Neo, man. I don't expect anything. Oh my god, the Nando. <laughs> Mako Spring. It's said to be a miracle of nature. Yo, thanks for popping those commands, everybody. Despite its great beauty. Mm -mm. It too will disappear if the reactor continues to suck up the Mako energy. She's not wrong. Oh, that looks cool. That's materia. When Mako energy is condensed, materials like this one may form. That looks so cool. It's very rare to see materia in its natural state. What spell is it? Now that you mention it, why is it that when we equip materia, we can also use magic? It's a good question, Cloud. Yeah, it's Mako. Apparently that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. You're in soldier and didn't know that? Well, I, I was a kid. I thought I said Mako, but apparently that was wrong. The knowledge of the ancients is sealed inside materia. The knowledge to manipulate the power of the land. It connects us to the planet and calls forth magic. Or so they say. Or so they say. One sec, I forgot about something here. Got some tea, chat. Japanese doesn't use long A's. All right, I'm gonna sit back down now. Ugh. That is pronounced like Mako, isn't it, Slappy? <sighs> Most of us said Titus until it was spoken aloud in Kingdom Hearts. Corrected us. Yeah, it's Titus, right? I always thought it was Titus because, like, Tides, and he played, like, a water, you know, underwater game. 
You still say Titus? Yeah, apparently it's Titus. Isn't that wild? You're stubborn? I don't think anyone should be like, you can't say it that way, you're wrong. Like, there's an official way, and if you don't say it that way, then you don't say it that way. It's like, whatever, right? <laughs> Final Fantasy X was voice acted? Yes, and they never at one point in the entire game ever say his name. <laughs> And yes, I'm serious. They never say his name. Yeah, I thought it was Cecil. It's Cecil. And we just got them all wrong, apparently. <clears throat> Buddy, are you just banned from TTS? Like, it never wants to say what you're saying. <laughs> what have you done? Did you break it? Uh, hold on. That's the second time that's happened to you specifically. What are you doing to break it so badly? Like, I don't even have like those kind of filters for that. Uh, I'm impressed. All I can say is I'm impressed, man. You're the only one I know that can do that. Here we go. I'm gonna paste this in here like this and hit play. Yeah, it just won't play it. What is giving it pause? What if I just like take half of it out? What happens if it does that? It won't do it. It just won't do it. What if I just pipe, type the word? Hold on. Test. Yeah, see, it's something you're doing specifically in that message that it's just like breaking it. <laughs> know what you've done oh, thank you i don't know how to make that work so <laughs> whenever it hates quotation maybe it does yeah also did you want to put those 100 bits to a vote anywhere on the next list <clears throat> they have fingers yeah everything's been hd upscaled in these mods magic a mysterious power <laughs> Did I say something funny? Try getting rid of the quotes. A man once told me to never use unscientific terms like mysterious power. He's talking about Professor Gast. Professor Gast. Let's try it without the quotes. Let's let's see if we can't science this, right? Can we science this? All right, so get rid of that quote. Right? Okay, and then that one. And then that one. And that one. Oh man, there's a lot in there. Mm. And that one. Jeez, there's so many. Alright, test. The mod has such great yep. sound. Barrett's gun is like Tiffle is like a woo cloud. Cloud is like a woo Aerith. Aerith is like you woo cloud in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I think it has something to do with the way AWS poly parses quotations. I think it's thinking that the quotations are like, I don't know, something to do with data entry. Like it's unsanitized. Does that make sense? I don't fully understand it. I'd have to ask like Roasted Donut or Kyle or iWatch. She's doing yoga. She's all good. Yeah. He said that it shouldn't even be called magic. I just remembered how angry he was. That's all. So what I think she's doing is she's just running her hands through the water because there's a puddle there, like a little pond, and she's bored listening to them talk about this. Who was it? Splish. Hojo Shinra, an inexperienced man who inherited the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Mako Spring. So, the knowledge of the ancients resides here. She's just hanging out, yeah. <laughs> there it is. The reactor. 
Banow, Banow, Banow. We've made it. That sure was the long way around, though. You always thought she flapped her forehead on the rock. I mean, I think the the emotion she's conveying there is just boredom, you know. So I think she was just kind of running her hand through the water in little puddles because she was just bored. Is it safe to touch? I probably don't. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside too. I want to see. I think I forgot to turn the music down. It's off limits to civilians. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But... Take care of the young lady. Interesting. Do 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 do. She did a little stomp. Man, man. <laughs> Better take real good care of me then. <laughs> Hold on. No, I did turn it down. It's just loud here. Okay. We're gonna RP walk. Let's do it. Yeah, it looks cool. Mako is the secret ooze from TMT. Oh God, the crossover is real. Sassy, is that a Tifa emote? It is. Oh, it's eyes on B, of course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. We got to see Tifa real spicy yesterday. That was one of the funniest things ever. Yeah, Juno. The ambient audio added by one of these mods is awesome. Like, listen, listen you can tell the immediate difference when I just open the menu. Oh, it keeps going. It usually stops. Oh, interesting. Well, that made me eat my words. <laughs> it usually stops when you open the menu. Spicy Tifa. Yeah, so you know that part in the the Mako reactor where you, you Tifa, Barrett, and Cloud all have to hit the switch at the same time? So the voice acted mod, instead of just giving her one line, gave her like 20. And she just gets increasingly annoyed with Cloud. To the point where she's like fucking cussing him out. She's like, I'll do it myself! And she just breaks the button and it opens the door. <laughs> We should watch that again. That was so funny. We'll watch that after this scene. Oh, I can't look at those yet, huh? Okay. Genova. What's that? Is it locked? Interesting. Here's the reason for the malfunction. This is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Okay. Excuse me. Why did it break? Yeah, Juno. You know. I see, Hojo. But you're still no match for Professor Gast. It's true. This system condenses and then freezes Mako energy. At least, it did originally. Now, what happens to Mako energy when it is further condensed? Um. Uh, oh yeah, it can become materia. Correct. Right, normally. But Hojo put something in there. Take a look. Okay. So he's condensing Mako energy, and instead of making materia, it's condensing with something that's hard to interact with. <laughs> Come on. 
do the thing. Look through the window. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> what is that? Normal members of Soldier, like you, have been bathed in Mako. Correct. You're different from normal people, but still human. However, what about these? They've been exposed to far higher concentrations of Mako than you. They pushed it to the next step. So these are the monsters? Yes, and it was Hojo of Shinra who produced these monsters. Grotesque life forms created by Mako energy. Hmm. That's the reality of it. It, it totally was, Juno. Yeah, it was one of these. It was one of these. Beep beep. <laughs> Normal members of Soldier? You mean you're different? Hey, Sephiroth. No, it's not possible. <clears throat> Was I? Was I created the same way? This is the moment. Sephiroth. Am I no different to these monsters? You saw them. All of them. They're human. This is some mad existentialism here. Like his whole reality is being shattered right now. Human? No way. Ever since I was a child, I felt different from the rest. Special somehow, but not like this. So fucked up. Hojo is a monster. Hojo is the real monster. It's a lot of existentialism. Existentialism just Am crashing. Am I no different? Yeah. I didn't understand the words at the time. <clears throat> More than anything, I was shocked that Shinra had been creating monsters. Imagine how Sephiroth felt. Oh, Shinra! The more I hear it, the more I hate it. Who would have believed that the Mako reactor held a secret like that? Is this right. the reason for the increase in monsters over the past few years? Red's home is very close to Nibelheim. Or is it Nibelheim? It's Nibelheim, right? At least that's how they're pronouncing it in this. Hojo and Sephiroth parallel Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, now that you think about it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Though it may not have been Hojo. It may have been Gast. I'm not sure. We'll probably find out later. So if you know that answer, don't answer it. But I'm just kind of speculating. Because I have played this a lot of times, but I don't think I ever really fully grasped the story except for like the last time or two. And the last time I played this was five and a half years ago. 104 pounds, 47 kilograms is the weight of Cloud's Buster Sword. Sephiroth's sword is seven to eight feet. So if they were stacked tightly together, they could fit about 64 kittens. Good. Yeah. No, well, that's, that's really good to know. <laughs> What's up, Amy? Thanks for the work, Lord. I think we should listen to Cloud's story more carefully from here on. Isn't that so, Barrett? What are you asking me for? Take a break and save progress. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's take a breather. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, start back at the top. Hmm, Tifa, did you wait outside the whole time? Yeah. We returned to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. Fucking he Karen. wouldn't talk to anyone. Are we comparing swords? <laughs> 
then he just disappeared. <laughs> right, X Lives, yes. We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers called it the Shinra Mansion. It had been unoccupied for as long as I could remember. We hadn't even been born the last time it was used. Wow. People from Shinra lived there a long time ago. Okay. Nibelheim, yeah. Doing the soldier pose. There we go. <laughs> That's the kind of Tifa that we need in our lives. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it would have been fair and funny if Barrett was chiming in, but that worked out just well enough. You have to watch a bridge, she's like that all the time. Nice. You've never sounded that irritated, even when irritated? Yeah. <laughs> she put a lot into it. It was pretty good. Some of the keys are broke. Yeah, some of the keys are broken up. Oh, that's safer than there. I mean, it's a different floor. That's oh, probably upstairs, right? Mm -hmm. This looks really nice on the upscale, huh? Mm -hmm. She's had enough, Karen. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, X Lives. I want to say I don't think there's a censored version, but I honestly don't know. I don't think the original game itself has a censored version. So I would assume no. And the original game does have. Well, the original game does have censored profanity, doesn't it? Profanity, vulgarity, whatever you call them. Obscenity. I'm assuming no, but I'm not sure. You're not against either? No, I'm not saying any, I'm not making any qualifying statements here. I'm just saying, I don't know. It's a good question. There's no sign of Mr. Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go to that room. Oh yeah, Slappy, I think you're right. Yeah, well, we're gonna find out how they handle Sid in this playthrough for sure because Sid is foul mouth is all hell you know nice that looks really cool right he looks exactly the furthest they went in OG was shit okay oh it's right here I don't think we can go in here yet, though. No. You need, like, a special key. And I don't think you can get that until later. Mm. Hopefully they just bleep it. I think they're gonna... I don't think any of it will be censored if we just saw Tifa drop an F-bomb. <clears throat> a seemingly dead organism was found in a 2,000-year-old stratum. Interesting. One minute to ads. We'll pause gameplay for that once that starts. Professor Gast named the organism Genova. Year 1977. Genova is confirmed an ancient. Between 1977 to 1986, Genova Project authorized. Was this the right number? Reactor One approved for use. Genova Project authorized. So yeah, when ads start, non-subs will see up to three minutes of ads, but we'll pause gameplay so you don't miss any. So feel free to use that time to stretch, get snacks, get up, whatever you need to do. My 
author's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? God, imagine this being your world. Like, everything you know for your whole life was a lie. I don't mean everything. Like, even your own, like, creation and existence. I don't know what that would do to a person. Your cat's in a bitey mood? Yeah. My cat Mock gets like that when he's playful. Yeah, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Original game was Peggy 16. Was it? I don't know what it was in the US. Let's see. Teen. Teen by ESRB. Which I'm assuming is a similar analog to Peggy 16. Though in the US, teen is literally any teenage, so 13 and higher. But nobody followed these. Like, ever. Retailers didn't give a fuck. The only ones that they really cared about were, like, adults only. And then some would care about mature labels, but most didn't care about that either. Roughly the same? Gotcha. Like, the adults only stuff was pretty heavily regulated from what I know. Everything else, they just... It was like an afterthought. It's kind of weird. Mm. And while we're waiting uh, for the uh, ads to finish, if people could give me a hand here, help me get some more subs on my YouTube channel if you uh, haven't subbed to that. That's my VODs YouTube channel. I add a video to it every day. So I'm trying to get all of my full playthroughs up on there. So there's quite a backlog. Uh, but currently uploading Final Fantasy IX Moguri mod playthrough. That channel has my Final Fantasy VIII playthrough, Symphony of the Night, uh, Legend of Mana, and Ephemeral Fantasia. <laughs> the only time you ever needed an adult was when you bought RE4. Really? <clears throat> Your parents cared? If a game was movie or teen, they want... They wanted to know why until you were 14 or 15. Yeah, mine didn't. They didn't care. Yo, thanks to Nando. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, answer done. I appreciate everybody waiting for that. Appreciate everybody waiting for that. Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? Oh, wow, Juno. Mm -hmm. The labels aren't on here yet, I guess. That's something you'll have to be able to see later. This looks so freaking cool in here, though. Like, the nice... Like, it's definitely got a color palette, but good contrast of colors. Hey, buddy. What's the Moggy want? What you want, Moggy? I know you don't like tea. Mog hates the smell of tea. What are you doing, Moggy Mog? You wanna lay down, little man? <laughs> Juno, that's so weird. Misfire, uh oh. I was like, who are you seeing that doesn't have one? I'm not even seeing it. I wish to be alone. Yeah, nice face. Yeah, it does have that energy. I agree. It definitely has that vibe. It's 
so freaking cool. This must have been Professor Gast's office. He wishes to be alone. Corbeys, what's up? How are you? Yeah. After. <clears throat> Sorry, Mom. Sephiroth Mon. confined himself to the mansion. It's okay, buddy. I banged my elbow on the desk and startled him. He continued to read as if possessed, and not once did the light in the basement go out. Uh, I don't put milk in tea. I've never put milk in tea. I don't know how to answer that, J-Mac. Oh, cool. I think this is the first time we've heard this. Listen to that ambient track. That's some serious Resident Evil vibes, isn't it? <laughs> Very funny, Donando. Coming in with those puns. Yeah, thanks, Corbase. Appreciate that. And what do you do, J-Mac? Because I've never put... I've never put um, milk in tea. Um, I Because dairy doesn't agree with me. For the most part. Also, thanks for those YouTube subs. Looks like we got like three or four there. Appreciate it. Aiming for 500 by the end of the year. Oh, weird, Neo. Okay. Oh, that sounds so cool. Yeah, same Helix. This creeped you out as a kid? Yeah. This was such an like impactful scene. They really did the atmosphere right. And this ambient audio was helping. Look at look at the top left of the gameplay. That's a mouse cursor. Mog, you move my mouse. Look. <laughs> Moggy, that's not where that goes right now. You silly little man. You okay, buddy? You okay, little guy? You threw me a sub? Thank you. I appreciate that. I wonder if Mog's hungry. After this scene, I'm gonna feed the feed him real quick. It'll only take a minute. <clears throat> Sephiroth seems different. Hmm. You have Thai iced teas you have to endure once in a while. Like I have uh lactate for stuff like pizza, you know? Or anything that's heavy on cream or cheese. But I just avoid milk almost entirely unless it's like oatmeal. Because for some reason, like the... The cooking? Like if milk is cooked? Like, you know, you know if I put milk in the oatmeal in the microwave, it doesn't bother me. <clears throat> so I think something about that is breaking down the lac lactose. Okay, that was creepy laughing. That was really creepy. Who's there? <laughs> Loathsome traitor. Excuse you? <laughs> traitor. You ignorant traitor. I will explain it to you. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra, a race of nomads. They would travel, unlock the planet, and then move on. Interesting. At the end of their long, harsh journey, they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. Way? You're allergic to way? Wow. How did you find that out? <clears throat> However, some began to dislike traveling. They built dwellings and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the Cetra and the planet had bestowed upon them and gave back not one wit in return. Interesting. Yeah, Moggy's hanging out here. Little Moggy. Those Mog. are your ancestors. Okay. Sephiroth. Long ago, disaster struck the planet. Your ancestors fled in all directions. They survived because they hid. Huh, I see, Salcinia. You pulled all the liquid out and just ate the solids, you never got sick. It's good that you figured it out. Avoid all way. Wow. The crisis was averted because the Cetra sacrificed themselves. Now, how much stuff is that in? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's you, Mog. <laughs> you want your ball? Here. There you go. Here's your ball. What are you doing? No. No, 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 no. He's trying to get the lens cap. That's not kitty toy. Dude. What are you doing? I'm watching you. Mog's up to no good right now. It was well timed, yo. You can't freak out. I'm so sorry, Blue Pastry. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mog, you have the worst freaking timing, I swear. It's apparently time for cat shenanigans. Look at this. Look at this. Anything's a kidding toy, toy if they try hard enough. Don't roll on the keyboard. <laughs> oh boy. Mog might start saying hello to all of you. Is that your ball? Here, let me hold that ball there for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's his favorite ball. It's his favorite ball. Make a foo, be right back. Yeah, sorry about the delay, but also not because Mog. <laughs> Here you go, little guy. Yeah. Here you go, little bunny. He likes that. What's his favorite ball? Yeah, good boy. Yeah, it is a good boy. There you go. I'll put that right there for you, okay? You done just chill there, Mog? If he just chills there, we can continue with the game. <clears throat> you okay? Okay. Okay, buddy. I think he's just going to chill for a little bit. So why don't we continue? Why don't we continue? After that, your ancestors continue to spread out and multiply. Now all that's left of the Cetra are these reports. What does this have to do with you? Oh boy. What's up, Wok? How you doing? Don't you see? A 2,000-year-old ancient named Genova was found in a layer of ice. Which led to the Genova Project. The Genova Project intended to create humans with the abilities of the ancients. That is, the Cetra. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was the one created. C created? Professor Gast, leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist, created me. How did he? Oh boy. Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. There you go. That goes the VA. Dude, you be the judge. You just heard that. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. This that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my goodness. Soldier's gone. Well, that didn't take long. <sighs> Your ex, she was insisting Final Fantasy 7 wasn't a fantasy because it looked more sci-fi than fantasy. Okay, that's kind of asinine, but all right. It's <laughs> strange. Well, if I want to see my mommy. Yeah, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm. Walk. Let's see. Three games everyone should play. What do you got? Divinity, Original Sin 2, Final Fantasy 6, Hollow Knight. Oh, that's our first Hollow Knight tonight. I'm actually shocked no one else said that. Denando. You got Kodelka. Kodelka. Wild. Someone in my community just got a complete inbox copy of that, like yesterday. Breath of Fire 3 is my favorite Breath of Fire. Mass Effect 2. Favorite Mass Effect. It's oh, pretty you. awesome. You're still sane, right? Then come over here and give me a hand. You put the all materia on fire. <laughs> Don't let her I'll watch Star Wars. House. Oh man. You take the one over there. Mm, Sci-fi is fantasy. Lord Badong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thanks for lurking, but uh, appreciate that. Uh, oh dang, J Mac. The underscore J Mac underscore has gifted a tier one sub to Lord underscore Bagon. Thank you so much. Terrible. Poor Cloud. Just found his mom. Sephiroth. This is beyond cruel. <laughs> J Mac, sorry, Neo. This one's mine. <laughs> Just murdering everybody. What's that? Mobile game. I don't know mobile games that well. What's FFB? Oops. Gotta go this way. Final Fantasy Brave Axios. Oh, I've heard of that one. I don't play mobile games, but I have heard of that one. I think Dad. I used to watch someone play that. It was Sephiroth. <coughs> Sephiroth did this, didn't he? How's everything been with you, Locke? Make sure you folks go give uh, Locke a follow. Plays a lot of ESO. Pretty comfortable vibe over there. I know I'm always going to have a, re a pretty relaxing lurk anytime I hang out and lurk in his channel. I was doing Final Fantasy 14 last time. Nice. Sephiroth. Soldier. Mako Reactors. Shinra. <laughs> All of them. I hate them all. Wow, Slappy. That was a good motivation to find something else, huh? Poor Tifa. That's her dad. <sighs> it was her dad. Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open the door. Yeah, this mod is amazing. Well, these mods in general. The voice acting one specifically. How could you do that to my dad? How could you do that to everyone in the village? Oh, Tifa. Where's that dot in the bottom right? You see that? That's weird. That's like in engine. Weird. There's something there. Strange. I wonder if that's a glitch. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> when I'm Fatality. in a bind, you said you'd come. You promised me. Man.
What mug? Seriously? You played FFB for a bit, but decided Final Fantasy Record Keeper. When I'm. Oh, she said that already. It was the better game and you gave up? No Final Fantasy mobile game to play and too far behind to get into it. There you go. Well, I mean, I guess that's good or bad depending on your viewpoint, right? Yeah, it was weird. It was weird, Juno. Like, it was very minor, so I didn't really care, but... Just weird. <clears throat> Alright, don't let me forget to feed the cats after this. Mother, let's take back the planet. I have a great idea. Damn. We'll head to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family. My hometown. How could you? <laughs> Here they are again, Mother. With your superior abilities, knowledge, and magic. You were destined to rule the world. But they... Oh, cool. Those worthless creatures are stealing the planet from Mother. But now... Serious I mommy issues. You, so don't worry. Fucked up. Splish. Huh. What are you going to do about this grief? My family, my friends, having my hometown taken from me. It's the same as your sorrow! <laughs> My sorrow? What do I have to be sorrowful about? I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to rule this world. I was given life in order to take this planet back from imbeciles like you. To reclaim it for the Cetra. Man, Hojo fucked up. <laughs> what then should I be saying? Or was it Gast? It was Gast, wasn't it? It was Professor Gast. Sephiroth. I trusted you. No, not anymore. You're not the Sephiroth I used to know! Sephiroth! <laughs> cool. Random fucking Dodrio in the middle of, of that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's the end. What do you mean that's the end? Wait a damn minute. What happened next? Right? Thank you, Barrett. Asking the question we're all asking. I don't remember. Huh. What happened to Sephiroth? Considering the sheer strength he possessed, it's unlikely I defeated him. Sephiroth has been declared dead in the public records. I read it in the newspaper. The Shinra Company is in charge of the media, so you can't rely on that. It's a good point. I need to be sure about what happened back then. Right, Tom Barry, thank you. I went up against Sephiroth and survived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm what? alive too. What am I fighting for? Thank you. Thank you, LTG. <laughs> Lilo san. 
Three games everyone has to play. Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VII, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Wasn't expecting to see that one tonight. Interesting. Chrono Trigger has been the most popular answer tonight. Probably followed by Final Fantasy VII. What about Genova? A lot of this doesn't fit. It was Juno. Oh my God, get him. It was in the Shinra building, right? Right. Yeah. Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Hmm. Did someone come and take it? It's not in the Shinra building anymore. Sephiroth? Probably. Uh, I don't get none of this. I'm going. Going. Gone. I'll leave the thinking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cloud. Come on, get ready. Uh... Wait a sec. What are you waiting for? You just gonna stand there and let Sephiroth get to the promised land? What up, Amateur P? How are ya? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get there. Otherwise, we're all screwed. That's a good point, Vaius. That much I do know. What? Beautiful. Leave it to me. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Cloud? Yes, ma'am. How bad was I after Sephiroth sliced me? The Caddos. <laughs> there was not many Saturn owners in the West. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that's true, Lilasan. You forced yourself to pick only one game per console. I got you. I've always wanted to try Panzer Dragoon Saga. It's just so expensive, so we'll figure it out someday. I thought you were a goner. It was awful. Uno, Tetris, and Sonic Mania. What system is Uno on? Interesting. Right, Slappy? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> maybe they don't have to worry about that with all their magic. I... Or maybe she does have a scar. The Ancients, the Cetra, Genova, Sephiroth, and me. Every Let's system? Go. Barrett's waiting. Fair enough. What a fascinating story. Agreed. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> What's Burning Rangers, LTG? I, I've not heard of... The only one I've heard of there is Guitaru, man. Hey, take this. Ah, now we got the PHS. Okay. Changing party members. Access the menu and select PHS. The PHS can only be used on the world map and at save points. The PHS allows us to stay in touch. If anything happens, make sure to use it, yeah? Yeah, the narrator's great. <laughs> With the PHS, it's easy for us to stay in contact. What the hell does PHS stand for? All right, we're off. What does it stand for? <laughs> Burning Rangers was a Saturn game. Uh-huh. Plays a firefighter putting out space fires. Actually remembered the uh the the position the song was in. Uh let's see. Do a little exchange here. Boop. There we go. <clears throat> Party hard, Sephiroth! Pretty huge schlong. That's what it stands for. That yeah, that tracks. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Party henshu system. Editing. Is that literally what it is? Personal handy phone. Sounds like an ad. PHS balance for a late. Yeah, it sounds like a deodorant commercial. Yeah. Very funny. Party hard, Sephiroth. 
I like pretty handy system. That's good too. Mm. Nice cub. You recently became a Saturn owner, Roman? Yeah. I. However, you manage to play Panzer Dragoon Saga, if you're actually going to try and get a real copy of it, just be known that it's about a thousand dollars. That's why I don't have it. <laughs> What up, Curtis? Good morning. Kitty feeding room. Oh, I did forget. Thank you. You get to listen to the pretty song. I'll just be like a minute. It'll be fast, but I'm gonna give Mog some food because I think he's a little hungry right now. You got the hardware? There you go. Use like an ODE or something, optical drive emulator. Personal handy phone system was in use by a lot of people in Japan. What is that exactly? What does that mean? What in the world? Oh, can't you get flamethrower from these? I think you can. <clears throat> Flamethrower is Mithril Mines? Oh, is it? Okay. They lost the source code of Panzer Dragoon Saga, Nami? Really? <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Wow, that sucks. The Japanese PHS was basically their just way of connecting phones to the network, how we use 4G and 5G. Wow, they did that in the 90s? That's wild. Shit, I think my T is attracting a fruit fly. How the hell did that get in here? She got Wolverine claws? Yeah, or Mithril claw. Japan tech was ahead of its time, clearly. All in one ram cart. So you can back up your legit copies of your games, right? <laughs> well, I should be doing that nature magic, you know? That was easy. Let's see how it looks in this version. About the same. It's about the same. Do you have the enemy ability from the bikes? Do you mean what you just saw there? Was that one, was that the one you were asking about, Lilo? <clears throat> Previously, cell phones required that briefcase setup. Handy phones are smaller. That's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I knew. I wanted to make sure I got that. Lurking Tonberry, what are your three games you got there? Chrono Trigger, Dragon's Crown, Cybernator. I've heard of Cybernator. I call upon the Hellfire. Yeah Ow. Haven't played Dragon's Crown. 
Someday I'd like to. Come what may. Nice. That's so strong. Dragon's Crown's great. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, Helix. Y'all, I'm looking for that kind of info. Like, tell me where to get, like, enemy skills if they're good. You know? Treasures, secrets, whatever that stuff is. Just don't, you know, don't backseat. And no one did. You are just like, oh, I think you could do this here. Or you can get this here. Like, you're all doing that really well. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looked kind of weird, Slappy, didn't it? I have the Odin Sphere remaster on PS4. Odin Sphere, like, Life Thrust here or whatever. I got sent on bootleg demo discs. Anything's fair game? No. I mean, you know what is and isn't okay. I... Like, at the end of the day, we're all adults. We're going to make the decision that's best for us, right? Especially when something is literally impossible to get nowadays. But speaking from a streamer perspective, we can't facilitate piracy. So... You know, we can discuss emulation because emulators aren't illegal. Downloading ROMs on the internet is. But again, like I said, we're all grown ass adults. We're going to make the decision that's best for us. Just don't fucking put it in open chat that you're committing crimes so that I don't have to moderate it. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> that's what they call their demos. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah, this year is really good. It's a television. Yeah, I've uh, streamed uh, Ancient Stone Tablets before. The fan translation of it with the dub. It's so funny. Hi, little lady. What is it you want? She heard me opening this container of blueberries. She thought it was strawberries. She likes to eat the strawberry leaves. <laughs> Very funny, Judo. Do, do, do. What is it? You looking at your tree? You want to go over there? What is it? She's taking over, chat. Kitty's taking over. You play a lot of Link to the Past Rando? Yeah, I play that on my flash cart. On my Super Nintendo. You own and played both? I've only played the PS4 version. I really enjoyed it, though. What? What is it, little one? What's the old lady want? Hmm? You love downloading really old memes. Same. <laughs> really old memes. Yeah. Yeah, same. This is Lickety Split here. She's the diva. She likes to take over the camera, as you can see. She got a little freckle nose. The tortoise shell cat. There you go, little lady. There you go. You want some pat pats? It's been a while since we did pat pats since you got hurt. There we go. There you go. She liked her pat pats, see? <laughs> yeah. She knows. She knows exactly what to look at. She's a smart gal. You want me to make space so you can lay down? Show me a moves. You want to lay down? There. There you go. Okay, you got room now. You can lay down now. Yep, for sure. He likes. She's a smart gal. She's a really smart cat. She always has been. Very clever. You got room now if you want to lay down? All right, I'm going to let her do what she's going to do so we can keep going. I gotta see the dance. We gotta see the dance. Are you gonna go over there? Okay. Choke a bunch. Move my mouse again. Get it off of there. Do. Quack. 
I love this part. It's so goofy. Look at him go. Heck yeah, Munimasa. Tangle, how are you? It's good to see you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's so random. Like it makes no sense, but who cares? It's delightful. Oh, something appeared. Que, que, que. Obtain Choco Mog. Well, that's a little glitch, but there you go. We got the materia at the end of the day. That was the re the desired result. Do 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 do. Bum, bum. So what do we? Yeah, I don't care about sense. I never use it. It's not worth leveling. <laughs> it's not worth it. You know, Mog is in a derp. That's the thing, Helix. Like, Linkity's really smart. Mog's on a derp. He's just, like, different energy level than her. Actually, I don't want to give that to her. I want to give it to someone who's more magic-focused. Maybe him? We have to sacrifice a spell slot for it. It's a nice song. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of any of this. I could get rid of cover, I guess. But I do want to level that because I'm going to give it to her when she has a bunch of counter attacks. Ba -da -ba -ba. Mm. Spell slots. Slappy. Well, we got two people with fire. So here's what I'll do. Oh, I got you, Felix. This is a nice version of this song. I think that's all the loot you can get here, right? Is the Chocomon? Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Hmm. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. You don't need one. There's a trick. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zalem. I still call it Midgar Zalem. Interesting. Is that a Midgar Zomer or whatever? Midgar Zalem? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. Oh my god. <laughs> it detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then... Bam! It attacks! Apex Predator! To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Choco Billy's Chocobo Farm. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. Purchase He's a chocobo? He's in the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Okay. Is this different? Looking for an in? Yes. I'm not in. Yeah. How about 100 gil a night? I'm okay. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you for your patronage. It's a little steep, but. That's at least 10 bananas! I know, it's a lot of bananas, but you must know. Good God, Slappy. Interesting, Kokomonga. Mm hmm. I always wanted to climb this ladder. Like, it looks like you should be able to climb it and then go in that door slash window up there. Just, nope, can't do it. Also, I always thought this was weird. Look at this. You can go all the way up here. 
<laughs> Yay. Hi. <laughs> like, why? There's no point. I guess, I don't know. It's cool. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. You can go to the very... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Chugga was still giving the material. Yeah, I got it. I, it's it's on uh, Red 13. Yeah, we face planted the sky, the sky box. Yeah. Yeah. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks. <laughs> we don't have any chocobos. The ones outside belong to another customer. You know, if you really want a chocobo. Why don't you go catch one in the wild? Sure. Want to know about wild chocobos? Sure. How, where are they? Did you see any three-clawed prints out there? Whenever you see those, chocobos are definitely nearby. Cloud, Cloud's like, what, 21? He's old folks, apparently. But without chocobo lure, they won't appear. They're very cautious by nature. What a chocobo lure. As the Oops. name suggests, chocobo lure is a material that can bake chocobos. When equipped, wild chocobos will be attracted. Otherwise, they simply won't show up. Interesting. Want to know about wild chocobos? How do I catch one? Wild chocobos always appear with monsters. Over the hill. And monsters are a problem. Mm -hmm. You'll need to get rid of them before you can catch a chocobo. It tastes like chicken, plus you'll have leftovers for weeks. Oh man, let's get some. Right, Leo san? Yeah. I think it does, Munimasa, yeah. Go on. If it wasn't hard enough already, wild chocobos are really cautious. They'll skedaddle at the drop of a hat. But by using greens, you can distract them. And they'll be less likely to run away. Want to know about wild chocobos? Anything else? Whatever mm -hmm. you do, mm -hmm. don't rile mm -hmm. a chocobo. They're usually quite docile, but tip them off and you'll be sorry. Oh, and remember, a captured chocobo will disappear as quick as a flash the instant you dismount it. I see. Want to know about wild chocobos? Hey, I'm not interested. Well then, <clears throat> shall we get down to business? You like keeping it on the entire game? Yeah. If you buy now, I'll sell one chocobo lure for 2,000 gil. I don't even know if I have that much. So how about it? Don't buy it. Thanks. I guess I do. It wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. I spent most of it in calm on materia and equipment. That reminds me. How soon a chocobo finish eating depends on the type you feed it. Yo, yeah, well, welcome back, Crane. Couldn't find many 12-year-olds who could voice act and wanted to do 200 lines for zero money. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is all volunteer. <laughs> Jesus. Oops. I didn't mean to cancel that. Where'd he go? Okay, we only need Gasol greens or Gasol, I think it is. Uh, oh, look at that! I have 900 gil. Whew, we are low. We should sell some stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Scissors? Well, they go for 700. Hmm. Deadly Waste, one. <laughs> Peacemaker, that's not a bad idea. You had to buy your niece a new tablet to get her to voice Marlene. Marlene's voices were good. <laughs> Sell some loco weed? How much is that worth? One. Yeah, that's not worth it. I mean, by the time you get Vincent, the Peacemaker's useless, right? 
I can't remember though. It's been a while. I don't necessarily need all of this right now, but let's make sure everybody's equipped. Yeah, I think they are. Your niece was an actual nine-year-old voicing a five-year-old Marlene. It worked. It certainly worked. My brother Choco Billy swindled you, didn't he? A little bit, yeah. Well, please try not to be mad at him or my grandpa. The... Oh, the Peacemaker's stronger than his default weapon? Okay. It's been like this since mom and dad died. Got it. Welcome. Here's a good tip. Mm hmm Little white chocobos love having their necks tickled. White chocobos? But if you tickle them someplace they don't like, they'll flip out. So be careful. Oh, yeah. What was that all about? <clears throat> that was... That was in that that one island town right there's a white chocobo in like a shop or something and then if you tickle it he does something for you and you tickle his neck medeal yeah okay it's a really good version of this song when your bank said you had under 50 bucks you started casting adults for kids <laughs> crane you put a lot into this huh So we've really liked some of the casting direction in this. Sephiroth was 10 out of 10 for me, for my part. Like that just dead inside brooding voice. That voice actor nailed it. Doo -doo -doo. Peacemaker is only two damage stronger starting weapon. Okay, if we need money, then we can just sell that. Luck plus one, there you go. It's not a lot, but it's something. Where's the guy saw? Oh, you little shit. <clears throat> All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, feed it to that guy. Good. Lightning. Yeah, yeah. Those are elephants with sharp teeth. They're like rhino elephants. It's a pretty dope version of the song. Oh, yeah, Crane? Right on. Yeah, Claude's voice actor, the, the performance there in that standoff was really impressive. Oh, man, they both got sadness. Uh, I got five hypers. Fuck! I just wasted one. Oh, hell of it. She'll keep it. <laughs> Violet Shupov? Violet Shupov? Alright, let's see if we can do it this time. I need to sort this damn inventory. Go. Fuck! It's too fast! <laughs> what are you supposed to do? I do anything? No, it just ran away before I got a turn. Both times, actually. Lasan nut. That's for chocobo breeding. Got a couple guard sources. There you go. We're full timing her on the team, so. Definitely want advice, always. Yes. The only thing I don't want is backseating and spoilers. 
because there are people watching who have not played or seen this game legitimately oh this is a normal fight oh, there we go oh we should do the new summon change from active to wait it's on recommended which is in between those and i don't know exactly what that is at this point ATB recommended. It doesn't actually tell you what the hell that means. I think recommended pauses ATB during animation, but I'm not really sure. We'll just try wait for this. Time stops when you enter menus like magic or summon. So how's that different from wait? Do, 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 do. You thought it only ran if you do an action while it isn't eating. No, it just runs away after X seconds, I guess. <laughs> Recommend means. Oh, I, I read that already. Wait, has it stopped as soon as it's one of your character's turns? Oh, I, I think I see what you're saying. So recommended should be fine then. Cause it's the same thing, right? Well, no, 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 no. I see what you're saying. Yeah. We'll put it on wait just for this. He got a lot of hate when the mod came out. Who did? The cloud VA? I mean, if, if any of these folks are going to get into the industry, they're just going to have to get used to that. Because it's always just loud dipshits who have like this fantasy about what people are supposed to sound like. And they will be very aggressively like malicious about it. If it's not exactly what their specific subjective imagination has wanted. So it's like, if you want something else, do it yourself and just shut up. <laughs> Wait, is Final Fantasy X style. Okay. So it's not like, don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying they should have to face that, but I'm saying they will face that. And it's always the loud minority, always. Because I guarantee there are way more people that are going to appreciate that performance than anything. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Got it. Ooh, that's good damage. I got this. <laughs> You the minor VA work cat? Yeah, awesome. Mm -mm -mm. I think Cloud, the, the VA for Cloud did a really good job. Like he's not just reading lines, he's How performing. A chocobo. Press the cancel button to get off. Chocobos will escape whenever a player dismounts. Cool music. Do -do -do -do. Hey, we got a burp. We got a burby. Adds in one minute. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So my trick that I always did to cross this without a chocobo is I would stand about right here. As close as it would let me. And then when that thing whew, was like over here, like over here ish. Like I'm trying to get it over there and then it was as far as it could be like stuck in that corner like that. You would just run across without the chocobo and you can make it. So you don't need the chocobo to get across. <clears throat> the fact that we play the mod, I think you should look at 
how many people are applying to help with this for an indicator of how good the quality is. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of partner streamers like me who are like, well, we got to check this out. Like, obviously, there's eyes on B. I know, I think, I'm pretty sure Unaleska wants to play them if she hasn't yet. I think she's going to be doing eight, if I'm not mistaken, really soon. I know 8 D wants to stream this one, too. There's a lot of us in this, like, partnered streamer who play RPGs in Final Fantasy who have caught wind of this and want to want to be a part of it. There are a lot of lines you'd read differently, but you're not them, and they've got their own takes, inspirations, and specialties. Yeah, there you go, Slabby. That's really well put. Clouds VA handles distress, torment, rage, and pain immaculately. Yeah. Did Sephiroth do that to get across? No, but we're about to see what he did to get across, Juno, if you don't know. <laughs> so sit tight. Sit tight. The ads are running right now, by the way. About two minutes left on them, so we always pause gameplay for those. That's really cool, Cat. What kind of role was it? Are you allowed to talk about it? Oh, the save trick. I forgot about that. That works too, yeah. Yeah, you can, Sherv. How are you today? Thanks for saying hi. Everyone say hi to Sherv. You saw my Madrina sad. He ordered some a while back, and it was horrendously sweet. Are there some that aren't sweetened? Um... I think, yes, the um, the ones that I liked, particularly for cold brew, were less sweetened. Like the, um, what was it? The, uh, I think it was the ras dark chocolate raspberry was one of them. And then um, I think there's one other, like just a standard cold brew one that isn't sweetened either. But, I mean, they're designed to be like that. They're supposed to be really sweet like that, for the most part. For my part, I don't drink much of the cold brew of the Madrinas. Not because I dislike it, but because I like their whole bean stuff a lot. Like, I drink their whole bean coffee. Like, that's the stuff that really strikes a chord with me. But they're, I've tried most of their cold brews, of which I should be getting a package for some new flavors soon that'll show off for everybody. Uh, and they're all really good, but they are pretty high in sugar for most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Like the green coffee fuelers are all pretty high in sugar because they're designed to not taste like coffee. Um, and then the normal cold brews, most of them have sweeteners, but not all of them. So just look, because every single product on their page lists the ingredients. Like you can look right at the ingredient list on every page. Do -do -do. But if you're wanting one that tastes less sweet, the uh, chocolate raspberry one of the cold brews was my favorite. You mix the tiny bit with regular coffee. You know, that's what a lot of people do. They use less than the recommended scoop and mix it with other stuff. And then it works really well that way. Um, I know some people in chat like to put like half a scoop of the cold brew with some like heated up milk. Like they like to mix it into other things and it works really well that way. So just experiment with it and get the right amount that works for you. Cause I don't use the whole scoop either. Like it's too much for me too. All right, ads are done. Ads are done. And thank you, by the way, if you ordered off of my uh, affiliate link there, I appreciate that. You leveled up enough to fight the, the worm to learn its beta skill. Yeah, oh yeah, it'll carry you. <laughs> Did they retranslate the text? Yes, the the vocal performances are based off of no, another mod, apparently, that is a retranslation. Bye, Choco. That was a good Choco right there. Why do we all have sadness again? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm using a tent. I'm using a tent. That's annoying. I think, no, actually, I won't get rid of it, will it? All right, we'll use our last hypers. Yeah, uh, like a lot of people, that amount is perfect. Almost everyone likes the amount Elsinia, but like you and me, I just use less. I just use less than the recommendation because it, it's too much for me too. 
and, and I don't think like it's wrong. It's just that most people like it that way. But you and I apparently have a much less of a sweet tooth than most. It's built on top of a translation mod that's supposed to be more accurate from the Japanese script. And exercise some liberties to make some of the dialogue more modern and cognizant of the canon lore. Hmm, interesting. The role is a lunch lady in an animation part. It's a fan project and you can't specify more. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that's cool. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah, Mal killed the... I have a, a affiliate link with Madrinas. Anyone that uses my code gets 20% off and I get 10% commission. The main reason I have it is so you all can get that discount and then, and I can get free coffee from it too. So, um, the, uh, green coffee fuelers, they use unroasted coffee beans to make those. So they basically just kind of taste like, um, just kind of like juice mix, you know, they just kind of taste like juice mix and they have a lot of flavors. But they also have caffeine because they use those unroasted coffee beans. So it doesn't taste anything like coffee at all. So that if that's something you're looking for, you could always try that. Mm -hmm. We're sad because we had to let our bird leave. That's true, yeah. One of those was from behind Don Corneo's bed. It was, yeah. Yeah, just use less and maybe mix it with other stuff so you can dilute it and still get the flavor. You might like it that way. A uh, dash they did in a way, yes. So, obviously this guy or sick was a comically bad translation. So what they did is when you first go there, the guy's like moaning incoherently, right? Because he's just, his mind is shattered by the things that have happened to him. If you know the story, you know, don't say. Um... So the guy's like moaning and he's like, oh, he says something like, I are sick. Like he phrases that. And then like Aerith, who is introducing him to Cloud, is kind of just playing it up because everybody knows the guy. Like they know he's just always been ill and not all there. So she's just like, this guy are sick. Like kind of mimicking him, you know? It was actually pretty funny and well, well voice acted. So it actually became like an in-character thing she was saying versus a bad translation. It was pretty funny. Uh, El Cine, almost everyone that's bought them from here has loved them. So like I said, you and I have a very reduced sweet tooth compared to most people. You might have to give it a try later. Yeah, let me know if you do, yeah? I'd be interested in hearing what someone thinks of that that doesn't like coffee. Because like I said, for my part, I buy their whole bean stuff. That's why. Because it's the best coffee. Like, I just drink it black. It's the best I've had. Oh, I was wondering about that crane. Because he said numbers, and it was like... I don't remember him saying actual numbers in the past, but I didn't remember what it was he actually said. He said, he actually said literally like XX time, XX date. Yeah, same, Elsinia. So here you go, Juno. You wanted to know how Sephiroth got through. Did Sephiroth do this? I love that dialogue box. Because like 10 years ago, it was just a fucking meme on the internet. Like people would paste that dialogue box on top of pictures of really weird shit. <laughs> It'd be like, did Sephiroth do this? <laughs> it was like boomer memes. <laughs> uh, you kind of remember that? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Cloud born in 1986. Interesting. You're at the point where you're tempted to get Baker's chocolate because you hear it's more bitter. It's like not meant to be edible, you know, but you can mix it with stuff. Like Baker's chocolate is meant to be mixed with sugar. I wouldn't eat it. Because it's really bitter. Like really, really, really bitter. <laughs> like uncomfortably so. 
before the is this thing meme took off. Yeah, it was a long time ago. How awful. What a horrifying display of power. You still use that as a reply? Nice. That's pretty gruesome. It's like eyeballs like hanging out. It's disgusting. Ah, mithril mines. Here we go. Yeah, it is painfully bitter. I mean, you could just buy the baker's chocolate and then the melt it and mix it with a little sugar, but eating it alone, you're gonna, it's, it's literally meant not to be tasted by itself because it's gross. You had to recode that scene. Yeah, I'm glad that flashing was removed. Because I was going to tell people to look away when it started, but it never did. What? What? Oh, that was weird. Nice, Chris. Do that some more. Get a little heal in here. All right, now that I'm not trying to catch a chocobo on them, I'm actually might keep it on recommended so I can more easily uh, read chat during combat. There you go. All right, I need to find treasure. Can't remember which way is treasure, if it's this way or the other way. Let's see, what's over here? Is this the right way or the wrong way? Mm. Don't eat Baker's chocolate by itself. Yeah. Yeah, it's like almost painfully bitter. You made chocolate mousse once in a, in a while with Baker's chocolate so you can balance it out and it's nice to control the sweetness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the whole point. You, you know, you add as much to taste to make it edible. <laughs> All right, so uh, just a reminder for those that like to uh, help or want to know the ground rules for my game playthroughs. Hints, tips, secrets, advice, treasure, side quests. That's all good. Trivia, it's fine. Just don't spoil and don't backseat. So if I ask a question about like the gameplay, you are encouraged and welcome to answer it. Um, right now I'm trying to get treasure. So I need to know which way is the quote unquote wrong way, right? And I want to go the right way. You think there's materia here? Okay. Mm. Is that that dragon thing? Is that what gets you flamethrower? Cold breath, huh? Oh, there you go. Well, I guess I answered my own question. Make it easy on yourself and give up now. Just needs to hit cloud with it. Well, now we chill for a bit, right? Until he does it. <laughs> I don't really need it. It's been 20 years and you don't remember. That's right. I want the side way. We can do steals while we wait. Nice. We got an ether. Did he hit cloud with that? I wasn't looking. I actually wasn't looking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He did? Okay, cool. Oh, that was a terrible limit break. It's still my killing. Learn enemy skill flamethrower. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, it was Tifa again. You're right. We just got lucky. <laughs> yeah. Just learned it right there. Yep. 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 Dude. What's the 100% cacao you're seeing are powders? Ether. Tent. Oh, nice. Those are a little expensive right now, so. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right way or not, so. I want to make sure I'm not missing any treasure. Banana. Let's do Chocomog. We haven't seen it yet. A 
It goes in the E skill menu right away. Okay. Death blow. What's up, Pern? How you doing? Bam, bam, Long range. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, who do we give that to? That's a good one. That wouldn't be bad for Tifa. With Fury, right? We could put her in the back. I don't know if it's going to change her attack animation, though, which would be annoying to me. What does the leveling Choco Lure do? What's the point point of that? I got you to download this mod? Hell yeah. Is it for all four? It's three discs. So the game's three discs. But yeah, it's the whole game. Yep. Whole game is all good for the voice acting. It just increases the luck. I do want luck. Yeah. Um. Chris is ready to find choke, but well, okay. Now I'm not sure what it does. I'll just have to look it up, I guess. Hold on. Let's let's see if it's worth keeping. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fifth seven. Chocobo lure. I move my keyboard. There we go. Uh, let's see what it says. We'll go on this journey together. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just increases the encounter rate. It doesn't seem to increase the luck. That's too bad. Okay, so that's not really worth leveling. What about this materia? Where's luck plus? This is what I'm really going to need. <clears throat> Temple of the Ancients. It's the only time you can get one. And it's missable. This is missable. The only thing mastering chocobo lure is good for is selling. Oh, yeah, I forgot uh, Mastered Materia sells for a lot. I forgot about that. It's a good way to make money. Of course, then you've sold a Mastered Materia that could potentially be really useful. Yeah, I want this. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that for a long while. I'll give her long range. We'll see how that pans out. All is the most lucrative. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anyone remember mastering all for guild? Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'll save that limit for uh, next fight. Do, do, do. You have like 10 of them. I never really needed to do that to get money. So I never bothered to like grind materia for money like that. But as far as like completionism goes, it's probably a good play. It's not that useful outside of encountering chocobos and mastering material gives you a new one. It's a good money grind. Lurch chocobo lure. That makes sense to me. Treasure. Nice. Do, 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 do. Heck? That was 
weird. There's like delay on the input there. You feel that every material slot you didn't need with all instead of leaving it blank? Don't get in my way. Oh, I never left it blank. I would always put them with materia I was using. There was a trophy in the PS4 version to max skill. A hundred million? Wow. That would have taken forever. Steal from the wrecking ball, dude. Uh, what's he have? Oh shoot, blade beam. We just unlocked blade beam limit break. That's a really good one. It's got a uh, splash damage. Cool. Diffuses after hitting one opponent. Tifa weapon? Okay, I'll try. Mind source. Spirit, I believe. Hmm. Nothing here. 1.4 million gill cell price for a mastered all. Yeah, I can see why Juno would do that. That's pretty good. All right, wrecking ball, dude, right? Oh, we need to heal. Well, wasn't that bad? Did it in the final dungeon in a couple hours? In ice. Would you do like the mover guys or whatever? Oh, so close. Uh. Okay. Damn. Do 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 do. No by time the, to doubt. Clyphoth, you feel by the time you could grind AP to get them mastered at a useful pace, you're not hurting for Gil anyway. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. But I, at the same page, I also feel like if you were putting Storm's them. Coming. On equipment that increases the rate of growth you could probably get one mastered pretty early and then be set for gill for like the rest of the game basically time to burn i itch Okay, let's try to steal whatever this is. Almost had it. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, so close. The mechanic for limits is first limit eight times, second kill eighty enemies. Huh. Grand Glove. There you go. <laughs> Let's check that out. Do -do 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 -do. Yo, good morning, Racco. How you doing, man? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, speaking of all leveling up. <laughs> Mod's going really well, yeah. Major magic against crowds like the worms in this cave are good for unlocking next level limits. That makes sense. Yeah, Juno, that's true. Because I don't think you have her after the first one. Uh, all right, let's see what this is. Yeah, that's just a straight upgrade. And a really nice one with that. We can start leveling fire again. Oh, she already has fire. Okay. I would like to get these leveled up. 
Let's see. All right, let's give him fire and then we'll give her the extra ice just to start, keep it leveling. So we can get, you know, Fyra. I guess it's called Ice Run instead of Blizzara or is it called Blizzard? Blizzara? It is Blizzard, okay. So Blizzara, Fyra, Fandara. That's what we're going for. The fuck? We have cat hair in my eye. Okay, sorry. Hmm. Now there's a face I didn't care to see. Do you know who I am? I'm a Turk, right? Turk. Wait. I'm not interested. I want to say this instead. I'm from the Turks. And don't you forget it. <laughs> It's hard to explain what the Turks do exactly. Too hot to sleep? <sighs> How bad is it out there in SoCal? How'd that happen, gee, I wonder? Abducting people? To put it negatively, you could say that. <laughs> but there's much more to it these days. Uh, sir? Oh, I forgot about Elena. I've noticed that you don't like speeches. Please, allow me. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> I'm Elena, the newest member of the Turks. Uh-huh. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're shorthanded. What did we do to Reno? Although I guess that's why I was accepted into the Turks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a silver lining there. <sighs> In any case, our orders are to determine where Sephiroth is going and to make your life difficult every step of the way. Hang on, it's the other way around. You're the ones getting in our way. She's nervous, you know. Oh, we gotta we you. gotta give her a little bit of leeway. She's a little nervous. 69 degrees. Wait, that's it? That's not bad. Elena. You've said more than enough. Mr. Sun? It's 4 a.m. Dude, last night it was like 85 at 4 a.m. here. <laughs> that's like mad. 69. Like, that's still a little warm for me, but that's not bad. Middle of the day, it gets over 100. <laughs> yeah. They don't need to know our business. Sorry, sir. I've already assigned you to another mission. Damn. Go. Report back as instructed. Yes, of course. Very well. <clears throat> Rude and I will track Sephiroth. We're heading to Junon's Harbor. What? Elena, do you have a hearing problem? Go! Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> All right. Don't you have the AC on, Racco? Just turn on the AC. I don't know if you have AC, so I hope so. Where you're at. Now go. Oh, Let's she did. To get away. She did, Mark. Yep. She dropped that. <laughs> the VA made a choice. Yeah, she did. Sir. Yes, sir. Reno sends his warm regards. He's hoping to meet you again. After the wounds heal up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Krako. Now that you're best friends, he wants to share his new weapon with you all. His new weapon? His cattle prod or whatever well, the hell? Aerith. Isn't she with you? Oh, yeah, I forgot if you bring her here, there's like a little extra dialogue. No, she's with the others. I see. Then say hello for me. The weather's fucking lucky. Oh my god. Racco, please. Racco, please. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's go up here first. 
I think this is a dead end with treasure. Elixir? I think it's our first one. A new threat. There was like a thing here where you would like do the new leveling system. It's kind of weird. A little fucky fucky. Bow, bow. Sit down on the elixir and never use it? Dude, I use them. I use them, man. When I need them, I use them. You're sitting there wondering why you're hungry when you went to grab something to eat earlier. Do you remember you took something out of the freezer to frost and time for dinner and then just never ate? Dude, I do stuff like that all the time. It's called wicked ADHD for me, anyway. It's so I feel your pain. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Death blow. I was hoping for the uh, the secondary summon. I think it's just RNG. I think it's just RNG, but sometimes it does uh, the fat chocobo, right? No, Racco, use your elixirs. It's a one in eight chance. That's not bad. If you aren't using them, the game's not hard enough. That's typically true, unless you're just really good at the game, right? I think there's a bug flying around here. Hold on. I'm going to put my blueberries away. Just give me a sec. <laughs> All right, thanks for waiting. I went ahead and I poured some, uh, it's a little home remedy. Maybe some of you know about this. I poured some uh, apple cider vinegar 
on a plate with some dish soap. So that's a good way to attract, uh, like fruit flies. Cause I think that's what's been buzzing around my face. Or I'm just imagining it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of the two. But I think I saw one in the kitchen, so I, I figured while I was in there I should take care of it. Does so much, yeah. Oh, can I get a Yuffie right now? Right? I think I can, right? We should do that. I don't remember what you're supposed to say to her, though. What the... I can? All right, we'll do that first. Let's do that first. It's, um... I think it's that forest right there. If I'm not mistaken. been wild there cat yeah Reno inspired electric tennis racket I don't follow but that sounds cool it's any forest area okay so I probably just always went to this one and thought it was this because it was the closest like an insect ambient noise. I'm like, what is that buzzing? <laughs> there's, Time to get serious. there's bugs in the woods. <laughs> Who knew? <coughs> Mobile bug zapper. I never heard of that. That's interesting. Mobile bug zapper. Seraphian. Seraphian. Someone here is a mobile bug zapper. Have no fear, the ship are here. Seraphian, <laughs> thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Let's get a shout out for Seraphian. Let's get a shouty outie, please. Please and thank you. Mobile bug zapper. Mutt! Hello! <laughs> Mutt! Mm, mm, mm. It's six in the morning. There's never any mods here this late. Do, 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 do. Hold on. I'll get you after this. Just give me one sec, because I want to know what you were doing. Thank you so much for raining me. Hopefully you had a good time. Do, 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 do. There you go. Honkai Star Rail. Oh, that's that like uh the game that uh the company that made Genshin just released, right? <clears throat> yeah, what's up, Valky, and how are you? Osiris, good to see you. Blade beam. Go follow Seraphian. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, me too. <laughs> uh, quality, quality bit usage there. <clears throat> Genshin set in space with turn-based combat. Same devs. Is it good? Doing okay? Right on. Right on. Right on. Do, 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 do. Dave is almost dead. Right, Valkyan? It's pretty wild, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Good morning, me chill. Hopefully you slept well. How do I get Yuffie? Is it just RNG here? It's RNG, isn't it? Uh, potion. Stream for seven hours, so it must be entertaining. There you go. What do you like the best about it? Like, what makes it stand out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anybody wants to, um... Oh, there she is. Do I have to beat her? I don't remember this. Ow. We have to fight her and win, right? You see mods where they use battle mode models in the hub worlds? Okay, apparently recommended does not pause in menus. I don't know what the hell it does then. Miss. Where did you get that? <clears throat> I have no idea what recommended mode does. We win! <clears throat> How much space does my insulation take? That's a good question. I have no idea. I didn't bother to look. I usually don't. Uh, this is... Do -do 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 -do. Should be in my Steam library, right? <clears throat> 32 gig it says but that's with all the mods the mods are 30.3 gigs so do the math the mods are 30.3 gigs the folder is 32 so yeah uh let's see do the echo s command to go to the website for the voice acting mod and then do the mods command to see all the mods that i'm using with the load order if you want to play the same way If you go save, when you close the menu, she's gone. Cause she's a ninja. <laughs> so don't save. <sighs> she steals from you too. Oh. Man, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> Ninja Fantasy 7. I think you just basically just keep saying you're not interested, right? The dialogue's a bit different, but the order's the same. I don't know what the order is. What is it? Are you just supposed to be like, yeah, I don't care or whatever? Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't remember what to do. That's why I'm asking everyone to tell me. <laughs> not interested. Okay. I'm not interested. Punch, punch. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I say. Ba -da. No, 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 no. Don't let her run off. Okay. It's alternating two one two one. Hmm. Seraphian, thanks again for the raid. I appreciate you thinking of us. Come on, what's the matter? Don't mock her and don't let her out of your sight. Okay. Scared of me, huh? So the second one's kind of mocking her, isn't it? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Just as I thought. But what can you expect with my kind of skills? <laughs> Good luck to you guys. If you feel up to it, we can go for another round later. Is that the wrong Bye. answer? I'm leaving now. Maybe not. I mean Wait a second. What is it? You still after something? Okay. <clears throat> ah, 
So that's it. You need my help because I'm so tough. That's it, yeah. That's why that's it. You want me to go with you, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thought so. You put me on the spot. Hmm. What should I do? What should you do? If you want me that bad, I guess I can't refuse. Hey! Good job, chat. This is a good version of this theme, Raka. What do you think, chat? I was so I was so hell bent on getting this right. I wasn't paying attention to the song, but it's a good it's a good tune. You are known for your resilience, dude. Last time I played this, she was a beast. She was a beast. And then you give her a conformer, <laughs> and you just load it up with materia. <clears throat> she became the strongest melee attacker on the team. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> it is calming, isn't it, Toshido? All right, I'll go with you. Uh, it's set. It's two, right? Okay, let's get going. Don't ask name. Okay, how strange. I think her conformer scales by how much materia is in it, but I don't know for sure, Munimasa. <clears throat> Good voice actress. <laughs> that went well. It was a little crunchy there at the beginning, though. Needs to be, her compression either needs a little tweaking or her mic needs to be a little better. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Does the voice actress actually speak that language? I don't know. I'm assuming it was Japanese. That was a nice touch, though. Her Wu Tai hanging out? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Scales with enemy levels. Higher level increases damage. That is weird. They speak Japanese in Echo S. Huh. That's going to be interesting. Wutai is probably one of my, I think my favorite town in the game. <laughs> it's either Calm or Wutai. Mm. Uh, God, that buzzing. She comes at level 17. I think I'm going to stick with this team, this playthrough, because I haven't used red in, I don't know. 20 some years <laughs> last playthrough I did cloud Tifa Yuffie so I'm still using Tifa you can't get me to not <laughs> you can't get me to not <clears throat> Yuffie's first draft concept was supposed to be a 25 year old ex-soldier bounty hunter weird that's way different all right, we're going to go here because you can sleep at the very least. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> what? I'm really confused about that whole recommended battle mode now. Because <clears throat> it, it hadn't paused ATB in a menu. So I don't know what it does. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Go, go! Okay. Our people have been in armed to struggle for a long time. Was that option in the original? Uh, what option? Ooh. Sorry, I lost context, rational. We've taken root here and vowed to keep on fighting. Whether you can spare the time, please 
Come lend us a hand. Recommended? Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be unreasonable. If you're busy with something, why don't you tend to that first? I guess we can help. Great! Come on up and we'll brief you. Okay, dokie. The background looks really nice there. Like distant. What is that? Those trees? The huge trees? Maybe just clouds. I don't know. It looks nice. But I like the blur. Wow, that's wild, Andrew. I think that they were right not to do that. It sounds a little confusing. Interior cave ambient audio sounds good. There's a place in the zoo right near me. It sounds like this. It's like a giant manufactured cave building where they house all the uh, <coughs> primates. The air in there sounds like this. Ooh, this is a nice version. Can I use this thing? Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 crane? Thanks. Need to drive back from FanFest. Oh boy. Oh, I guess we can't sleep here yet. Wood flutes? Sick. Day you see people climbing up here. Was it fairly easy to get seventh heaven up and running on PC? Yeah, it took me less than an hour to get that running and the whole thing modded. Yeah, I just didn't. I this is what I did. Like, I'll show you exactly what I did. Do the echo s command for me, Z Force. Huh? What's wrong with your eyes? Sorry. Listen, this is about to turn into a battlefield of Shenra. You best go back if you don't want to get involved. Did you say Shinra? Get rid of the dash. There's no dash. I mean, there's there's a dash in the, the title of it. I should make a, uh, what do you call it? An alias for that. All right, so I go to, the, I went to this website, right? Why does that Bulbapedia, where do, 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 do. And then tutorial right here, right? And then I just click YouTube and then I just followed it. That was it. That's all I did. It was really simple. So you just click that, right? There's the tutorial video. If you don't want to watch it in this tiny window, you just click that. It goes right to the video. And this is Sunamods himself or himself doing it. And it's like the tutorial is done like halfway through. After that, he's just like showing you like tweaks and features of it. That's it. That's all I did. And it was really easy to get everything installed that way. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Coco? Mm. Shinra. Looks like you're also having problems with them. You came here after all. Will you hear what I have to say? Mm. I'm all right. Did you notice anything on the top of this mountain? A reactor and a condor. Big birdie. <laughs> well spotted. Yes, it's a reactor and a condor. It seems Shinra can't abide having a condor on top of the reactor. Why? What's so bad about that? I see no reason why that would be. It doesn't make any sense. Indeed. It seems there's some sort of special material in the reactor. And because there's a condor in the way, Shinra have rushed their army here to deal with it. The army's objective is to eliminate the condor and those living here. We're going to do at least one of these. 
the uh, the RTS minigame because I want to see how it looks with these mods. The condor is forming an egg. It only lays one every few years. Because I'm pretty sure one of my mods is specifically for minigames. Yeah, minigame textures is one of them. We want to protect them both from Shinra. New life, huh? A condor's egg. The work of nature. We are here to protect the life of the planet. So, in order to save the egg, we'll have to defend the reactor? Indeed. The thing is, we don't have the resources to fight Shinra directly. That's why we hired mercenaries to help us. As a sponsor, you can assist us with money or by fighting alongside us. This minigame always was problematic. Because the only way to get every fight, like be present for every fight, is to return back here at extremely arbitrary points in the storyline. Like I think at one point there's three fights all in a row that are like different story triggers within the same town that's across the ocean. So you have to like go to the town on a boat, come back, do the fight, then go back to the town and do like one or two story things and come back. And like, there's no indicator whatsoever that you're supposed to do that. It's completely absurd. Yeah, they were pretty rough in the OG Munimasa. Yeah, like extremely low polygon count and texture. What do you think? Will you join us in our struggle? Hmm. Cloud? Cloud? You decide what we should do. Oh yeah, I like it too. That's why I was annoyed by that. I wanted to do all the fights and I could never figure it out. So later, you know, years later when I looked it up, I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Thanks, Cloud. Indeed. We shall lend a hand. That's something new threat fixed as it adds a guy who teleports you back. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, Helix. Oh, that's right. The store owners will sell you all manner of things now. Feel free to use our beds too. Right, Corvus? Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Cause like as a kid, and even now I enjoyed the RTS minigame here too. So not knowing why I was hey, missing so many battles us. always bothered me. Mm. It was because that the timing of them was very poorly done. Yeah, let's rest. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know if I saved, so we'll go ahead and do it again or for the first time. We'll check the shops really quick. Then we'll try a fight. If it'll let us, right? I don't know how much money I have. You hang in there. Okay. Okay, we need Oh, we have good money. Wow, we got a bunch of money in that cave, I guess. How about that? Let's get some more potions then. Do your best. We will too. Fire, lightning, ice restore. Pretty basic. You can ignore that warning. I delayed the ads. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought this was interactable, but that might be in a mod. Doesn't seem to do anything in this. Unless I'm just not interacting with it properly. Thanks for accepting. The enemy's climbing the mountain. The target, the Mako reactor. To counter them, we set up traps and hire mercenaries. This was always so easy to cheese, this fight, too. That's about all there is to it. Sadly, the village is broke. We want to fight, but without the funds, we haven't got a prayer. Cost around 400 gil to hire one mercenary. So hiring 20 mercenaries can cost as much as 8,000. 
Damn. To cut a long story short, we need your money to hire mercenaries, buy and set the traps, and to give out orders. If you can't spare the time, we sure appreciate the funds instead. Well, that changed suddenly. The more money we receive, the better equipped we'll be to deal with Shinra. We know we're asking a hell of a lot. We've sent our loved ones to another village and stayed behind to face the fire. Anyway, let's get right to it. If the enemy reaches this shack, you'll have to fend them off yourself in direct combat. Now, if you lose once or twice, it won't be the end of the world. But if you keep on losing, it'll get rough. Do you have any questions? Uh, let's see. That's, Tell you to play. That's enough. Hey, it looks like you got here just as they started their climb. Let's just try it. There aren't too many. Can you handle it? Are you ready? Okay, ready. There are ten enemies this time around. Let's do it. Many of them appear to be beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers. Beasts. Okay, so the background looks nice. All right, where's the uh? Okay, right here. They still look. They still look like they do. That's not a problem. <laughs> That's honestly not a problem. I can't remember. Can you deploy more units while the fight has already started? Does anyone remember that? They look so real. <laughs> you can? Okay, cool. Start game. Move here. So this is what you can kind of do. Like you can kind of summon one, place one in front of them, and then you get all the way to the bottom, like or close to it, like really fast. See how it's like moving down? <laughs> I think those are beasts, right? Yeah, okay. What is that? That's a beast, okay. You get that one. There we go. Oh shit. I didn't think there'd be birds. There's burps. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should be helping. This is not going well, is it? No, let me summon! <laughs> there we go. Probably gonna lose this. Nobody thinks about birds! Yeah, this is... I think this is already a loss. Like, we're just getting our fucking shit pushed in right now. Catapults? I usually didn't use those. I would always just rush bottom, and it usually worked out. Where's my cursor? There we go. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 
Uh, sure, catapult. There you go. Commander. If you kill the enemies on the screen, you automatically win and the commander never shows up. And that's what I was trying to do. Clearly it didn't work. Look at these guys. I'm just going to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> like, who cares? What if I put, like, that? There you go. Well, that thing's dead. Direction. There you go. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. One more hit. There you go. Do -do -do. That wow. was really that sloppy. Was Shinra will be back, though. You can bet your life on that. We don't know when they'll send the next wave, so check back every so often. That was really sloppy. Some allied units remain, so I'm returning some kill. <laughs> oh, yeah, I found something cool out on the battlefield. I hope it'll come in handy. Magic comb. Nice. It's actually for him. Hmm, unlinked with double growth and a lot more attack power. Can we do unlinked? We can. Okay. We can. So the question is, what do we want to have double, double growth? I guess these are fine. I guess, yeah. Well, well. Well, I'm not going to be using this one much, so it doesn't matter if it levels. Let's see. What can we swap here? That. There we go. Heal. Stone is where you go to. Yeah, I don't remember all my old strategies. I would just, I would always try to rush bottom ASAP because if you kill, if there's no enemies left on the screen, you just auto win. So if you get down there really fast and there's only like two or three enemies, if you kill them quick, it's just like GG automatically. Everything's fine. Shinra's quiet for the moment. Do you have any questions? Tell me makes it. That's enough. Okay. Yeah, that costs a lot of money. Right, Andrew. I would have just left it the same if it was if it was linked. Mer? My son's at the godhouse. Okay. You know what's an easy way to quote unquote win those? I say win. Kind of a stretch of the word. I say win. You just let the them get to the guardhouse every time and then just do the, the battle that way instead. 